Hello? Hello? Yo, confirmed with the two gift arenos. Yo, thank you to start off the stream, my dude. Thank you, thank you, brother. Hello? Is this, is this Gamba Anonymous? Is this where I go to fix my gotcha addiction? No. No, it's not. No. This is the wrong place. Ain't nothing anonymous about it. <laughs> We're 100% real with it. A hundred percent. Is there a way to say straight you? Wait, what? Oh, is there a way to straight up gift? Like, what do you mean? Confirm? Like, gift to gift gifted subs to specific people? <clears throat> what I meant to say was, my dudes, what's going on? What's happening, Jet? What's happening? No, donate on mobile. Uh if you if you go into the about section, I have a I have a there's a there's a dono link there. But I mean yeah, I should work on mobile. I don't see why I wouldn't. Chat. Are we ready for the beautiful, beautiful purple tier list today? The tier list of all tier lists. Got me a confirmed job at 15 bucks an hour. Easy in real life gains. Hell yeah, dude. More dude action. It's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. The purplest of tier lists. The almost, I unironically probably going to be the most controversial tier list. Okay, out of all the tier lists. This is going to be the tier list that has the most opinions. Okay? I can guarantee it that out of all of them, between the purple and the yellow bubbles are definitely going to be the two that are going to be the ones that are like... People are going to have a lot of opinions here. You see the update coming next week for the, uh, the update today? I did see the future content blog. We will take a quick look and do some speculation afterwards. Spent $30 recently, got the pet deal and auto loot. Excited to participate in any dude giveaways coming in the future? Hell yeah, dude. Let's get it. Dude, auto loot, honestly, literally best thing you could do in this game. What's up? What's up, MV? What's going on, dude? I saw pets came to iOS now. Oh, did they? <laughs> It's about time. It only took, uh, only took, uh, only took, yeah, it, you know, five, five million years, but I mean, it's, it's fine. I mean, I'm surprised that World 6 didn't come out before Pets for iOS came out. So, I mean, that, that's pretty cool. Oh, damn, chat. I can't wait. To play Eidolon in Korean, Japanese, or Chinese, dude. The ultimate Maple Story experience has started. Hell yeah, brother. Can't wait to not understand any of that shit. Are you gonna weeb out, dude? No, I'll just be like I'm playing real Maple Story, dog. It's gonna be good. Later this month, but 11 days left of the month, so it should be coming soon. Yo, dude, prage, dude. Prage. Love your content, but I rarely get to your streams because it's zero, it's midnight for you. Well, that, I mean, that's all good, dude. That's, that's what the, uh, that's what the YouTube's for, right? That's what the second channel's meant for, right? So you, so you never miss a second. The new Adam upgrade came one day too late. Yeah, true. Yo, what's up, Ken? What's going on, dude? So that means... I mean, realistically, chat, if we take a quick look here, all right? If we take a quick look at the Steam updates. 
It says that we get three new languages. Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. 96,533 words across 700 pages of translation. Company Whispered Interactive, new framework to handle 1,500 unique characters used. I mean, that's kind of cool. Update UI to, for each language. Kind of cool. New Atom to the Atom Collider. Nah. Bro, I wonder what this is going to be. I hope this is broken. I hope this just adds, like, no mo no uh, more no bubble left behind upgrades. The patch is live, man. Wait, this patch is live? Wait, it's yes, it's live right now. Is it? Oh, shit. Yes, this patch is live. Oh, all right. And then Island Expeditions are in development and will be coming soon. So that means summer event maybe soon too? Why Adam spoiler? Nah, we'll, we'll take a look at it in a little bit here. G you update your game? Stop yelling. I'm getting there. He added salt after the companion patch, dude. Island Adventures, blue gems for super, dude. Bro, imagine. Wait, isn't NA is salt? No, not just Ilon. Up update your other games. What other games, dude? Wait, wait, chat. You got you guys you guys play other games? Uh last time I checked, I do not. I do I do not play other games, okay? That is definitely not I see what Lava meant though. With uh with uh no uh what is it called? Uh I didn't have to make a patch note recap. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Let's, uh, let's, let's, you know what? Let's, uh, let's take a quick look here. Let's take a little quick look sees and see what the, what the nah is, dude. Okay, all right, hold up, hold up, hold up. You guys, you guys ready for this? You guys, you guys ready? Let's see what this is, chat. See what this is. And, boom. When you fail a snail upgrade, it level gets reset to the nearest five, up to level five instead of back to zero. Fail it, like, failing at level seven will reset it to five. Up to level 15. And they pass level 5 is useless. Alright, cool. So that means, chat... Yeah, this is a brand new Atom. So that means when you fail snail upgrade, it resets the nearest 5 up to level 15. So that means once I get to level 15, I will never, never go below level 15. I will never drop below snail 15. Huge. What's up, Luz? What's going on, man? So, the update, Arika, is literally just that, and, uh, Korean, Chinese, and, and, uh, Japanese. Is 15 huge? 15 is massive, dude. 15, this is, like, really worth to farm. Oh, absolutely. Make a video about it. Oh, hey, this new one is, uh, is a failsafe. Hell yeah, chat. Hell yeah, dude. Look at my stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Now the real gaming starts. Now I feel like I'm playing Maple Story. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, yeah, that gives me 30% uh, 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 drop rate. Hey, it's drop rate, chat. Now read it. I don't know how to read fucking Japanese. What do I look? I'm strung to the divine. There, I read it. See? I can eat, see chat. I can read Japanese. Crazy, dude. Crazy. I thought you watched anime? Bro, what? What is that? Doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I, I, I watch, I watch anime. That still, that still doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Do you guys not watch subtitles? Wait, wait. The real question is sub or dub, chat. That's the real question. Should understand it though. 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 All right. True. So if I watch any anime ever, I need to, I need to, I need to know what it is. Yo, what's up, Demi? I learned to read Japanese through anime, dude. Confirmed. Have you seen the new content blog thing? Yeah, I have, dude. So we're getting, we're getting maybe a summer event with some island expeditions. Bro. I am, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have high hopes for island expeditions. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight up with chat right now. I'm gonna be a hundred percent straight up with chat. I do not have any hopes that it's gonna be like some fucking goaded ass content. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Here, 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 here's the thing, chat. Here, here's the thing, okay? When when it when it comes down to it, it's probably gonna be like set X amount of person for X amount of hours, and then come back. Not with that attitude. I, I think it'll be another addition. I think it'll be another addition, but I don't think it's gonna be like crazy or anything, but the real, the real, the real giga chat of the, of the whole patch note thing? Summer event. Summer event is way cooler, dude. Give me my blueberry crab so I can get all the drop rate ever. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what's even better than the patch notes? Purple bubble tier list, chat. Purple bubble tier list. By the way, we almost have the orange bubbles done and the green bubble video done. So we're, we're almost caught up. So I just need to do a couple of things, and I think I think we're gonna have the new video released tomorrow. The first video is gonna be released tomorrow, and then we should have the second video released by Monday. Can't wait to see you argues with you this time about bubbles. I mean, I mean, I'm okay. I mean, I'm a hundred percent okay with arguments. It, it's just if if we're if we're going into like a conversation about tier lists, it's it's got to be like uh, it's got to be more of a debate rather than an argument. You know what I mean? It just can't be like, no, I think this is trash. It's like, no, you're trash, dog shit gamer. And it's just like, okay, well, that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not fucking productive, all right? Also, knee? Oh, shit, wrong website. That's, that's not my knee. Be nice if a holiday cards were all passed. would be a nice gift for Lava to do that. Yeah, that'd be kind of sick. Got Ancient Steak, Weather Book, and also Ancient and Red Hat. Damn, Elf, hell yeah, dude. Got them gorilla knees, bro. That ain't my knee, dog. I like when opinions inform fact. Yeah, I like, you know, I'm all good to, like, opening my idea to, like, different bubble ideas. So, like, maybe this is a lower tier than I, I'm giving it props for. But, I mean, it's got to be constructive. It can't be destructive. You know what I mean? So, like, when you're, when you're going in here, you know, you're just... When a person says, oh, no, I think that's wrong, and then it's just like, everyone's a fucking idiot. They don't know what they're talking about. Then it's just like, okay, dude. Okay. All right. All right. All right, now, now let's, now we're getting out of hand here. Overall, everyone will have a different tier list for themselves. Yeah, I would think that the, I think the whole point of the tier list is to have a sort of accepting areas of where the bubble should be. You know what I mean? It's like, it might be a little bit more ba biased towards my opinion, but the fact that I definitely let chat have an open discussion about it and we talk through it and see if you guys can basically it's like, hey, chat, here's a bubble. This is where I think it is. Change my mind. That's kind of how that's kind of how the tier lists have been doing. And I mean, for the most part, you guys have changed my mind quite a bit. Free speech. Don't know what the fuck that is, dude. Welcome to Canada, bitch. We don't have 10 commandments. Or 10 amendments. Sorry. We all toilet paper talents, best yellow bubbles, dude. And I'll die on that hill, dude. <laughs> all right. Yeah, 10 commandments. Yeah, sorry. 10 amendments. Spoilers, cookie roadkill, bear high in A. Dude, if that's what you think, confirmed. Bro, that's some corrupt shit. G, also, uh, also G, crazy stupid thing. I spent two weeks trying to get Fury Relic, unlock the Cloud Quay. And then guess what? Unlock Clouder and literally third chest. Oh yeah, dude. Oh man, gotta love, gotta love, gotta love, uh, gotta love how RNG works. I got Sandy Pot and Breeding finally. My 20 plus eggs spent on it with a 1 in 10 chance of getting it. Hell yeah, dude. This might be the best cauldron. I would say that the purple cauldron is one of the strongest cauldrons in the game. By far. 
the, the just the just the setup that you get from the cauldron specifically is just super super goaded. Mage's best top C tier, dude. Oh, I don't know about that one, Doug. This might be. We got 27 amendments, homie. This is exactly proves my point. I mean, it could be five. You still proved my point. One of the strongest. There's only four. Yeah, well, I mean, we're just gonna have to wait and see, I guess, eh? I guess that's just gonna have to wait until we get there, okay? Uh, it looks like that's what that's gonna be. There's only four strong bubbles. I call cap. I mean, yay, but I only have 1k in P.O. box, so it's useless for me right now. Yeah, fair, dude. Water cauldron tier list? Okay, so we have, we have chalky milk. It's non-existent. F tier. You have free speech? You have free speech in Canada? Kin. Kin. There's no such thing. Stop, even, stop talking like we don't have, like, S-tier censorship, okay? Don't it, bro. Don't act like the fucking pigeon drones are telling you to say this shit, okay? Alright? We, we don't, we don't, we don't live by a social credit system, okay? <laughs> you also have the right to be punished for what you said? Oh, yeah, true, true. Oh, never mind. Birds aren't real. Yeah. Censorship. Okay, real. The difference is, is I work for I work for an American company. Okay, I work for an American company. Why level bubbles when no bubble left behind does it for you, Rupert? Not with that idea, dude. What are more classes are added than more colleges for that class? Um, yeah, that'd be an interesting thing, actually. I'm I'm most hyped for yellow personally. Yeah, I think personally, uh, yellow is gonna be the finale one. <sighs> Call me Pope and Gospel Leader carries for people who don't have voter name and black souls. Yeah, true. Orange juice cauldron B tier. We had a few more things. Also got my automation arm is level two now. Hell yeah. Canada knows the truth. Tell us the secrets. We can't. We can't tell you our secrets, bro. If we tell you too many secrets, see here's the thing. Canada likes to teach America how to fish, not give you the fish. Because if we gave you the fish, you'd just continue to bully us. So, you guys can figure it out on your own. Hit wave 80 last night. Hell yeah, Goblin Gore Fest, huge dude. I saw a bumper sticker today that said birds aren't real. Birds aren't real. Canada geese are drug, drug mules, bald eagles too, dude. Yeah. How long it takes to reach around 200? Well, for me, it took like six hours. For most people, you can do it like an hour and a half. Yellow, get those fancy drop rate related stuff, so just generally good. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure the majority of yellow bubble is good. The only thing that's, the only problem that I have with the yellow cauldron is it's absolutely dog shit to, to level. If we need to teach Americans their secrets, you have to give, get us, us 26 and a pack of darts. Yeah, true, bud. I'm going to take a pack of darts and a 26. Also, a couple of... We need also a year, year unlimited supply of Timmy's, all right? Whereabouts in Canada are you? I'm down in Nova Scotia. Oh, you're down in the Nova Scotia there, bud. Oh, fucking rates. We're down... I'm British Columbia, bud. Oh, the Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nova Scotia, dude. <laughs> you guys got the weirdest fucking accents. It always, it always sounds like you're falling down, a, falling off a fucking cliff. Oh, Nova Scotia, there. <laughs> hey now, hey bud, hey. Went on vacation through Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, while yo. Hey, hey, hey. We only, we're all, don't worry. I got respect for the for the Nova Scotians, there, bud. Check out the Bay of Fundy and stuff, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I would, I would eventually like going traveling through Canada. But I mean, I can't go traveling through Canada because... That means I'd miss perfectly good stream days. And that means less content for chat. And chat is just a bunch of content demons. They don't give a shit what happens. As long as... It, bro, it's because we need, we need more. <clears throat> Because you're a felon? Actually, I don't, believe it or not, Chad, I don't have a single criminal record. I am a, I am a good lad. I have not done anything that would possibly get me, uh, any criminal record. You cannot travel because censorship? Okay, it's not that bad, okay? It's not like we're in goddamn Korea, right? It's wasted games, northern Canada into Greenland, when, dude? And bro, Greenland's filled with ice. Why don't I go to Iceland? No. 
I mean, I mean, if you're if you're looking for a dommy mommy, take your way down to Iceland. You know what I'm saying? Cell phone stream? Yeah, I'll 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 I'll, I'll stream it on my Nokia flip phone. All right. Travel <laughs> Griffey travel vlogs, dude. We're ready, except for that incident in '99. Yeah, and that bite of '89. You got to be careful with that one. They've gotten caught for it, at least. Yeah, true. Not that they've been discovered yet, you mean? Yeah, true. Yeah, they, okay, yeah, fair. Just a ton of misdemeanors? No, not even misdemeanors, man. I actually, I was, I was, I was actually quite the good kid. Now, the reason why I was quite the good kid, Jet, is because I literally had my dad look at me straight in the face, and he says, I know everyone around here. You goddamn keep my reputation, or I will ruin you. That's basically what he said. So, I never got into trouble. Whatsoever. He had literally people everywhere, dude. Everywhere. He was friends with so many people in that in that fucking town, dude. It didn't matter. I I could I could fucking I could shit my pants and hear he would hear he would hear it from like fifteen different people, okay? How do you unlock blobfish is after shiny grind quest? Uh you have to do the you have to do the blobfish quest line, which is at Chalkies. Steal my guild by not getting artifacts seems kinda of criminal to me. Yeah, true, dude. It was post-stiff bullying, dude. G was in the Mafia, dude. I, I, actually, when you say it like that, it does kind of sound like the Mafia, but no, no. Uh, roofing family. I mean, we're in the trades. Uh, we, we, I, was, I was born and raised on a farm, chat, so it's basically the same as a Mafia. He still talked to his friends at the milk factory to this day? <laughs> yeah, dude. No, my real father went to go get milk. My stepdad did not go to get milk. G just needs to log on Maple and get our guild castle started, dude. What, Rada can't do that? I will, I will be playing Maple soon. I've been, I've been busting my ass with this, with these videos. Couch and farm boy hug, dude. What are you talking about, bud? We ain't from couching, all right? God, man, couch, ugh, bro, couching, dude. I always wonder why dad said burn the plants if the cops came by. <laughs> I, I would say the same, but my dad was more of a Walter White type fellow. He's like, break the beakers, not so much of burn the plants, you don't know? Gee, I'm upset you put carpenter in A instead of S without it. Construction is nothing. A cookie. What does it take to upgrade it? What does it take to upgrade it? Salts. It, I, even, I, I, even said it, I even said it was S tier. But because of salts, it's A tier. Don't you have an editor? Yeah, but bro, do you, do you realize how much work videos take? Even with an editor, it's still not enough. I'm, and not to mention, I am, I am very controlling when it comes to my main channel videos. When it comes to my main channel videos, I am so anal about it. I'm like, we gotta fix this, fix this, change this a little bit, do this a little bit different. Okay, now we fix this. In small towns, the only thing be uh, people do is gossip. It sucks getting into trouble in a small town where everyone knows each other because other parents have no problem punishing you. You catch like six ass whoopings on your way home to your parents. Yeah, true, dude. No bubble left behind. Yeah, but even with no bubble left behind, it's so hard to level. Are there any big jumps of damage I can get to clear world 4? Um, big world 4 damage, big world 4 damage. Chat, what's a big world 4 damage boost? Did you see uh, any spicy Diablo 4 memes in the general Discord, general Discord channel? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I, I, I had a good chuckle. Wolta, Wolta, <laughs> Wolta, shut the fuck up, let me die in peace. Cooking, cooking, and alchemy? Yeah, I would say cooking's the big one. Uh, I, you know, like Octoplops, Turkey, I would say Turkey's gonna give you a big boost. I'm going twice every day to play because it's basically construction itself. Upgrading it twice every day is the play because it's basically construction. You can't upgrade it twice a day. What are you talking about? Dude. What? You can't upgrade it twice a day. How expensive, bro, you know how expensive Carpenter is? With 90% discount? Nah, nah, cookie, cookie, the cost makes it A tier. It's an S tier bubble, but it's A tier. Because of the cost. Turkey is the best uh, 
for early World 4 and Octo's better later World 4 progression. Him and Saul, dude. I got lucky last night. I got Choco Chip on my first purchase, the gem shop. Hell yeah. Yeah, S tier bubble with a D tier cost. Exactly. Exactly. Because here's the thing. How many people are going to have so much of an abundance of orange salts to be able to level up their carpenter? Let alone level up your carpenter to be a point to be able to be atomable. A very fucking few. A very few amount of people. And guess what, chat? Even if everyone said in chat, yes, me, 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 me. Guess what? That's not even close to like even 5% of the player base. It's not a bubble you spam upgrade. Okay, I, 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 Cookie, I feel like you're not even, I feel like you're just not even listening to my side. You're just speaking your side. See, the whole point of having a conversation, Cookie, is you're supposed to listen to both parts. Why is Pancake so hard to unlock? Because, because you're not in Canada. If, if, you, cha if you change your VPN to Canada, Mateen, it actually increases by 3%. Not for Adams, but still a good amount. Yeah. Like I said, it's an S tier bubble, but it deserves A tier because of the cost. Any bubble that requires salts to upgrade deserves to be lower than what its actual potency is. Like, for instance, Maddie Statford, A tier bubble. It's going to probably be a B tier, though, due to the fact that, it's, uh, that it takes uh, red salts. Change your language to Canadian, you'll have two times better odds, trust me. And also we have to talk we have to talk about bubbles at a at, at a standpoint where it's like for the 99%, right? Cuz if if you're if you're if you're at a point where you're at the 99% then it then it makes things a lot lot easier because it's just like okay, so if I was like part of that player base, where would I be struggling with this bubble? You're going to be struggling a lot with that bubble. That is one of the bubbles that you're basically going to ignore. You're not even going to be using the other bubbles to even upgrade it, let alone bargain tag, because let's be honest, if you're part of the 99%, your construction level is probably not even like, like maybe a level 110, okay? It's not even going to be that high, let alone the majority of player base ignore construction bubbles as a whole. They, they never, they, I, I hear tons of people never putting points into Call Me Bob, never putting points into Carpenter, they're, they're literally just focusing on, like, Shakrissy, FMJ, damage bubbles. Uh, you know, anything that's, anything that's not construction, because it doesn't really get to a point where you get into later game until you realize the true potency of construction. Ignore all yellow World 4 bubbles because of the spice cost. Yeah, usually you want to level up every bubble in every other cauldron. Uh, so, so no bubble left behind pushes yellow bubbles. It's usually what you want to do. I started leveling construction the second I got the artifact. But see, that just goes to my point, though, Chikaru. You didn't start hard farming construction until you got to a point where you were in World 5. Construction is World 3. You see what I mean? So you didn't, you didn't, you didn't start leveling construction until two worlds later. Would I be top 10% with level 250 construction on DK? No. With construction, I mean the bubbles? Yeah, so World 5. But you're still, you're still not touching the construction bubbles until World 5. You know what I mean? And also, you gotta realize too, is you have to take the tier list standpoint from people that aren't in streams, don't watch YouTube videos, and aren't part of the Discord. Right? You gotta take those people into consideration. Because, because with, the, with the Discord and with, uh, with how we have as a community and have the streams and the YouTube videos, you guys know a fuck ton more than the 99%. Right? You guys know a ton more. Like, like basically, here's, here's, here's a normal person's knowledge, okay? Here's your guys' knowledge. This is the, you guys may be at the same point in the game, but you will have way more knowledge when it comes to the game standpoint because you've watched all these guys and shit. It's the same thing as like, it's like playing like Maple Story, all right? That you have the people that are just killing shit for the killing shit, and then if there's people up here that are probably around the same level, but because they have so much more knowledge, they're going to be able to travel so much faster than you. Hey, what's up, cowboy? What's going on, man? Our community is like 70% population though, isn't it? Oh, probably. Wouldn't doubt it. 
I mean, we, we, we are, we are Eidolon. I know nothing. What do you mean? I'm basically Jon Snow. Yeah, I mean, Arika. <laughs> You're not wrong. Here's your knowledge on drugs. Yeah, basically. Shouldn't tell Twitch chat that they have big brains. Oh, no, no, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is Twitch chat, and this is, this is me, okay? This is the guide guy, by the way. And, and then, and then, right, this is me, and this is Zelb right here. This, this is Zelb, this is me, all right? Zelb's still, Zelb's still big brain. New language is going to be a lot of new people that have no idea what they're doing. Oh, I'm running, I'm running Japanese right now, dude. It looks great. I like all the symbols. Makes me feel like I'm watching an anime with, uh, with subtitles. Yo, Serana. So coming in with the two months. Hell yeah, dude. I'm farther ahead. Thank you. Thank you for the two months, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm farther than Griffey, and I think Carpenter Bubbles B-tier. No, 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 no. It's because you don't realize potency. Not much going on. Just sitting in the hospital after my surgery yesterday. Oh, a successful, I'm hoping, in Cowboy? Zelda's already done World 7. True. Lava's... Okay, let's be honest here. Lava's knowledge of the game is here. This is Twitch chat. Okay? This is the 99%. Okay? Lava's knowledge of the game, his, inf his, his knowledge of the infrastructure... Is like here, but his actual knowledge of how his game runs is like down fucking here. Okay, let's be, let's just be honest here. Okay, because if he played the game as much as like some of that we do, this game would be a hundred percent different. Yeah. Quick question: Just hit World Five and knows your gem tier list doesn't cover it. Any recommendations and must have and traps? Uh, so the chest lugs are always solid. You want make sure to have one in the sprinkler. Sprinkler is very, very good. Um, I would say there's not really any bad World 5. The only thing I could argue is the Miracle Chests. The Miracle Chests aren't really that worth it. So, like, just, just, just don't, just don't have, just don't have mir Miracle Chests. They're, they're a waste. I mean, they're good for if you want materials to hard farm your boats, but, yeah, they're not really that worth it. No lava left behind. Yeah, true, dude. Just imagine Duke would be with would be a cattle crook drop. Yeah, exactly. He has Tessa visors though. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna, this may be a hot take, but with the amount of testers he has, they 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 need to be revised. Okay, they need to be they need to be revised because I'm sorry, but how many bugs get through the play testing? And and then literally the next day in like end game chat and like idle chat and like different discords they're telling everybody about the fucking exploits. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, but this is this is not a secret. Okay, we 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 all know that they go in there to find what to juice out to get early gains and then not tell Lava about it and get him not to fix it and then get themselves ahead. Okay. We know it happened. It's been it happened for years. All right. Doc said it was successful. Just kept two days in case of complications. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Thanks for the info. Yeah, no problem, dude. Divine sparkles are really useful for unlocking goat god faster. Divine spark. Yeah, divine sparkies are solid. I was gonna say something, but I didn't. Yeah, I mean, but we we know how it is. It is what it is, man. Um, unless unless they can prove me wrong, but literally, I I find it too suspicious. And too consistent for literally having every single decent content update that has bugs in it that that literally has a bug that can give you insane amounts of gains in a short amount of time and it doesn't get caught and there's over like a hundred beta testers. I'm sorry, but no fucking shot. Okay, there's no shot, no way, no how. Are you not one of the testers? No, I am not a tester. I am 100% not a tester, because I don't want to be a tester. I'm a content creator. I'm not a tester. I go in blind. I want to see what happens for the first time. I want to see what things do. Gee, yeah, I did a riff 1 to 15 with like 5 to 10 million damage. Mastery gains are pretty good, bro. Mastery gains. Like the sailing thing where you could just save progress through close the page? Yeah, exactly. The beta testers want to use their real game, so they left. Left, so they left it? Yeah, true. Can you give me an example? I haven't been around for major updates. Sailing. 
when sailing first got released and the fact that you could open and close your freaking inventory or the map to maintain your sailing games so you could t so if you procced 15 hours of sailing games and you only needed two hours that means you could open 30 chests like every two hours check the most important milestones and not waste any afk time unlocked with sigils of all things hell yeah dude Lava should hire itty bitty army for testing. I would rip Lava a new one with the bugs and feedback, dude. I feel like the crucial ones are much less th as, the, as the years go. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely, like, he's, he's done some filtering. Like, I can already tell that it's, that it's filtering. It ruins the experience of creating contents, in my opinion, of being a beta tester. The crucial bugs, yeah. I love it when G bypasses crude comment. Wait, would I? Did I? Did I? Like, you see him read it, and he just notes it. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Nopes. He did filter back in World 3 release, I remember. World 3... It, well, it, it, you're, gonna, you're still gonna get a new, uh, new wave every time. You know, it just... It, it comes with the territory. It's just anything to increase gains, they will do. You know? It's, it's, just, it's just like, hey, if I offered you 500 bucks, would you stab this guy? It's just like, make it a thousand, and I'll do it. You know what I mean? Why am I not getting notes from Isle of Note? Are they that rare? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty rare. How do people become beta testers? Uh, usually I have to, like, sign up when Lava wants more. Locking Sandy Paws, jump my damage to 776k. What are we doing today? We are doing the purple bubble tier list today. What's going on, Joker? What's happening? One of, almost one of the strongest, strongest bubbles or cauldrons in the game. We have two more cauldrons left. We have the purple bubble and the yellow bubble. Well, I wouldn't exploit bugs, but I'd use legit game knowledge from playing. Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, it's like, what you gotta think about is... It, 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 need, it, needs, to be, it needs to be properly tested, because then people... Because here's the thing. Here's what happens, okay? So the beta testing happens. They, they, they figure out what's going on, what's wrong with the game. They give him the minor bugs to tweak to make it playable. They take the big, big gain bugs, don't tell him, or they do tell him, probably with just not enough time. And uh, what ends up happening is they get insane amounts of gains for a short period of time. And uh, people end up fucking complaining about the game because of the, because of the bug. And, it, and at that point, I don't even really think it's fucking Lava's fault. Because it's just like, he's just listening, he's listening to the beta testers because the beta testers are giving him shit that needs to be fixed. So if they're not telling him about fix, then people complaining about the fucking bugs and then bitching about once it gets fixed, it's just like, yeah, it would have been fix it release if the people would have just fucking said something. You know? It's like, bro, bro, he's got, he's got over like a hundred fucking beta testers. Oh, yo, yo. Yo, what's up, dude? Thanks for the follow. It's getting close to first million damage? Yeah, dude. Beta testers aren't doing their job at that point. Maybe I'm... Hey, but at the same time... At the same time... I might be totally wrong. Okay? This is just... This is just what from I have heard, okay? This is just what from I've seen and I have heard over playing the game. Maybe... Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I... Maybe I'm 100% out of left field. And maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But that is what I'm stipulating right now, and that's what makes sense to me. Is this tier list earlier, like an hour from now? I don't know, dude. It happens when it happens. I wouldn't do that. Be a beta tester that beta tester hate, dude. There's no way every... There's no way that every tester is that selfish. Well, I mean, it's probably a little cult-like. I would say the beta testers are probably their own clique. So if, if, what, if, if they have a beta tester that has a high enough reputation, they'll be like, hey, don't say this shit. And they'll be like, oh, okay. We're going to do some Citroen tonight, G? We're doing purple bubble tier list. You have to admit that he just doesn't have the ability to fix all in a short time. I'm a fine with that. It's just one developer. Yeah, but there, so I agree. But there's a, there's a, there was continuous, continuous updates with these bugs that make like your gains three times as high. Right? 
There's no way early sailing wasn't caught by someone. Yeah, exactly. Idle index guides are cracked. Just use character guides and went up to 1 million damage. Hell yeah, dude. Do you have any addictive rerolling cogs since I locked the full board the other day? It's good, man. It's good stuff. Such bugs were found would be better to delay the release of new content, you think? It depends on how game-breaking the bug is. It really depends on how game-breaking the bug is. Because here, you, you guys want to know a really good example? The golden bar bug. Okay, there was a spreadsheet. We found out there was a spreadsheet up for two months with the rotation of what's going to come next with the sailing items. And it even stated in that fucking spreadsheet that there was going to be golden bars for sale. They were already aware of this. And yet Lava was not aware of this. So if fucking explain that. Explain how they had a spreadsheet that they knew about it, but for some reason Lava didn't know about it. Source? Reasoning? I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty fucking guilty to me, man. Just upgrade some talents, a couple levels, get me an 849k. Hell yeah, dude. Purple bubble tier list. You know what? Only put four points into it. Purple bubble tier list could be like five minutes, nothing contentious, and there at all. Nah, Ken. I think you're wrong, bro. There's some bugs happening as we speak out of curiosity. As we speak, yeah, HP and MP snap. M MP and HP snap is, I would consider that a bug. I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that a mechanic, all right, necessarily. I mean, yeah, it's, it, 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 he doesn't care about it, so yeah, I guess it is a mechanic. But, I mean, that's still, I would still consider that a bug. It's a feature? It's, it's barely a feature. I, it's borderline a feature. Three-fourths of full platinum set, let's go. Because Lava don't check his spaghetti code. Sounds a little sussy to me. That's what I'm saying. What about the boobo bug for boobs? Yeah, okay. That's also a good... Actually, that's a great one, check. Re you guys remember the boobo respawn dead bug? Where you could spawn Baba Yaga and boobs? And then there was a few people that literally abused that bug to get really high freaking kill count on, on boobs? Wow. I mean, wouldn't that be something that you would catch? Because... I don't know about you guys, but when that released, our first thoughts were, can we respawn the bosses? Okay? I don't know about you guys, but I'm, that's, that's, that's our first idea that popped into our head. Are we able to respawn? It's more of a simplified calculation. Not really. Sub G took my BM four days to level from 150 to 250, put DK on active and went to work. He's, he was 190, came house, he's 265. Now I'm orb believer. Hell yeah, brother. Just because it's a bug doesn't mean Lava doesn't like it. Yeah, true. That would also be my first thought. Because if, if it was... if it Because here's the thing. If it was truly a, a feature, Lava would have never gotten rid of the mob respawn snap. Explain that to me. Because if HP and MP snap are there, why isn't mob respawn still there? Explain. Oh, right. That's right, because it's not actually a feature. My favorite snap is Pokemon. True. I don't get how it isn't something Lava checks himself, because he's, he's one developer, dude. He's doing five billion different other things, man. That's the, what, the real question is, what's the point of hiring other people to do work if they're not even going to fucking do work? Right? You know what I mean? Like, what's, what's the point? What would you recommend a book for Divine Knight? Orb. Orb. Orb and Sword Slash. AG, yeah, I saw it, Kabir. Yeah. Kabir, can you not see any of the clips that were made yesterday? Like, do I need to give you editor perms on Twitch? Because because you you said that you're editing down an hour worth of a video into into a, a minute? That didn't make any sense to me. You know, you just usually just find part of the stream that had a good clip of it, and you just chop down, what, two minutes? So I mean, if you if you need the editor if you need the editor role for clips, just let me know because uh, your reasoning didn't make sense to me. That's the problem. He got people to test, but no one reviews his code. Probably just Vim writing it. Yeah, probably. The VMAN printing bug is the best bug. Even Lava loves it. Yeah, I mean that was a bug, but I mean it's fine. It, it's it it is what it is. My favorite snap is Ginger, dude. <laughs> he has to code the next update most of the time. Yeah, exactly. He's not even writing it, just drag and drop. Yeah, but even still. 
drag and drop, and it doesn't matter if you're writing it or dragging and dropping, it's still coding, whether we like it or not. I'm gonna say that because it's broken, but MP and HP is even more broken. I mean, MP isn't that broken. HP is broken, though. I would consider snapshotting equivalent to tick manipulation in OSRS. Yeah, but, but, but it's easier to fix that than tick manipulation in OSRS, alright? Way easier. Because he didn't like those, HP snaps are actually cool. It's a thing in which you have to be a gamer to know. You shouldn't have to be a gamer to know this. It's an idle RPG. You know, shouldn't have to be a sweaty gamer to figure out a fucking mid-max tool that requires you to have full, two full sets of gear just to do a single fucking copper ore print, okay? Let's not, let's not beat around the bush here, okay? I think he fixed these bugs to give us better ways to get damage in order to make old prints worthless, basically for it to see us to update prints. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a software developer and checking edge cases are how you know to wrote it right. Easy case is just the start. Can't leave everything for QA. Yeah. Drag and dropping is coding is just limited. Yeah, but it's still coding. Yeah, the whole bit with end stream was like over four minutes, 40 minutes. Oh, dude, you just, you just, you just cut the good part. Cut the good part and get rid of everything else. That's all. I mean, you don't need a lot. Just the funny part. Funny part about it, you don't need to have the whole what happened in between. Just get the good parts of it. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Throw away. Happy Thursday, how's it going, G? It's going good, Waffles. How you doing, man? And drag and drop doesn't feel like a bug. Lava should make it easier, if anything. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Like, here's the thing, chat. All of this is just opinionated. We're, we're basically like, uh, we, we're, not, we're not doing any of the work, right? We're, we're, not, we're not the beta testers. We don't know what the fuck we're talking about. We don't know what's happening inside. We're just completely stipulating here. It's not something you're forced to do even endgame, though. It's something that's completely optional. Brother, you can't tell me that that's something that's optional, okay? No. No, it's not. And you know it's not. You know it's when you get to that point and you need as many atoms as possible that you're gonna just say, I'm not gonna do HP or MP snap. You're... That's delusional. I think it'd be easy to fix HP and mana snapshots by just making the bonus based on highest value of reach the past instead of current value. That is actually a really good opinion. Actually, Matt, that's actually smart. So the highest value reached the past instead of the current value. And so, so it's just snapshots your highest high score. 94 ch cheese or keys, no scarves. You'll get it, dude. We have the fan input, the lowest tier of input, sadly. Yeah, and that's basically what it is. Probably not going to do snapshots because I'm lazy. Well, for the people that aren't lazy, are going to do it. Yeah, optional, but you're punished for not doing it. Bing bong. Yeah, and it shouldn't be a punishment for you being sweaty. Personally. Big brain? Yeah, exactly. I, I, don't, I don't think there should be a percentage punishment for you, uh, if not not knowing it, or not doing it. But isn't Wayne anyway, after getting skill mastery skill cards, going passive? Yeah, but HP snap isn't skill card based. I will always snapshot it. What are snapshots? So basically what you can do is you can... You can set up a character in a previous map, go to a second map, change his gear and all his stuff into a different build, so then you end up getting more prints out of it. Snapshots are all print in my opinion, but don't blame anyone for using active grinding either, dude. The whole game is a punishment for not knowing, what do you mean? It really is. Like, even, even for instance, uh, the, the, card, the card drop chance snap. So we have MP, HP, and card snap. So, I mean, we, and then we used to have mob respawn, but even something like that, even when it had four, it was, it was overwhelming worth of knowledge to know. If you told some random 99 percenter, be like, hey, you have to do these snapshots, bro, all you're going to see is smoke coming out of their fucking ears. Because you're literally, you're literally just, you literally, it's the same as sticking a fucking stick into a bicycle tire. It's just going to make you do a fucking flip. Is there an XP snap that might, no, there's no XP snap. Is that coffee in your cream? Uh, I don't, no. What do you, what, what do you got a problem with? Bro, I'm sorry, I don't drink black coffee. Is that, is that the problem? Uh, I'm sorry, is, is this too much cream for you, dog? Your cup is messing with your green screen? That's fine. 
Same feeling I get when I stare in a good cog setup. What's up, Bunce? What's going on, man? Welcome on in. I always tell people to get 90% printer sample rate and resample and make them aware of snapping, but I tell them by means have to do it. Yeah, but they but even when you say, oh, snap, they're they're not gonna understand what you're talking about. They're gonna have they're gonna have no idea what you're talking about. I actually have to have a, a quite a bit of cream um in my coffee, unfortunately, because uh coffee is incredibly acidic. How much worth is it actually snapshotting though? I feel pretty late game. I've never been snatting anything but cards. So Flintstone HP is about 10% print gains. MP is about 3%. And if you do a card snap, you get about three times the amount of cards that you usually do. Brother, to think that you could just tell somebody what snapping is, Nobody can just tell a person what snapping is and it makes sense to them. You have to physically show them for it to make sense. All right. I, I've, I've done enough teaching of how to do fucking snaps that I could tell you 100% that snapping is not something that you just say. It's something that you have to show. I have always card snaps, right? But 3%. Yeah, but uh, here, but here, take this for instance, Flintstone. Three percent for MP on like one point, like one billion. Okay, three percent on one billion is quite a bit. Okay, do the thing on the th one thing, then switch to the other thing. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, the game could be wonky. Card snap is the easiest, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Thanos does. Oh, okay, dude. Yo, what's up, Sam? I didn't understand snapping until way later because I didn't understand a thing. Yeah, snapping is like capturing stat at a specific time, knowing the stat will change soon. Yeah. So it might be a hot take, but I wish the MP pots worked like the H... 100% confirmed. 100% agreed. I think, I think MP... I think MP pots should give us extra MP, not increase our MP regen, because MP pots are useless to us. We got an idle index guide on snapshotting guide specifically for it and its applications to help everyone put a command chat and link for it. Honestly, I should just make a guide. MP pots would technically do both because the more mana you have, the more mana regen you get. Gene Thanos snaps and all the bug abusers, dude. What are y'all talking about? We're talking about snapshotting. What's the RAM looking at? Badass, dude. Same for the talent that gives mana regen. Yeah, exactly. The one card. Where's the card snapping short? G. Could make a card. I could make a card snapping short. Yes, make a guide on it that would help everyone. Have you seen the future content blog this time? Yeah, dude. I have. I have. Sailing escape trick. Snapshotting. Yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, you came into the conversation a little too late. We just explained the whole thing of it. It's too much to explain again. The ram is thick, not gonna lie. He's a chonky boy, dude. Don't teach him how to do a death. I make them aware of it, what is accomplished, and a rough idea what it is. I suggest they don't do it in almost all cases, though. Why do you tell them not to do it? So, wait, hold up. Well, what, wait, well, that doesn't make any sense. So you, you tell them about it in depth, but then you tell them not to do it. Then they're gonna do it. Making a guide on what to do might be considered it might be a bit sus. Uh, well, that's why that's why I gotta run it by lava, right? I gotta see like what what by lava is okay to talk about, what's not okay to talk about, because there's just such gray areas. Like for instance, uh, the one would be like uh, mob respawn snapshot. He wasn't a fan about people talking about it. Never did snapshotting, by the way. Tell them it's not worth it because most of the uh most of them say they don't want to. Oh, okay. So I mean, you just that's that's what we like to call pussyfooting. I won't tell them upright. So because they don't want to do it, you tell them, oh, just don't do it then. When in reality, you're basically telling them they're missing out an insane amount of gains, especially when it comes to the card drop chance. The card drop snapshot is by far the most important thing. If you if you set up a person with a full setup of cards. And a card snapshot build with a drop right build, and then you set them up with 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 no card shop snapshot. It's like three times faster. 
Because most people hate printer anyways. I don't, I don't understand that mechanic. Like, sure, printing sucks, but it's part of the game, you know? So this is like, it's like, so, so, and that, that feels like it's counterintuitive. So wouldn't you want, wouldn't, wouldn't you want, wouldn't you want to do the snapshot so you have to do printer less? Because if you, if you, if you don't do the snapshot, then you're going to have to do printer more because your base value of your prints are just going to be lower regardless. So if you do the snaps, that means that's longer than until you have to do your prints again. I mean, that's how that would make sense for me. Lava doesn't like it. Why doesn't he remove it? Because he's doing other shit. You gotta realize he's one developer. He's, he doesn't have a whole indie crew, right? Would still like to have a guide and I'll dig... Yeah, okay. Snapshot make it takes even longer each time you print. Yeah, exactly. Example is one of the reasons why I've quit. The game used to be too much... Be too much time. Wait, Bobby, you quit? I just don't want to spend that much time prepping for snaps. I mean, that's fine if you don't want to do snaps. I'm just saying the ideology that brother is talking about does doesn't make any sense to me. Doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So that that's what I'm saying. Snaps aren't that hard. Yeah, once you set them up once, they become a lot easier. But I mean, until that, oh, I have quit for a year. Came back. Oh yeah, okay. You'd hire someone, honestly, not like the game is non-profit. Yeah, basically. I like printing, but it just has, has so low prints that I don't think it's worth for me right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty worth it. Samples making someone quit because they take too much time is so ironic. Samples make the game go faster and hands off. Just an idea of 10 samples in a day. Yeah, exactly. You have the right to refuse a doctor's advice. A doctor is there warned you of the consequences. That's the idea I come with. The, no. No. no, no, this is not, this is fucking Eidolon. This is not, this is not a doctor, okay? This has nothing even close to giving advice that would potentially either hurt you or give you a benefit. All right? This is literally just, this is literally a video game, okay? You, you, you giving them advice and then telling them not to do it is not the equivalent of giving them doctor's advice. New Adam any good? Just saw the update? Yeah, it's fantastic. Where's Sugma did? <laughs> Griffmon Asman bit would pan up for that cold take, dude. Bro, that, sh that, that take was so cold, that shit gave me hypothermia, dude. No, no, no. And I mean, if anything, somebody should be teaching people how to snapshot if they don't snapshot, okay? It doesn't... Uh, uh, if you want to, that's like, that's like giving people doctor advice without having a PhD, okay? That's like telling someone to go do brain surgery when they're not a brain surgeon. It's like giving someone a thousand dollars and tell them not to spend it, dude. You don't like samples that just update them less, you don't have to be constant on them. Unless you want the continuous grab, nothing wrong with being slow. Yeah, absolutely. Korean, Japanese, or simplified Chinese added to the game? Huge W. Yeah, absolutely. So like a Facebook mom? Yeah, I like a Facebook mom. What do you mean? I tell them a snapshot, I can't force them. Is there a choice? Yeah, yeah, but brother, you said you don't do snaps. You said you don't snapshot. I do them. You literally just said, not too long ago, that you said I'm too lazy to do snaps. So now, now you're giving them completely... Okay, I'm opening the chat log. Get him. Get me. Just gaslighting you? I'm finding it. I'm finding it, chat. I'm finding it. Give me a sec. I'm cooking. 
Wow, brother, you actually talk a lot in this chat. Holy shit. You have so many comments, dude. <laughs> Such a deep dive, bro. <laughs> Let him quack. Brother does talk a lot. Don't you want chat interaction? No, I know, except when it, except when it comes to pulling up logs, dude. <laughs> Uh. Free chat, deep dive into the oblivion. You've been seen, dude. You've been seen. Our place is live. Let's make something happen. No way. I don't. I don't care about our place, dude. Our place was. Eh, it was kind of cool, I guess. But it's it's only it's only cool for a little bit. Okay, maybe it was somebody else. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe, uh, you know what, I can admit when I'm wrong. I, I don't think, I don't think Brother ever said that. I think that was somebody else. Yeah, so, somebody did say it, but I don't think it was him. It was me, G. Oh, it's because you guys have the same colored name. You and Kin both have the green fucking name, dude. All right, I was wrong. All right, that's fine. Sorry, I, I go off chat interaction based off colors, okay? I, I, I barely even read usernames anymore. Is the only one to recognize besides Smile and Rika that's always a chat, dude? Yeah, true. Told you I didn't do prints. Maybe you got green names confused. Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly. Chat wins. Is there a video explaining snaps? No. But I, but I, but I will, I will, I will, I will eventually do it. Pink color wear, dude. Wow, G by color. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, squid, you're, you're, you're easy to tell. You know? G ever becomes colorblind, it'll be the end of his chat interaction, dude. If I ever become colorblind, I don't think I'll be a streamer anymore. All right? Do you keep your trap and obels? No, I get rid of them. All right? To be completely honest, I would, I would pr pr probably, probably just throw it in the trash. I'd be like, all right, we're done content creating because I'm officially colorblind. Because usually... Usually what happens is if you become colorblind and aren't born colorblind, your colorblind is way worse than normal. Alright? Usually 100% worse, so you usually can't see jack shit for color. And not to mention, it usually probably follows by being slightly blind. No maple, dude. You guys are down bad for the maple. Alright. Here we go, chat. So... The plan for today here, chat, okay? Here's the plan, all right? Listen up, listen up here, okay? Listen up. Here's the plan. So we have to tackle the purple bubble tier list today, all right? Purple bubble tier list, pog champ. That's the main event, okay? We have to do our trapping. We have to set up our new trapping, okay? That's something that we need to tackle today is get our trapping done. And obviously, we have to do our gambinos. Obviously, gambinos, good time, sailing. Uh, printer procs, you know, it is, it, you know, the stuff that we do every single day. And there was one other thing that I had to do that I don't remember. So first thing I should do after entering World 4, get elite classes. Because I would take my VIP, I don't really want it. What? Why do you not want it, confirmed? Ripping my eye where a hornet stung me when I was a kid, I did. Looks like a question mark, so it's... I is always questioning everything I see, dude. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. New trapping? Yeah, because I have to I have to upgrade my trapping. Gotta leave for a DD later. Miss the green tier list. Gonna miss this one too. It's okay. We have the full edited video down, Demos. It's gonna be coming out soon. So I haven't got the last artifact. Soon, dude. I'll take it. I got 16 printer procs this morning. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Question, do I set up one XP trap on everybody? Two on BM and three on VMAT? I mean you can if you want, if you want extra XP. It's, it wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad idea to have one XP trap on everyone, but you gotta realize every time you have an XP trap on someone, you lose more critters. I'll take the VIP. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know why Confirm wants to give away his VIP, dude. That means he can post sussy baka links, dude. Don't you wanna, don't you wanna post sussy baka links? Scam, dude? Scam? So confirm, do you really not want your VIP? I'll I'll take it from you, dude, if you don't want it. If you really if you really, really don't want it, I will I will do a raffle right now for it. Does the last trap not work or am I doing something wrong? Uh, it's not it's not available. Whoever wants it, it can have it. Alright. Alright, chat. 
I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 200. If you guess the number, you get VIP. Still don't see it. Still don't see it. I saw someone really close, but still didn't see it. Man, you guys still haven't guessed it yet. Holy shit, how can people be that bad? Bro, you guys still haven't said it yet. Oh my god, you guys really can't hit this? Oh my god, you guys actually that fucking bad? Dude, I've seen so many people that have been one off. Okay, stop. I think somebody said it. Hold up. I'm pretty sure someone said it. Let's check here. Uh, yeah, you guys didn't. S no, still, I'm I'm scrolling down here. I'm just seeing I'm seeing who said it first. Yeah. Wow, you guys literally skip like every number ever. Okay, you guys even count. What's going on here? Is this school for ants? Chad, I told you to stop spamming numbers! Why are you guys still spamming numbers? Wow, actually, my brain works a lot faster than I thought it did. I saw all these numbers scrolling down. Holy shit. Wow, dude. We literally went through so many numbers, and none of you guys guessed it. I think, we, I think we're still going down, though. Found it. We have a winner. We have a winner. First person to say it was Telly Gaga. The number was 32, chat. The number was 32. I said 32? No, you didn't. You said 323. See this? See, see, Erika, 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 you see this? 323. That's not, that's not 32. That's 323. And then you went 33. <laughs> Telly is the beaner, dude. Yeah, that's the way it is, dude. Hey, 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 you know? Yeah, so, yeah, there you go, Telly. Nice work, nice work. Nice work. Congrats, gamer. Can't even get it, but still wants it, dude. Yeah, right? Hey, I mean, I mean it, it's the competition, though. Pretty sure I said it's super early. You said 30... Wait, well, you did. Oh, yeah, you did, but Telly said it before you. Yeah, Telly said it before you. Uh, 
Make a combustion cycle way faster. Grinding troll armor and weapon upgrades have been a nightmare. Yeah, upgrade to ranks of your assaults. Not only that, uh, you want to also do... Uh, there's, a, there's a lots of other ways to do it. Oh, chat, by the way, check this out, dude. Bro, look at those numbers, dude. Look at those sick, sick numbers, bro. Wait, why is it not work? Oh, it's because I don't have numlocks on. There it goes. L l look at those gains, bro. Look at those gains on the left side there. Insane gains. They're so insane. I don't A card. Bro, actually, gonna be honest with you, kinda like the Japanese, dude. It tells me exactly what I get a card. Card. Mid game gamers, dude. This is Korean? No, it's not! Chat! Oh, shit. Oh, my God, it is Korean. Oh, my God, dude. Whoops. Whoops. My bad. You're right, it is Korean. Yeah, you're right. You're right, it is Korean. I made a mistake. I, I, I got the Japanese flag and the Korean flag mixed up. Sorry. My bad. My bad. How's that racist? I made a fucking mistake! American movement? I'm Canadian! Do all the letters look the same to you? Yes, because they're symbols! Can Canadian moment? Big dumb moment, dude? NA education, dude? Man, shut the fuck up, dude! I'm going back to green. It looks cooler. Letters are also symbols. Man, imagine, dude. You know what, chat? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a Babel spam sponsorship. Okay, we're gonna do ba Babel sponsorship. We're gonna learn fucking Japanese. All right, you guys want to pull this shit? You want to say NA freaking education, man? Bro. Japanese roofless houses Korean in circles, dude. Nanny, Duolingo? Yeah, Duolingo, dude. Do the World 5 Shinies just spawn by themselves? What do you mean, World 5 Shinies? Chinese letters look 10 times more copulate Korea. That's how I can tell, bro. Just not get canceled? Korea and learn stream? Yeah, exactly. How can I get ca canceled for making a mistake? The fuck are you talking about? You gotta start grinding for a thousand plus streak in Duolingo? Japanese or bust, dude? Why are all you guys on Arctic Divinity? Because it was supposed to help with uh, IE before it got updated. Koreans actually make sense though. Those MMOs are grindy. Yeah, Korean MMOs are grindy as fuck. So might as well make it look Korean, dude. Lava imply an upcoming event the pictures and future content. Yeah, yeah, he did. People get cancelled for mistakes all the time. I mean, if you get mis cancelled for something like that, whatever, I'll just have a fucking vacation, I guess. Means more, more time to work on videos. So we have uh, Cranium Cooking, Respawn Dead, Auspicious Aura, and Flatulent Spirit. This is our rotation. Wait, hold up, chat. Wait a minute. This isn't Korean. Something ain't right here, chat. Something ain't looking right, dude. Look at the hint section, G. I don't know which fucking one that is. Where? What hint section? Where? Oh, light bulbs. <laughs> hey, chat, you want to learn how to hint in Korean? Well, guess what? I'm a fuck off. <laughs> uh, bro not like anyone reads the hints yeah true that's probably why you didn't do it eh watch expeditions be where you trade pets he puts a slot machine just to mess with the community dude or no no here's the thing check if he makes expeditions just where we trade pets and he puts a slot machine just to mess with the community that means he's literally making the content specifically for the stream okay not everything translated over? Yeah, I guess so. Look at the quest. 
Are the quests the same? I mean, they're kind I mean... I mean, yeah, they're kind of cool. I mean, any new person that comes in here is going to be like, what the hell am I looking at, dude? Can't believe G didn't use the right CDs. What CDs? CDs nuts? What are you talking about? What CDs? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I got you before you even said it, bro. Got you before you even said it. Streamer carrying the game anyways. <laughs> I'm not carrying the game. What are you talking about? There's been I there's been no place in time where I've ever thought that I've carried this game. That's fake news, dude. Fake news. Without me, this game would flourish perfectly fine. Right, chat? Right? Right, chat? This game would still be alive, right? <laughs> yeah yeah no no one would know how to play nope i will i'd be a community but i hit second server though dude yeah true you probably did oh, no, i'm not even following for that kid i wouldn't know it existed not like twitch community could move elsewhere you're the only one streaming ilon dude <laughs> hey there's 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 llama you know, there, there's Llama, and then there's, uh, there's, uh, Koga, and then, and then there's Ice Locked, and then there's, and then there's, uh, there, uh there's Heat. Wait, Green Man? Bro, still trash, dude. Can we? All this is trash. Yeah, there's Talina as well. Yeah, there's, there's tons of people, chat. What are you talking about? You think I'm the only content creator for Eidolon? I mean, I'm, I may be, like, one of the only content creators who watch. Lena Franz, Llama Heat. The 1% would only be the people who know how to play the game. Yeah, true. Imagine we need Evade Pop 3 because we have too many members. Nah, dude, nah. Oh, by the way, chat, by the way, speaking of Finster, by the way, I took a look at what channels are watched uh, for, for my YouTube player base. Bro, Finster's on there. You guys are you guys are fucking more more degenerate than I thought you were. All right, it's actually quite high up there of channels previously watched. Okay, still be playing if I didn't found it on Twitch. It's the best game after all, dude. It's such a good game, dude. Who's Finster? Yeah, okay. Don't even act like you don't know who it is. I've joined the Untradeable Duke gang. Yo, free to play, dude. Let's go, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you're really gonna get canceled, bro. What do I get canceled for? Stating the obvious. I know erratically playing in Korean now. Memboy aren't DGen territory. Yeah, that's VR chat territory. All right. Completely different. 10K on no. <clears throat> Let's go, dude. You know, you know, as weird as weird as it is, chat, is it just me? Or is it I kind of like playing this game in Korean? I actually don't know who Finster is. Ah, oh, Finster is a Minecrafter. Plays a lot of Minecraft. Seriously, I don't know who it is. They play, they play Minecraft. Looks like a Nexon game, dude. It kind of does. It kind of is, dude. Like, like chat. So, like, so if you if you read this specifically, uh, you know, this is strength. This is agility. This is wisdom. So this does some things, this, do, this does some other things, and this does, uh, this does, uh, this does a few other things, you know? It's, it's good. It's good. Just look up severe pizza delivery. No, oh, no. All right. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, obviously, as you can tell, chat, agility does smithing. Yeah, zero point times artifact chance, normal. Yep. Yeah, it, it, it really is, dude. 100 days of nylon and cat over here, hit the dust, dude. Smithing and archer, know the language, dude. Yeah, smithing and archer, absolutely. Oh, yeah, what does wisdom do? Logs. Chopping. Agility is totally used for smithing. It's not, though. 
Agility's really not used for smithing, though. Because, because, because efficiency doesn't affect smithing. AFK goes below- yeah, dude. Oh, uh, bro, imagine not being able- bro, what's the point of having AFK info when you can't even read that shit, dude? Another 25 Nightmare V-Man runs since last stream with no cape, dude? Feels bad, dude. Yo, what up- yo, what's up, Soul Reap? What's going on, man? Alright, here we go, Jet. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. See what happens. See what happens. Here we go. You know what? We need to... This is, this is how we're going to get it, chat. This is 100% how we're going to get it. This is the only way. Your luck reset, G. We got this, dude. We got this. We're pirates, chat. We're pirates! Give me the- give me the urn today! Today is the day, baby! How many cars Lava can make passive bonuses at some point? Use a main stat? Yeah, I mean, they can eventually get to that point. But you don't want to get to a point where cards become completely useless. I mean, if you want- if you want my urn, dude. I- I don't want your urn, dude. You keep your urn away from me. Keep your urn away from me. Why is it Korean? Because it's a new update, bro. It's it's, it's new update. You got you got you know you got to show you got to show off the true Korean MMO experience, the super grind, bro. Okay, honestly, that 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 didn't that didn't help us at all. I think every would be fine as long as you can double the passive cards. Yeah, if you can't double the passive cards, then that kind of ruins a lot of chip stuff. Kind of... <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed, you're too invested, bro. You're too invested. Back away, man, back away. Take a step back, dog. Beastmaster, dude. Why are you a Korean? Because it's the new update, bro! It's- it's- it's the new update, Doug! No, it's not- no, don't worry, it's not simplified Chinese. Don't worry, it's- it's Korean. I- I already got cancelled for- for... mistaking that. New update, everything is a Korean? Yeah, exactly. It- now it's true Maple Story. It's true Maple Story, bro. I like I like how Pickle makes sure to show up for the tier list, but 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 he like disappears for like the whole week. Except he's like, oh, tier list day, time time to fucking piss off G. And let's get it, baby. Let's go. I guess I could put down Hearthstone for a couple minutes. Are you ready? Are you ready for the purple tier list today, Pickle? You ready to say? Are you ready to call Cranium Cooking F tier? I'm waiting for it, dude. Pickle moment coming? Hell yeah, dude. Fucking called it. Bam, 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 bam. He's playing Hearthstone. I call it that he'd fucking show up, dude. Of course, of course. What rank in Hearthstone? He's still bronze, dude. He's still bronze. Oh my god, come on, dude. Come on, man. He's wood tier? Yeah, dude, he's wood tier, bro.
It would make more sense if he pay if he played like I don't know personally TFT TFT would be better. This is some weird ass music, bro. This music plays a lot actually. Be like kind of playing Hearthstone for like two hours and never again for another six months. Yeah, I I I think I think TFT is good. I like TFT. TFT's hype. No, not TF2. Not Team Fortress 2. Team Fight Tactics. <laughs> God damn it, Lewis. Team Fortress Tactics? You know what? I would be down to play if they actually made a Team Fortress Tactics. You know what? I'd be down. My point still stands. Riot Games Auto Battler. Wait, when did you get Ancient Giant's Eye? Bro, I've had Ancient Giant's Eye forever now. TFT way less toxic in League because it's not team-based? Exactly. Heavy got a sandwich ability, dude. Yeah, I got, I got it a while ago, dude. Got a long time ago. Where have you been? Pickle just disappeared off the face of the earth, dude. Two more bottle wins, chat. Prage! Prage! Believers, please! Please! Damn it. What do you think I think loot search is okay to keeping up sailing XP? I, I mean, I, I, after like a level 100 sailing, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Stack up. Oh my god, why are you teaching people to play the game the wrong way, dude? They can play however they want. I just want more chest chances. Uh, uh, Bubo good for active clips farming? Yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good. How to request an IE review? You can't request an IE review, bro. You have to win it. My boulder roller is level 14, poison onyx level 13. Is there to reset a level boulder? Later. Later you'll level up boulder roller, but at this point in time, no. Come on, G, dude. I tried, man. I freaking tried, okay? Stop bullying me. Lisa, thank you, G, for the payday. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, I will. I I will send you my my Bitcoin wallet here in a in a second here. I'll link it in chat. Might be working next week, so we'll probably tune in for some stream. That's okay. I get. I guess so. Got a really nice job. Hell yeah, brother. I'll give you some Dogecoin. I don't want. I don't want your Dogecoin, dude. I don't want your Doge business. Dude, that reminds me, I saw this one dude who looked exactly like you. I actually... Yeah, dude, Pickle, I know. I know, Pickle, is because if you ever look at any default NPC ever, I literally look like a default NPC. Okay, we all know this. Especially for real, dude. Oh, a few gifties? Oh, little, little gifterinos, man. He's about to send you a Sims character. You look like Griffy and he says that, dude. This isn't a stretch. He looks like I actually I actually have a lot of doppelgangers. I've said I've seen a lot of people send me doppelgangers. Alright, next one. Yo, what's up, blind? Not too much, man. Not too much. We look like Ali Plum G. I don't even know what that is, dude. My brother told me I look exactly like you. Bro, are we brothers? Bro, are we gonna are we gonna share bunk beds? Just don't put your balls on my drums, bro. I swear to god. It'll be the end of it.
Why would you do that? Imagine not reading. Imagine not reading, Ken. Put a lower watch to be seven procs. You swap believer and non-believer. Yeah, because it's one or two. Who 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 gets you to decide whether believing is on pink or blue? Who gave you that type of power? Nobody. I choose where is yes and where is no. One is believer, two is non-believer always. When? When? When has that been a thing? Always? Where is it in the rules? Show me, show me in the prediction rules that believers always won. All right, there isn't. There isn't. So too bad, Chet. It's called reading. Get good. Bro, this looks nothing like me, bro. This looks nothing like me. It's literally, yeah, this is literally just, this is just a, this is just a normal white guy. His face is a little longer, dude. And he has ears, okay? He, 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 <laughs> the difference is, is he has ears. I don't have ears. Why are you showing a picture of yourself? And dignity. Well, I don't know about that part. Here. Not even close. I literally, it's, this is, this is literally like, it, honestly, chat. What this looks like is a, it literally looks like just a just just a norm, just a normal white guy. Okay, is that Jack? Yeah, that, this looks more like Jack Septicai than anything. Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septicai. Gotta do work things, leg stream. Yeah, that sounds good, bro. Is that Chad Griffey true? At least you know how you look with round glasses, dude. Yeah, I mean round glasses are. Right. Is that G when he was 30, dude? Bro, uh, he's just, bro, I, what, what do I look, 40? Who's the guy on the left talking about with picture of G, dude? Man, you guys... Pickle don't know what the fuck he's talking about. 42? I'm not that... Uh, chat, come on. Come on, chat. Let's finish setting up. No. G's a boomer confirmed. All right, you ready, chat? Here we go. Maybe, maybe the Korean luck will come on in. One. Gotta do upgrades. Is the oldest Eilon streamer? I don't think so. Two. Now we only got two chat. We only got two. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Wow, and I thought snapshotting was sweaty. Oh yeah, I hourly click bubbles, bro. Have you all checked the new Adam yet? Yeah, it's already upgraded. We might as well show chat. Might as well show chat up what it is. What it do. Oh shit, I don't have any jungle logs on. I should probably put that on. Lava will ban you. You're, you're not allowed to dupe. No duping is allowed. Yeah, you're not, you're not allowed to. Do not dupe. Whatever you do, do not dupe. So chat, the new thing that came out is called sodium, aka salt. Which, when you fail a snail upgrade, it level gets reset to the nearest 5, up to level 15 since I have it at level 3. So instead of back to 0, like failing at level 7, it will be reset to level 5. So I'm currently at the save point of level 10. 
Easy peasy, dude. What does upgrading it do? It increases the uh, level cap. So it starts off at level 5, and you can get it up to, uh, like, level... You can, what? So I don't understand. So if you get this to level 4, it'll be 25. The snail only goes up to 25. How can you read it if it's a clear... Uh, how can you read it if it's a... Oh, yeah, it's so, sodium is salt. Sodium, sodium's... We all know it's fucking salt, okay? Maybe they get new colors? Oh, maybe they do get new colors. Sodium chloride. No, so, uh, table salt. God damn it, chat. So many times. It's pretty much... You know what? I, I, I don't care, chat. Fucking sodium salt. It's a mineral. But it's pretty much salt. Wait. If you was at snail 8, would Nero's 5 make it go to 10 when you fail? No, it'd go back to 5. Chemical compositions of your salty nerd tears. Yeah, dude, true. And yo, thank you for the 100 biddies been done, by the way. Genius? No, that's not how it works, chat. No, that's not how it works. No, no, failing at, failing at 7 would go back to 5. Salt is an oilless deep fryer. Yeah, thousand percent how it works. I asked lava. Goes to 10. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's, let's just pretend for a second that you actually have that kind of power to go ask lava. I don't, I, like, realistically, that's just not possible. But I mean, let's pretend, let's just, let's just totally, you know, entertain the idea. So, so here's the question, Pickle. How come you have more power than I do? Other than the salt? Yeah, we gotta change languages. He loves me. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Lava to sue you for slander. Hmm, chat. Hmm. Okay, okay. Wow, we're actually not done there. Zodiac deck and Hearthstone is why so much power. Bro, imagine, getting, bro, imagine putting Yu-Gi-Oh in Hearthstone. Rather star talent? One in a thousand. Yeah, dude, true. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, he, by the way, he gets the quiz right, but he can't do simple one in a thousand loot drop tables, dude. It's casual, dude. Casual. Casual, bro. Casual, casual pickle L, bro. That's bullshit? No, it ain't. No, it ain't, and you know it ain't. You know it ain't, alright? Alright, so. Wow, we're still not done big old worms, eh? Or big old moles. Pure sodium combusted water G is radioactive, dude. Yeah, that's why I don't that's why I don't shower. That's why I don't shower, Chet. Cause I'm 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 90% pure sodium. <sighs> and I'm 10% chloride, bro. So we need we need another what? What is that? Um What are the, I think we're gonna be done that in like what, two hours? Yeah, that should be that should be done in like two hours, I think. Why is your Sugma so low? It's because it's because the uh the kill per hour on Sugma's dog. Yo, what's up, Var? I'm doing all the ones that give us more. Just use time candy? Yeah, okay, dude. Yeah, Sugmas could Sugma big time. Sugmas Sugmas have terrible drop. Also my channel points to ride every time an instant shows up right off cooldown. Alright. That sounds good. Sounds good, dude. Drop rate is good on Sugma that you have to vial down before death note. Actually, dude. Right? I got Sugma to 1 billion before I got gloves. Wait, really? Did you guys just, like, have a hard time getting gloves? Bro, do you guys... Bro, do you guys not even get drop rate? What's going on here? 
You guys just ignore drop rate? Is that what's happening? So we need... 1.1 billion at 13 R drop rate. Wow, okay, then you guys just have a really shitty chance. Midas mind on? Yeah, imagine, dude. Imagine, imagine having Midas mind on. Maybe someone did a drop rate video? Yeah, true. Ma imagine, imagine somebody not making a drop rate video when you know they should. Just imagine that. Not, obviously not my streamer, dude. Easy book. We're gonna get our Divine Knight so mecha juiced out, dude. Still chasing gloves been four days, dude. People not printing goldfish, clearly. Tried ES and went and just threw a few characters in until inevitable one hour AFK drop happened. Hell yeah, dude. Imagine people making Eidolon. Yo, coming from the person that hasn't made an Eidolon video in like freaking two, like a year. Alright, this guy over here has the audacity to try to fucking swindle that shit, bro. Yo, when's the new pickle content coming out? Oh, wait, that's right, I remember. It doesn't. Alright, so chat, I was thinking of doing some crazy, crazy stuff here, okay? So, if we take a look, okay? Yeah, peace out, dude. So if we take a look here, Chet, okay? Here's what I'm thinking. So we have an average of like 184, okay? So since we have a 184, okay? I think we should get every bubble to 200 minimum. 200 minimum going across the board. And then just work our way down the bubbles to get them all to 200. So then they level up the non atomable ones first. Kind of crazy talk, but I feel like it would be a good idea. Up upgrade Wyoming blood to 200. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So then, so then that means my carpenter gets done faster. And that's what we want. I want I want Carpenter to get to Admirable so I can just hard farm Carpenter and just get a shit ton of build rate. Good luck with the bits. I mean, that one doesn't matter. It's the world one to three bubbles that I care about. So let, let, let's go let's go ahead and do that. Wombing blood. Really smart. Sploosh sploosh. FMJ, critical damage, change of non-believers because it made me win, dude. So now, now Britley Spears will upgrade. This will upgrade. This is good for now. Oh, okay. That even that didn't even changed the cost, so that's no big deal. So now, now we're done with this world one to three bubbles. So now, all so now Carpenter and those will upgrade. So now we can start working on these ones. Oh yeah, Mastery. Woo, Mastery. Yeah, I love Mastery. Oh, Anvil Nomics. Hell yeah, dude. FMJs love FMJs life. The only truly glass cannon through FMJ. Because that way, chat, because here, here's, here's our standpoint right now. Our bubbles are looking really good. But we can't add them everything. Once we can get to the point where we can add them literally every alchemy bubble ever, that's when we're going to start getting in the mad juice, okay? Because then, cause then we, don't, we basically just don't even need to worry about anything else. We just be like, okay, I need to get this to 90, okay, this to 90, okay, this to 90, and then it's just 90, 90, 90, 90 across the board. Is so mastery useful when active if you can't one shot whatever you're fighting? Mastery has never been useful. Mastery is not useful. Don't 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 let him don't let him fool you. Don't 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 let him don't let him don't let mastery fool you. It happened if mastery ever got beyond 100 percent would it increase damage? No, and just make sure it, no, then it would just be one number. But I mean, even still, it's still gonna be a two trill difference. There's I don't I don't even think it's possible to get 100 percent mastery. 
If, it, if, if you could get to 100% mastery, mastery would be half decent. But even still, it wouldn't be that great. Till World 6 bubbles, can't wait. Yeah, that's kind of the point, because once, once we get into World 6, then, then uh, World 6 bubbles will be really good. Is the Ephon armor better than Dementia? Nope, not for the cost. Not for the cost, dude. The cost is brutal. Based on idle skilling, it would increase damage. Yeah, but you can't base you can't base it on idle. That's like, that's like, that's like, that's like basing WoW to Final Fantasy fourteen. It's like, well, in Final Fantasy, you could change classes on a whim. So, statistically, that would make sense to do it in WoW. It's nice for active tune. Yeah, but it's such a small thing. At least Anvil Novice is future when lab adds more anvil points. They actually get expensive. Cadan stamps are already 1 mil non-archers, even level anvil nomics. World 5 maps. Yeah, but 1 million condensed zaps takes nothing with an elemental sorcery. Niche gain of mastery will be a small window when stats are at exact tiers, but it loses efficiency very easily. Absolutely. It would make more sense to do it with a... No. No glitch. Absolutely not. Yo, what's up, Dark? When lava adds more anvil points? Yeah, dude, true. When, how's the new update? It's barely considered an update. I would consider this just a small, small little bonus. But yeah, this is, this is not an update. You wouldn't be saying that if you were Korean, dude. What are you talking about? Half the shit is still not even set. Half this stuff is not even set to it, bro. Two snail resets. This is the best update since World 5 release, dude. It's more of a reminder that Lava's still alive. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically, chat, this is just, it's basically just a reason to post a future content blog to let people know that he's still cooking. Man, so good at Korean. He sees hints in English, dude. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, here, here, you want, you guys want, you guys want to see something? All right, watch this, watch this. Let's go into Korean, okay? Ready, ready for this? Ready for this? Oh, wow, look at that. You could do Korean. Oh, okay, this is a Korean. Oh, what about the fucking hints to the game? Huh? What do you mean? I didn't know I could read Korean. Yeah, chat. Apparently, we're apparently we're all fluent in Korean. Are hints translated for ing any language? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Do you answer my question? Do you answer my question? I'm not scrolling up in chat. What'd you say, Ken? I'm not fluent in English. I don't think. I don't think anyone's fluent in English. Is the Neuralink translating for us? Yeah, absolutely. Oh shit, I forgot to change it. I'm fluent in English though. Nobody's fluent in English. There's that that's not a thing. Shaq worth focusing on past 70? Shaq is always worth it. It's probably still in progress if they figure out some translations better than none. Yeah, true. I'm fluent in English. Being fluent in English means you're speaking it wrong. Yeah, exactly. I'm fluent in American. That makes more sense. I'm fluent in American. See, that's something I can believe. But the, but the, but the fact... I hate Shackersy. Just, just, just upgrade Shackersy, Fivehead. That's all you gotta do. Strange how my brain auto-changed Korean text into English text. I mean, that's... I don't know how that works, but okay. You got to World 4. Is it worth trying to level characters around level 100? Or seal them in lab? You wanna, you wanna start working on getting all your elite classes first. I'm fluent in, I'm, no bro, I'm fluid in gallons per feet, okay? Get it? Because fluid. Uh-huh. Alright chat, we gotta do, we gotta do, we gotta do our trapping gains, okay? We need to get honkers. Honkers are the things that needs to happen. What world are you in? Pops World 2. The best server. The only server. This is the server that we own. Clinton Vaughn used to be light fires, dude. You can run Snitch 50, right? Yep. I think I, I can. Do I have that Snitch 50? Yeah, I do. I do have Snitch 50. I do have Snitch 50, bro. Yes, very, 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 very good. I think most of my prayers are maxed, actually. 
Maxed, 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 maxed. Not maxed, because I don't care. Maxed, maxed, not maxed, for a good reason. Maxed, maxed, not maxed. Maxed, maxed, not maxed. Maxed, not maxed, not maxed. So, pretty, pretty close, pretty close. Pop 8 isn't Pop 2, though. Shout out to Popsicle 8, Nocturne Gaming Server, dude. Pop 8 is Nocturne? Yo, peace out. Peace out, Demos. But it, it's only ha- but, but bro. But bro. Server- Server- Server 2, though. Look at the- look at the population difference. Population difference is an uncanny. Who isn't in Pop 2? Mustache World is my fave, dude. You know what we need? We need we need a litty bitty we need a litty bitty server. That's what we need. We need an IBA server. When is that gonna happen? IBA server? Prayer's not even max. We back in mid-game, boys. Yeah, true. Soon we'll own all of Pop School. Yeah, it should be itty bitty world. 100%. 110%. Oh, by the way, what, what's the date today? It's the 20th. So in two days, I'll be doing a guild purge, by the way. I'll be doing a guild purge. So if you guys have not logged in and you're part of the IBA, make sure to log in. What do you think, chat? Getting my characters level 70, 80, then farm materials for alchemy and stamps to do... Before unlo no, unlock World 4 first. Just make Griff's Pickle Art head as a logo for server, that's what I'm thinking. Or even IBA. Pop 8 is ICE's home server. I, I would assume. Needs to make an itty bitty world and blanket, make all sprites 50% their original size. Yeah, true. Except for me, I get 50% bigger. Purging anyone, anybody without dude? Weren't you here last stream? Yeah, true, dude. True. Alright, let's get our, uh, Let's get our character set up in here. Bit servers would make sense. Yeah, dude, exactly. Bit servers would be the goat. G ego gone wild, dude. I don't have an ego. I don't know what you're talking about. Which guild should I join? I'm looking for a dude only guild. Bro. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. There's no such thing. It's a 200 level character difference between a character between my characters normal. Not really. World 4 HP pots, green stack. Wait, which character is the 200 level difference? That's the real question. Which one is 200 levels higher than the other ones? Pig boys, bro. Can a server have a max amount of people where it's full? I think it's infinite. Elemental sorcerer. Yeah, that's weird. Imagine, imagine only using a main jet. Imagine not actually using other classes because other classes are important. Uh, we're gonna need Idle Skiller. Do I not have the E-Font cape on? Where's my E-Font cape? Oh, Mr. E-Font! Mr. E-Font! Oh, mains and I look at Legion system and Maple and cry, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yo, what's up, Steph? We're doing good, man. My main has Cattle Crook armor, while my others have Luster Void armor. Well, I mean that's fair. My Bubo is level four or two. My second ES or ninety two. Well, that's because Bubo Bubo's different. Over time, Pop World two might just become laggy if more people would join. Nah, nah. It's instance based, so it won't be as laggy as you think it is. And what, and what are we going to do that requires not lagging, alright? Everything's fine if we lag. Wait, there's Evon Cape, second row? Chat, where's my Evon Cape? Chat, I can't find my Evon Cape. Yo, you know you played Soda Dungeon 2? Yeah, I played Soda Dungeon. You sold it? There's no way I sold it. There's no shot. No, 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 no,
Oh yeah, it's probably actually that's probably yeah, that's probably on Elemental Sorcerer actually. Yep, that's exactly where it is. Big big brain, chat, big brain. Shit is bananas, dude. Bananas. B A N A N A N. Check the map. Dude, the map the map does not deserve to be checked, okay? Let me deny implement a system to stop selling worthy items. So I guess you can't sell it. Yeah, true. You can't sell it, dude. Banana? 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 <laughs> Pickles here. G cranium cooking three times, dude. Best Nintendo character? This is a better song. Argue the song, but DK is the best Nintendo. And bro, DK is bass, dude. Ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny. Talk about the most goaded song in the world, dude. Lemon Demon is a legend. Uh, I th want to say that we're good. I want to say, but I might be wrong. Because I requested it. I don't know about that one, bud. I don't know about that one. How do you chat? Is there any way to check shiny chance? How do you check shiny chance? At the box? On the traps. Okay. I have a hundred percent shiny chance. Hundred percent shiny chance. And that's with shiny snitch on. Okay. I would like I like to add that. That's with a max level shiny snitch. Two point four million crabbies. Yeah, I got two point four million crabbies. Was the trapping efficiency at? Uh, I have to put on cards for it, but I have a hundred percent shiny chance. It's a pretty high chance. Well, I mean, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I would just, I would assume a hundred percent shiny chance is a high chance, dude. I think I think we all I think we can all agree. All right, what's my efficiency so far here? What do we got? We are at currently two bill. Two bill currently. How much green sacks give? Three point five percent damage. I mean, it's easy to get hundred percent holding there with snitch. Which trap are you using? I am going to be using. Uh, the Max Trap. Max Trap is actually the best for critters. Okay, now we have Species Epoch. So the way, the way to check... So what are we at now? We should be at a... So we're at 4 billion now. 4 billion. So if we go here, this is the way to check. Place Traps... Uh, 40 hours, 2.4, we're missing, we're missing some efficiency somewhere. We're missing a little bit of efficiency. Oh, oh, that's why. Oh, okay, I figured it out. 
I figured it out, chat. We're not running this. There we go. So now let's check our skill efficiency. We're at 9 billion. 9 billion now. Now what are we at? 2.8. So now we're at 2.8 on that one. Star signs. Take the mob respawn off. Critters of traps. Two point eight eight. So we've increased our we've so since we've been leveling Call Me Ash, we've increased our critter count by four hundred K. Four hundred K so far. And you're telling me that Call Me Ash is not a good bubble. Cap. Fucking massive ass cap, dude. What's your call me Bob at? Uh five hundred. No one said it was bad. Tez said it was bad. Tez said it was bad. I can't have more progress. It's B tier. The bubble is bad. Beastmaster is just so good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're, you know what? You're right. When you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. Let's do some bonuses here, though. Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater. Let's do, I mean, we could probably upgrade Eagle Eye a little bit here. It's like an 18% chance, dude. Big. Or 18% increase. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Eagle Eye. Yeah, the song's yeah, the song's good, man. I've always been a big fan of uh, this specific song. This is the one song that I learned how to learned how to sing by heart. Two oh four, nope, mid. Two forty three, there it is. Two forty three on that bad boy. Boom, we had a hundred and one percent XP, a hundred and twenty six percent critters chat. Would you look at that? I mean, we might as well get some reflective insight for shinies just to guarantee our shiny chances, but let's be honest, it's pretty much there. 212, so this will give us a 2.46 now. Big multiplier. You get 300, though, I get 270, but how to get 300? It's because Rift Slug, there's, there's, so there's Elemental Sorcerer, Symbols of Beyond, Rift Slug, uh, Eldritch Fury, it's 2.46 times 9, right? Don't we only have 8 traps? Oh, oh, I don't know what you're Oh, oh, it's 86, so it's times 8. Yeah, it's times 8. My trapping's kind of low. I should get it up, though. 305 on that one. Production skills here. We can put that even higher. We should do, we should book Adaptation, Revelation, Family Guy as well. Ambidextrous, that, that. Get all those good. 140, 20, 227. So we need another Family Guy. And Ambidextrous. Still not good. Family Guy. 239 on Family Guy, dude. My native rolls are actually so high on books. Jay ran out of four souls. Level shiny stitch from 1 to 22. I still have a 100% chance. That's good, man. It's good. Means you should... That means you should keep on running that shit. Ambidextrous. 237. There it is. Okay, so big gains on that one. Okay, nice. That's what I like to see, dude. All right, we should probably eventually get more breeding XP, but we don't need to use it just quite yet. So there's kind of no point. Um, what would be a good easy upgrade? Trapping XP doesn't really matter. Is that 240? Um, I mean, we could do base agi. We could do focus skills. 
Ten time bis traps. I already have. I already have bis traps. All my characters already have egalitarian traps. So that's good. No, for me. Oh yeah, I got you, bro. Yeah, let me let me hook you up. I'm gonna use the Zaza, dude. I think this is all we can really upgrade for bonuses. Let's see. Let's see how much it went up here. Why not use? Because it really it doesn't go towards anything. Well, he gives me speed, anvil, and bullseye. I mean, I guess we could do a higher shoe full of oval because we do run agility ovals, so that could be a little bit better. See if we can get something a little bit better. One ninety nine, kind of weak. What well, wave can you roughly get TD with 15? Oh, you could probably easily get, easily get to like, I don't know, like maybe wave wave 90 or something around there. Griffey, how do I get faster checkout speed? I want to start juicing my characters more and faster, dude. Uh, didn't I, didn't I, didn't I list that in the, in the talent point guide? Pretty sure I did. Pretty sure, pretty sure in the talent point guide, there's a, there's a way. Agility better is better for catching. No, I just don't save my other ovals. I just don't save my other ovals, man. Is there a website that gives source for every type of bonus? There is. There is. To be fair, though, I'd rather people not know about that, because then, realistically, I'll be out of a job. And then I'd have to start be- and then I would have to start making Let's Plays, chat. You guys don't want me to be a Let's Play content creator, dude. That'd be- that'd be so- so lame. Might as well just play variety, dude. Might as well just be a variety streamer at that point. Today, chat, let's play Eidolon. Yay, Eidolon! Hundred days Minecraft YouTuber? Yeah, I spent a hundred days in Eidolon. Here's what happened. Discord server teaches people how to fish already, G. I mean, true. But people don't read. So, I mean, I will always still have a job. So how much did this increase by? 2.94. So it, we, we, we've almost managed to get to 3 mil. We've almost increased since the last time we took... We were currently at... We got 2.4 million for our last ones. Now we're at 2.94 mil. So we're actually really close. What guide were you talking about? The 220 talent book guide. 100 days, critically hourly clicks time, dude. Not quite. This is for 40 hours. This is, this is 40 hours. If we, were to, if we were to do 60 minutes, we'd get 168k. 168k an hour. So we're still quite far away. And we're always at 10 bill. We almost hit a 10 bill threshold here. So not bad. Not bad. Alright, so let's delete all our traps here. Imagine every hour to maximize, dude. I just put on every 40 hours. I just do every 40 hours to make my life easy. Was it? Yeah, it was the 220 video. Yep. Because it's also a talent book library guide. Me and my 20 minute traps, dude, I couldn't do it, man. So we get six, 679k honkers an hour. Not, not, not actually terrible. I'm at 20 hours. I can't do, I can't do 20 hours on these ones, unfortunately. 
Rip bonus is auto trap, auto loot. Yeah, but there's no there's no 20 hours on on the freaking on the max traps. You do tens on royals. Royals don't give you as much. Royals give you less. Or or, or sorry, 10 hours. No, 10 hours ain't worth it. No, because I I I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna check. I ain't gonna check that shit every 10 hours, dude. There are Dreadleo traps, or they're not. 40 is the best outcome, because you can just place and forget. It's what makes them the best. Place and forget, dude. Dreadleo can do 20 hours? No, they can't. Don't even... There's no such thing as Dreadleo traps. You know it, I know it, we all know it. There's no such thing as Dreadleo traps. The wiki says they do. Yeah, the wiki also says a lot of things that are incorrect. One sec. Does hourly alchemy doesn't bother click eagle eye during that? Yeah, that's even more, dude. It's even more, man. It's even more work. Gotta realize that sometimes it's not worth it. What I should be doing, though, chat, is here. here's what I'm gonna do. Ah, nah, screw it, dude. I'll do it later. About one month for one billion honkers, by the way. Is it? No, I can't be one month for a billion honkers. So if we have eight... Wait, hold up. So if we're getting... Hold up, let me pull out a calculator here. So I'm getting 679k every 48 hours. So every 40... Time, times... Times 80. So 679k times 80. So I'm getting... Yeah, because it's because 8 traps, 10 characters. So every 2 days, I'm getting 54 million honkers. So 50... So... 1 billion... Divided by 54 million. 18, eight, it would take me 18.5 days. Or right, shit, no, that's, no, that, because that's two days. So that would take me, uh, 36 days. Yeah, so 30, 36 days. It would, yeah, it's 36 days and I'll have, have Hawker Vials done. I mean, it ain't it, that, that bad. I mean, that's not, you know what, that's not terrible. 30, 36 days. I'm okay with I'm okay with 36 days. That's fine. That's not a big deal. But you'll be boosting gains every day. Yeah, my bad. I just checked. And I'm at a 10 hour with the red ones. I do them twice a day. Yeah, yeah. 730 hours in a month. Yeah, it's not. I would say. I would say. I mean, it is. To be fair, it's. I believe, arguably, one of the second hardest trapping vials to get done. Yeah, it's it's the second hardest trapping vial to get done. So I mean. Actually, not too bad. Considering. Yo, what's up, Zod? So I would consider, and then, and then that just makes, you know, bunnies, uh, bubonic burp. I mean, there's just gonna be, there's just gonna be a point where we're literally, we're literally just gonna only farm frogs. And we're just literally only gonna work on poison tincture. So, I mean... But I, it's not going to be anytime soon. I think, I, I'm almost thinking that we should probably, like, what, what is worth it? Level, level one. So I, I think probably we would go from honkers to blobfish and then just work our ways down. Because I'm pretty sure frog, or unless, unless we want to do frog, I mean, we could do frog tincture first. So like, we could, we could finish off goosey glugs. 
Finish off, finish off Goosey Glugs, then do, then do Poison Tinctures? Right? Or should I do Frogs first? I, want, I wonder if Frogs would almost be better first. Yo, Bandrix. Ah, uh, we're just getting storage set up. I mean, I don't think I- do I even need frogs, though, for efficiency? Oh shit, I only have 10 million frogs! Yo, this changes everything. No, we're farming frogs, bro. We're farming frogs. We are farming frogs. We need to go for tinctures, man. You have to do hourly memes for poison frogs, though? Nah, uh, nah, surely I don't. Uh, so what's the best one for shiny? Is it royal traps? Or steel trappers? What's- chat, what's the best for shinies? Do we know? Could honestly just do 10 stacks. I th isn't silk skin the best for shinies still? So 20 hours is times 30, 4 hours times 50. You want 20 hours? Wooden crates are probably by far still the best overall for quantity. Whenever you miss lowest timer at this point, you probably have 100% shiny no matter what. Yeah. But you want shinies. Yeah, we want shinies. So if, so if 10 hours to 40 hours is giving me 125, 40 hours is giving me times 50. I still think shiny- yeah, I still think shinies are the best for a royal. Because 20 hours will give you times 30. So this is still- yeah, this is still way more. Yeah, yeah, royals are still the best. You get more from 10 royal than 20- yeah, just googled, it's still royal. So is it really- is it really only split between nature traps? Nature traps for XP and royal for everything else? So I'm pretty sure quantity is not even that good. 60 hours is 50 quantity. 70 quantity for 40 hours. So yeah, it's- it's only either royal traps or nature traps. There's really no in-between. Dreadleo traps soon, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Dreadleo traps, dude. Yeah, for sure. Others are early and mid game, probably. Yeah, others are like Silkskin. Silkskin's really strong. Silkskin's super strong for a long time. But I mean, realistically, we will be popping out mad, mad shinies out of this. This will- this will probably go up pretty, pretty quickly. And technically... Technically, chat, with- with- With, uh, poison tinctures, it will- it will passively increase my traps regardless. Because if you think about it, Eagle Eye will just increase the trap regardless. Silk better than steel? Yeah. Now, the real question is, chat, does this bonus get added on after or before you do a trap? In between. So... Wouldn't this realistically, so it says that it gives me 5.35 million, but if I get a hundred, if I get a hundred and tw if I get 181%, so if I get 181% from Trapper Drone, and I'm getting 5.8 mil, wouldn't that actually be like 10 mil a trap? Yeah, wouldn't that technically be more than, wouldn't that... That's a lot of frogs. Yeah, wouldn't that technically be 10? Talent reset to find out? No, that's... I mean, I mean, we'd be here all day. Is it already... Yeah, I, I thought it... Maybe it factors it in already all in? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know how the power of the eagle eye works. Like I know what what calculates for collecting and setting, but I don't know how eagle eye. No ways to increase. Yeah, it's easy. Mana box. Mana box will give you thirty seven point five percent max MP. And also, uh, the there's a there's a there's a mana thing for mages. Now that, that's not the question you should be asking us. Pray, maybe you'll find out what you're looking for. Yeah. It's already factored into the number. I, I think it's fact. I, I believe it's already factored into the number. I want to say that it is. I want to say that Furo's right. I don't know. All I know is nuke your eagle and find out, dude. Oh, I see what you're saying. Nuke my eagle and find out. Okay, yeah, actually, you know what? We could try that. This is this is the best way to... Is, yeah, or, yeah, we could just swap preset. Well, no, that wouldn't make any sense to swap preset. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense to, to swap the preset, because then it's... Yeah, the number was lower. It didn't get nuked. Your critters are different. Yeah, the number is just lower. So here's what I'm going to do, okay? Here, here's what I'll do, chat, all right? Add it at the end. It higher drops, even after traps, to set increase eagle eye. So is it factored? Hold up. This is the only way to check, because I had to nuke my other preset. So let's do this. Okay? We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to test this right now. Okay, make sure we're in the proper preset here. Let's do let's do a talent point reset. So we know so it's 5.35 mil, okay? We know that that's a thing. So, now we go in and we max everything that needed to be maxed. Okay, that only goes Okay, that's kind of lame. Max that, max that, max that, max that. Okay. So that tab's done. Let's go into this tab. Uh, leave out Eagle Eye. Do everything but Eagle Eye. Seems the Eagle Eye's factored in when collecting, not placing. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's factored in when collecting. So if it's factored in with collecting and we have 181% when collecting, that should be like 10 million frogs. Like, oh, like over, over, over 10 million frogs. At least that would be my understanding. The number of frogs is shown after the 1.8 multiplication. You forgot to max Eagle Eye, by the way. No, we're testing to see if, what, how Eagle Eye calculates it. Because if, because if Eagle Eye, if Eagle Eye, if we get the same amount of critters without using Eagle Eye, then it would be, then it would, then it would be literally an after effect. So that means we'd get way more frogs than we think. Yes, I know Eagle Eye's at zero. I'm very aware. Holy shit, Eagle Eye's calculated afterwards. So, so it, it, it's 5.35 million times 1.8. So, so, so it's, it's, it's actually, we're, we're talking more like 10 million. Okay. So that, yeah, that, that's literally, that's, that's literally like 10 million. But the question is, is it an additive or is it a multiplier? That's the real question. Because if it's a, if it's 180% off your base of what you make without before all the additions, because you know how like 
total damage percent scales with base damage. So it's 30% of your base damage, not 30% of all your damage. You know what I mean? You need to be in skilling preset when Joan collects then? No. Because it because it, it takes a it takes a picture of what you're what you're or does it? Wait, would you need to be would you need to be in in drone? Would you need to be in Eagle Eye before it collects then? Hold on, let me let me check something here. Yeah, the bottom percent changes, although it's always the same as Eagle Eye. So if we go if we go here, right? And we go back. Oh shit. So realistically here. Both your presets would need to have max eagle eye. If you want to get the bonuses. If you want to get the bonuses of your hunter, he has to have Eagle Eye on. So you get the bonuses. Lava made the auto-collecting thing at Rift. Yeah, that's like claiming gaming without damage preset. Yeah, exactly. Time to max the Eagle Eye on fighting preset. Yeah, I would I would assume that's what it would be. Yeah, I would assume that's what you would want because of the auto collector. Yeah, because now because now so here here's the next thing we gotta check here. So if we if say if we throw them, I already knew that. I already knew that. Yeah, well that's that's fucking great. Chat didn't know that. I knew it. No, you didn't, chat. Don't even lie to me. It's 106. Wait, wait. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, why Why is it still... Why do we have still have... Okay, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Why is it now 166%? But this guy's not running Eagle Eye. Is it because the Beastmaster already has the preset? 166%. But if I go to specifically with the Beastmaster, it would be it would be at the It would be 181. What the what the fuck? How does that work? Is it because wait, is it because the poison tincture isn't hitting Eagle Eye if you're not on Eagle Eye? You always claim on BM those numbers include the factors. Yeah, but if you're using if you're using the auto vacuum, brother, I don't think it Family bonus? I don't think family bonus would affect it. I'm thinking what I'm thinking it is is it's the poison tincture is not calculating. I think it's poison tincture that's not affecting it. It's also working like if you go to alchemy with Bubo or construction with DK. Yeah, I mean, I guess so, but it, like not. But it, it's still like it's still like snapshotting the eagle eye. Man, I didn't want to get home from work and try to relax to Griffey math and out trapping. I'm not even mathing it out. I'm just figuring out how it works, man. I don't claim on BM, though. I just use auto claim from the thing. So we need to turn off auto vac in case uh, reset hits while we're on the wrong character. I think that's, uh, yeah. I think, I think it's auto vac, dude.
So I think if anything, you're just gonna need to keep an eye on it. So if you if you want more critters, don't auto vac. If you auto vac and you're on the wrong preset, then you're but it, but auto vac is a nice fail safe. So you don't so you don't basically are not losing gains. BMS to be the first character signed every day. Yeah, but if you never log off. Shiny Snitch doesn't work on Autovac either. I thought it did. I thought it did. Just equip. Oh, true. You're going to have to equip Shiny Snitch on literally every character. How oh, would you have the wrong preset on BM? I thought you just sat in the lab, dude. Not if you're a dude enjoyer. So yeah, so you'd have to use Shiny Snitch on every single character. Wait, hold up, though. That's another thing we gotta check. So, it, hold up. So does that mean... Does that also mean as well that we also have 100% Shiny if we're not ruining, running on Shinies? Yeah, we still have 100% on Shinies. More reasons not to use autovac? Yeah, so I th yeah, everybody has to be running shiny snitch. Literally, yeah, everybody, everybody's gotta be running shiny snitch. That's the only thing that makes sense. This is the mid-maxing I thrive for, dude. Bro, it's not even mid-maxing, it's just fucking... ...complicated coding. Arrow body. It's just, it's just, it's so super duper confusing. With shiny snitch, it's a prayer that gives you more more shinies per claim. But it reduces your, your shiny chance. If you want mid-max, don't use autovac. If you want to easy use it with shiny snitch. Yeah, if you want to mid-max, do 20 minute 20 minute traps. Thing Harry Potter tries to catch. Yeah, basically, yeah. Man, that is so overly confusing. How do you not use autovac? Claim before it uses uses it. Claim it before your daily reset. Does auto vac work anyways? If you traps under 24 hours, you miss gains. If you go over, you don't get any incomplete. So every daily reset, if, if your traps are able to claim, they will claim it. I just unlocked trapping vacuum. What's the problem? It, it's, just, it's, it's, for, it's for later game gains. Don't worry about it. It's literally all it is. It's just for later game gains. We're just doing we're just doing some testing to see what what was actually going on with the whole business, and I mean that's fine. I'm okay with that. You have beefy prayer equipped? No. Ah, so as you say earlier, yes, exactly. Autovac is would be a fail safe. That is what I would classify as uh, as autovac. It's a fail safe, so you don't lose gains. You don't get maximized gains, but at least you don't lose gains. Chat, don't you fucking meow. When tier list? Eh, a little while away. I still got other stuff I gotta do here. Out of access is my failsafe, but I claim more than most of the time. Yeah. It, 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 it's it's alright if you like, want to be lazy or some shit, right? If you want to be lazy and don't want to worry about your traps, auto vac is fantastic. But if you're trying to, like, push, like, shinies or some shit, yeah, being on the ball with your shinies would definitely be helpful. Rather do one-hour traps than snap. Right? I'd rather not, dude. I'd rather do- I'd rather spend that one day spending three hours doing a couple of prints than... Literally spending an eternity doing the other shit. Uh, yeah, Bubo needs it. You do laggy hourly clicks? What do you mean? That's different. Laggy hourly clicks is totally different, okay? That's, that's harder.
It kind of screws my two claims at 10 hour traps and I level up Eagle Eye on active build for Beastmaster. That's only if you like want to maximize your gains and potentially not be screwed over by the vacuum. That's the reason why you want to run it. It's basically the only reason. Damn, this completely confuses me. Don't worry about it. it this, this is honestly something that you really don't even need to worry about. And when it when it comes into the grand scheme of things, this is like a very very minor thing. Snapping more than both hourly clicking and trapping, I'll do it all anyways. But yeah, my man G setting up the part of the vod that will ASMR people to sleep. Ken, I've listened to you talk Maple Story, bro, and I could fucking sleep to that, dude. What are you talking about, dog? What are you talking about? All right. This, this man will be talking the same thing about Maple Story, and he'll be totally not even close to snoozing. But he talks on Idol, and he's like, Oh, man, this is so tiring. Oh, uh, bro, what a fucking snooze fest. It's like, bro, you're talking about fucking cubing items constantly. You're talking about random scrolls for random shit. Bro, don't you come at me and be like, Oh, this is a fucking snooze fest. Shut the fuck up. God damn it. God damn it, Billy Bob. That's clunkers. No, that's you too, bro. That's you. That's you too, dog. And whatever's clunkers talking, you're adamant. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Clunker snoozes me out talking about scrolling, dude. I showed my mom your stream and she'd sleep. If I showed my mom Maple Story, and she'd sleep, dude. Yeah, but that's like, sh that's like saying a person that goes outside and you're showing them a video game. And then they're getting bored. You're capping, you don't come in voice chat, dude. What do you mean? I own that voice chat. I am the voice chat. I am the Discord. People that go outside don't video game. Actually, there's a, there's a very, very mass majority of people that do not video game, okay? I have you know. All right? I have you know. Uh, there's tons of people that do not video game. So basically, after all of this, out of all of this that we've learned, okay, Eagle Eye gives you gains after you're done trapping. When you're collecting trapping, that's when Eagle Eye hits. Hey, I play sports ball and video games. I said, I said a lot of people. I didn't say everybody. God, Pearl. Yeah, most of the world doesn't play video games, or at least a lot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, dude. I refuse to acknowledge their existence. Yeah, that's why the. Hey, I play sports video games. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. It's different. So yeah, everybody needs to have shiny snitch then. Everybody has the shiny snitch for the fail safe of vacuum. Everybody just stays inside and idle gains, boom, world peace. What are you talking about? Nothing would get done. I was born in 20, 2002, so grew up on technology, bro. 2002? Bro, bro, what? Technology was way before that. What the fuck are you talking about? First iPhone was 2005. Yeah, it's because we base technology off of iPhone. Technology iPhone. Classic iPhone enjoyer. So I guess the first Apple PC didn't come out. It didn't come out till 2005 as well, right? Yeah, totally. Solid logic. Checks out. Def not 1976. Yeah, for sure not 1976. The world began in 2005 with the invention of the iPhone. 
and the downfall and the downfall of society happened when fucking Flappy Bird was released. That's where it all started. That's where all our attention spans started dropping massively. Was Flappy Bird. No, 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 Chad, it was all Flappy Bird. You guys know what you're talking about. Flappy Bird was a freak worldwide craze, bro. Yeah, it was a bad worldwide craze. Y'all missed our understanding at <laughs> Andes, dude. <laughs> bro. Back in my day. Back in my day, chat. If I wanted to play Heroes 3 on a floppy disk, I had to smash two rocks together, all right? And I had to do it, and I had to hold the computer walking uphill both ways, all right? Because technology didn't actually become a thing till 2005. Those chicken nuggets, those chicken nuggets are delicious. That's not what I meant. It's sure what it sounded like. If anything, Apple was not bleeding edge tech company until they developed their own M1 chip. Yeah, exactly, dude. Back in my day, we just hallucinated Twisted Metal 2 while working in the coal mines. Yeah, true and real, dude. Okay, so... <clears throat> we need to get everyone on Shiny Snitch. Back in my day, there was only 151 Pokemon. <laughs> now there's like... What are there, how many Pokemon is there now, chat? Like, fucking like, three, 1,300 or some shit like that? A thousand and ten, at least two new Pokemon? Yeah, true. True. Only, imagine saying only like a thousand Pokemon. There's only a thousand different Pokemon. Back in my day, chat, they were called Digimon. They actually weren't called Pokemon, they were called Pocket Monsters. Okay, so, so, brother, technology and phones and internet are two different things, okay? Cell phone is a small computer. Internet is different. Because I remember that you could play Brick Breaker on your Nokia phone, all right? Both need computers to run. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. No phones and internet technology. Griffey's old enough to remember when a PC was the size of a room, dude. Yeah, right. Using two sticks as tools during the caveman period to start a fire, that's considered technology, no? Technically is. Stone tools are technically technology. Technology's been forever. Bro, this, I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. This is, this is some fucking low IQ conversation. This is like shuffle brain type shit. Aaron has a love child and Bob Dole of Al Gore, right? Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly. 100%. Yeah, bro, this is like some goddamn shower thoughts. This is, yeah, this is some shower thoughts right here, bro.
You're the low IQ gamer. You see my meant technology, literally. I was born in 2002, so I grew up on technology. The first iPhone was 2005. Y'all, I'm misunderstanding Andy's. How am I supposed to not misunderstand that? How am I not supposed to misunderstand that? If you want to be exact information, age started in Evans, but I mean like wide access to cell phones and the internet. Guess what, bud? Was it 2005? Was it so? You so you're saying you're low IQ gamer, bro? Your your brain can't go past 2005, dog. The fuck are you talking about? According to you, I have to be a 10,000 years old and a Neanderthal to be before technology. See, see, this is this is a classic case, chat. This is a classic case of when you put them on the spot, they can't say shit to make sense. Did you get better say something down on the internet and get checked? It makes perfect sense to me. I can understand you're an iPhone user. Anybody that uses iOS, this would be a totally understandable argument. This conversation made my back hurt, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I like Samsung more. Bro, imagine saying imagine saying Apple was the start of wide access technology, but still a Samsung user. <laughs> Fucking am uh. <laughs> This is some cap, bro. You're right. You you better be capping, dude, because this is some dumbass shit. <laughs> Cause I guess I guess Bill Gates and Steve Jobs never worked together, eh? I guess that was never a thing. Hey chat, remember dial up? Pretty sure last time I checked, dial up was pretty widely accessible. Hey, Jack, remember flip phones? Pretty sure that was oh so cheaper than an iPhone. Oh, get off the phone. I'm trying to play EverQuest. Fuck <laughs> 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 Steve Wozniak. Jaws was just a PR guy. <laughs> 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 uh, hey brother, did you did you did you ever experience a thing called LimeWire? Those were the days, chat. Those were the days. Kazar, dude. Napster, bro. Remember when Pirate Bay was good? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what live wire back yo ventrilo though you want some vent speak jet i see you dude yo msn messenger the actual goat
Remember, also remember, chat. The one thing you gotta remember here, okay? All right. Is viruses back in the day were just a bunch of random pop-ups, okay? They barely even accessed your computer. They weren't able to, like, take over your full email address and everything. It was just your computer ran a little bit slower. Back when viruses weren't so bad. That's Jeeves, dude. Yeah. No. I see what he's saying. He's saying the widespread access to like technology and the internet didn't happen until 2005. That that his reasoning, which he's wrong. But I mean, it's okay to have a wrong opinion. Viruses were just acid traps for P acid trips for PC. Good old times. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, respect your right to be wrong. Between 1995 and 2005, internet access went to 16 million to 1 billion. Okay, that you can make you can make the same argument that back in 1995, the population of the Earth was less than in than 2005. Okay, but you got to realize that 1995 still had 16 million people that had access to the internet. I don't know about you, but 16 million is considered widespread. Eighteen percent is still pretty fucking big. Pretty widespread. We had computers with internet in elementary school. It gives me it gives me a nice conversation to have to eat some food, foods. Those percentages are completely different. Your argument say your but your argument is is that basically the widespread technology started in two thousand five, which is just wrong. How's it going? Sorry for not being able to watch the stream often since the start. Yeah, all good, bro. Let me watch Vodge, man. Remember taking computer lab in elementary school back in 1996, dude? People didn't have computers back then. They had Pentiums. <laughs> they had Pentiums! To your list? That'll be happening soon. I know it's gonna finish everyone <coughs> Everyone needs to have shiny snitch first. And I had to eat my food, and I have to get a drink, and then I think we'll be ready to do it afterwards. Gee, how you're practicing this purple cauldron pickle argument, dude? Old school IT, we had 1993 Toshiba satellite laptops on the top shelf? Hell yeah, dude. Abacus, the real OG computer? Hell yeah, dude. The Abacus, dude? Bro, have you actually seen people use Abacus? Bro, it's sick. It's fucking pog, dude. Probably some of the coolest shit. I mean, minutes to the tier list? I don't know. I'll just make it longer if you keep on asking. So Larry Bubble just needs 1100, right? Or do I need to be higher? Uh, no, 1100 is fine. Do mental abacus, dude? Yeah, right. Ah, the good old days, chat. Back in the day where the attention spans were more than 3.5 seconds. Yeah, dude. Yeah, 1100 is pretty much the max you need. I mean, you could eventually get it to a point of hourly clicking, but I mean, it's not really all that worth it. Hell yeah, dude. Legendary inner ability on a mule. Do what's better, ram ring, world 4 kill ring. Well, for pushing, world 4 kill ring will be better.
Abacus calculations, imagine all the colors, dude. Yeah, true. True and real, bro. Ugh. All right, so we got a couple more characters here, and then after that chat, we're going to grab a drink, and then I think we'll get started on the tier list. Can you even legally have access to the internet residentially in the most places before 1995? Bro. <laughs> April 30th, 1993, the World Wide Web became available to the broader public. 30 years ago on April 30th, the World Wide Web has been released to the public domain. It revolutionized the internet, allowed users to create websites filled with graphics, audios, and hyperlinks. Bro, are we, are, are we, are we, have, have we really just got to a point where let's, let's have a Wikipedia fight? <laughs> are we actually just Wikipedia fighting right now? <laughs> two years off, my bad. Yeah, and you're a couple years off with 2005 as well. <laughs> Which is the whole discussion. <laughs> I, do, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, 3,005? Yeah, you're right, dude. 3,005. Yeah, you're right, bro. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, true. 3,005, chat. It was 3,005. 3,005, baby. Amazing how technology started after the N64, dude. <laughs> This is such a Twitch chat moment, dude. This is actually literally the biggest Twitch chat moment, bro. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> it's so... This is such a dumb call. This is such a. <laughs> this is such a dipshit conversation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thousand five. The Crusades were fought to give people internet access. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, now we're comparing to Fortnite. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, shit. Here we go again, bro. <laughs> uh, 2005, the dinosaurs went extinct to give people eyes. <laughs> What do you mean Fortnite was the first FPS game? <laughs> bro, 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 oh, oh god, oh god, you gotta take everything literal syndrome? Oh no, now he's a doctor, chat, oh shit, now he's got a PhD to give people syndromes, oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> Jesus died for our internet, bro. Man, great fires of Twitch chat could be lit. <laughs> Fortnite and iPhones. We still need Monster Energy drinks and Crocs. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This shit's funny, dude. Woo! Oh. Death Stranding, the first strand type game, bro. <laughs> oh, God. My stomach hurts. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, with frivolous humor only further proves the of my argument <laughs> pickle pickle don't join in pickle you've been wrong so many times bro don't 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 even bro 
<laughs> Don't even. Why? Yeah, Pickle always chooses the wrong side, Pickle. Why, dude? Why does, why does Pickle always have to play devil advocate? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, Pickle does have power. Pickle does have power. Cleopatra has 2.5 million Instagram followers. Uh, Pickle is never wrong. Maybe pick. maybe, maybe chat, maybe we need to take into existence here. Maybe we need to take into existence here. Maybe Pickle's been right this whole time. If we could ever take a chance and thought that we would that we're actually wrong. Think about that for a second. Think about that Pickle actually might have been always right, and we keep thinking he's wrong. Nah, that could be the fucking thing, dude. Nah, we're never wrong, bro. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Nah, dude, could be me, dude. Pickle's a flat earther, dude. He doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Nah, dude. Nah. Nah, dude. Nah. Nah. It's not flat. It's concave, bro. Yeah, true, dude. Silly us, dude. Think, thinking that pickle could possibly be right. Earth is flat in places? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Nope. 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 Shut this conversation down. Shut the fuck up. We are not starting an Earth convo. No. 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 I don't want to hear it's flat some paces. I don't want to hear it's concaved. I don't want to hear none of that shit because this is just going to be a turmoil of absolute and complete utter bullshit. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a drink. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, what, wait, what poll did you start? Bro. Bro. Get out of here with this fucking poll, dude. Get out of here with this fucking poll, bro. Don't you even, don't you even start. We all know Earth is a 20-sided die, okay? It's flat and round and pointy. We can all agree, all right? Everything is based off of D&D. &D. Why do you think they made D20 dice in the first place, okay? The Earth is 20-sided. Earth is square. Okay, Blob's playing too much Minecraft. No, brother, we're shutting this down, brother. No, we're, we're shutting this down, dude. We've gone on this conversation for long enough. We've entertained the idea for way too long. No, we're going to move on to Eidolon questions, dude. We're not entertaining this anymore. The question depends on what dimension of you being you are, dude. You can reference this poll G's chat with 50-50. New now ads, I'm so happy for you, my guy. Doing ads now for your stream? I'm not doing ads. How long before this turns into a Joe Rogan podcast? Uh, we need about another uh, 3.5 pounds worth of mushrooms. Hulk Hogan defeated Steve Jobs at WrestleMania because... <laughs> <coughs> What's your goals of the game right now? So we're finishing off Death Note. 
uh, which is which is pretty pretty close. Um, well, you see, chat. It's uh, I would consider. Yeah. So so we just need one billion on this one. Uh, but uh, basically, Death Note's the first plan, and then you know, getting every alchemy bubble to a minimum of bubble level of two hundred. <laughs> so then, all my other bubbles will upgrade, so I could start adding them. Adding them. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically where we're going from there. Joint stream rally pops up the side. I thought it was new. To... So, so everybody gets pre-roll ads. When you just join a stream and you're not subbed, you will always get a pre-roll ad no matter what. But after that pre-roll ad, I don't have any ads. Because you can turn ads off. You can't turn off the pre-roll ad, though. Unfortunately. All right, chat. Let me, let's get this all set up here. Uh, tier list maker. I never get, yeah, it's because you're subbed. What's Voidwalker good at? Uh, Prince and helping other people out. Tier list incoming? Yes. Now Mercy Killer remaining brain cells. No, I think I think chat's pretty reasonable when it comes to alchemy bubbles. So the thing that I think we should do instead though is we should do we should add a display capture. Reasonable. Let's let's not be reasonable, guys. Yeah, let's be reasonable, shall we? So I I noticed with the other ones that I did, it caused this like weird bugged out thing. So let's do it like this here. Hide that. So now whenever I click off it, it won't bug it out. There we go. That's that's much better. So when I click onto it, click off of it, click onto it, click off of it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then now we take the display capture and we make it slightly smaller. And then there, we've cut that out. There we go, chat. Does that look nice? Doesn't that look nice? Wait, there was a new update? Yeah, there was. There was a new update. Now let's just center that. There we go. There we go. It's good enough, right? That's centered, center enough. Yeah, I think that's center enough. It's not- it's not centered? I mean, I would consider that pretty centered. I think it's center enough. Shackercy's S tier, dude. Made it onto the purple list. Hold up, I'm not done yet. Okay? Let me cook. Let me cook. There we go. Yo, what's up, dude? What's going on? Welcome on, Grace. Welcome on in. It's 2.5 pixels off. Well, just like in Eidolon, most things are pixels off. It's off, G. I don't give a shit. Why don't you leave in a comment section about how it's off kilter? Okay. It's time, chat. It's time. All right, chat. Make sure to say hi to YouTube. Go ahead and say hi, YouTube. Hi. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, I kind of figured as much that's what it was going to be. Yeah, th this this is exactly why it's uh it won't be in the video. Thanks for the free chat interaction, idiots.
G <laughs> <laughs> uh. being naughty. Naughty, naughty. I'm just kidding, chat. We're all smooth brained here. We are all of the slightly smooth brained variety. So let's change the music up a little bit here. We need a little bit less. Okay. So, chat, let's, uh, let's get into the, uh, what we like to call the tearless mentality. Okay, I'm back. Thomas was at my computer. My bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, brother. Not, yeah, I'll be on the second channel. So, chat, this is how I want our thought process to work here. So each time we go over a bubble, you need, you need to think of a few things. What's the cost of the bubble? What's the potency of the bubble? If it's a linear or non-linear? And how expensive is it? And how far into the worlds is it? This is how we're going to differentiate the difference. Okay? I feel like I didn't make that clear last time. I feel like I need to make this clear. And we're going for a normal generalization of the gaming public. This is this is not this is not a this is not a general You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I actually clicked on that. Okay, anyways. As I was saying, so so we got to think of it like in the general public. Like, for instance, uh, a good example is like Call Me Ash, right? Because there's a thing known as Species Epoch now, it becomes better. And we need to think more of a World 1 to World 5 standpoint. We're not going to accumulate, well, it will be this good in like World 7. Or it, we can speculate that it'll have like, a, like it will eventually be really strong over time, like once you start upgrading it. So to try to give you guys a better idea, so we all kind of have an understanding of where we're going with this. Make sense? Anybody have any questions before we continue on? Come on, your first character is even Griffy Bit. Yes, it is. My first character is Griffy Bit, actually. I was wearing mainstream till shut, shut the fuck up. Girthy bit? Actually, you're wrong. Actually, you're wrong. Griffy bit is my first ever character, and it's a bowman. How does it feel to be wrong? Imagine trying to tell me my account. Imagine trying to tell me I'm wrong in my own account. Should've been Beastmaster? You're right, you should've been Beastmaster. Have you ever clicked pu public link? No, and I won't. How long ago did this update drop? Today. Ah, uh, is this the Krusty Krab? <laughs> Can the tier list be more EU friendly? The next tier list be more EU friendly? No. No. No, 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 no. Dang, impressive resist making it public? Why? Because the thing is, if I make it public, I'm going to have a bunch of people bothering me and be like, update your IE. I need to do better. Why you ban Landon? Landon these nuts? Shit, Lava posted, bro? No, he didn't. Probably saw it, though. Yeah, I did. What was the game for PC and mobile that you keep... Oh, uh, Taurus Land. Taurus Land. That's what it's called. Okay, are you ready, chat? We ready? This is this is tier list number three out of four. We're almost done with our tier list. We're gonna have one more tier list next week, and then we're done. We're done with alchemy. All right. Free Thomas. Okay, dude. All right. No, we aren't. Well, we're done with tier list for a little while. I'm gonna put a break on tier list. Yeah, I said this is three out of four. I said we have one next week, and then we're done with tier list. Arika, why do you never listen? Why do you only hear like half the conversation? They'd be like, "No, I'm right," and then and then and then I say that you're trolling, and you're like, "What do you mean? I never troll." Got post that one. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up.
Yeah, I know. Oh, wait, patch notes? Yeah, no, no, it's nothing. Just expeditions. Yeah, 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 true. They never, do they just look it up, dude? Gee, your fifth monitor content can't help it? Well, then don't tell me I'm wrong if you're not even going to be out of, shut up. So three out of four, we're done after today? God damn it. You're wrong because I'm right? All right. New Adam? Yeah, the new Adam is pretty good. It's a fail safe. I just want to get help with their accounts from Mr. Griffey Bit himself, dude. Well, be part of the stream. And when I give away IE reviews, make sure you're there for it. Have a chance to win, my dude. Background noise, let my infant fall asleep. Where? 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 Wake up, fucking infant. Wake up. Where? This is why your phone counted so I can listen to you, dude. I have five minutes. Is you need an optical length, super ultra widescreen monitor? Well, actually. Bubblegum S. The audacity, dude. The audacity, bro. <laughs> How dare you? Your infant should be watching the stream. His eyes should be glued to it. By the time he's five years old, his first word should better be fucking Griffy bit, okay? Or my dudes. Either Griffy Bit or my dudes. Any other is unacceptable. I don't want your mommy. I don't want your daddy. It's either my dudes or Griffy. Even Griffy is okay. Are we all ready? Are we all ready, chat? Are we all ready? first sirs what's going on why not ram we all about rams yeah but it's not the same okay so chat to start off the first one we have is stable genius which gives you total wisdom and it gives you plus one total wisdom per level what are we thinking i think this is the same as every other tier list if anything arguably this is stronger than roid raging and swift stepping this is the strongest one out of the, all the total bubble levels for, for the first bubble, by far. So this is not even a question. We all know it. It isn't base wisdom, but it's still super, super strong. Easy S tier. Ain't no way it's stronger than the other two. It's second most expensive. 100% it is. Dude, wisdom scales so hard. Wisdom it scales so incredibly hard. Why is it stronger? Because mages. Your two biggest active players in the game are mages. Okay? Mages are the best classes in the game. By far. Wisdom is just the best stat in the game. It literally is the best stat in the game. Wisdom is by far the strongest stat. No question. because mages are the strongest but it's also so it's one of the strongest first bubbles that you can get because of because of wisdom because wisdom is the strongest stat in the game okay it is a little bit lower on the list because it's bleached logs compared to copper ore and oak logs but it's super super important Yeah, there's plenty of bubbles. Keep it at level one. There's a few, yeah. All right. Next one we have is... And you can, by the way, you can hourly click the wisdom bubble. You can click it. Other than alchemy and shopping, what does wisdom affect? Well, arguably... Law shopping is the most important skill because it gives you the most per hour. So since it gives you the most per hour, the most prints per hour, it would be arguably the best because of the sole fact that not only does it give accuracy for your warriors, it also gives damage for your mages. So I mean, getting accuracy from your warriors and damage from your mages, I mean, that's... And worship as well. Worship power, soul farming. 
Pretty important, dude. <clears throat> All right. So the next one we have to your chat is all for kill. Tac talents give a percent higher bonuses to offline games than they normally do. And it takes biny logs which come from the giant tree. I personally would say this is B tier. But low B. Because you this is like literally the only thing that you're ever going to print viney logs for. But it does help with AFK gains a decent amount. I actually, but it does scale terribly. So I, I, but since it's only, since this is pretty much the only thing that takes Vanny logs, it's either low B, top of C. It's only useful in Rift? No, it's useful any, any place they're using AFK because this increases your kill count. You got to remember this does increase your kill count. Even when you hit mob cap? No, it doesn't increase when you hit mob cap. Talent boy kill caps caps instantly. Yeah, but if you if so this is more this is like early game. This is this is this is more of like an early to mid mid game thing. Any useful for mob prints? I mean, yeah, it's it's all right for mob prints. So you got would you guys prefer to see it in low B or high C? There's more AFK gains, basically. Usually for the Rift, I guess. B. Low B. C. Which is pretty nice. Low B. High C, honestly, forget. I personally think because it costs Viney Logs, you're not going to really make this a huge priority. So, I mean, it's good, but I mean, you'll eventually hit Kill Cap anyways, regardless. So I'll put it like high C. It's okay early to mid-game bubble, but once you get out past that point, it kind of just super falls off. And let's be honest, Viney Legs is like the only thing that's absolutely terrible. Alright, next one, chat, is we have Maddie Statford. Maddie Statford gives you total percent damage. And this is additive total percent damage. Don't let the description fool you. Now, we could say that this is at the same tier as Britley Spears or Bojack, but I disagree. I would say this gets dropped down to B tier. Reason being, red salts. You never have enough red salts. You ain't upgrading this shit. You're waiting for, the, you're waiting for no bubble left behind to upgrade. I think it I think it's still a strong bubble. It's still a strong bubble, but because of the cost, it's B tier. All the other ones were A tier. I think Matthew Stafford is the only one that's actually B tier. High B, but B tier. I think we can all agree with that. I think we're all happy with that. Yeah, it's it's an S tier well, it's a, it's an A tier bubble, but it's an F cost. Absolutely. No, chat, the bubble's only A. The bubble's only as good as A. All right, the next one we have is Call Me Pope. Call Me Pope gives you times worship charge rate per hour and also max worship charge. But it does cost Krabos. And it is not a linear bubble, but it is very, very, very strong. This is, this is a naughty, naughty bubble. This is like one of these bubbles that you auto-equip. It's, it's strong early game. It's strong mid game. It's even stronger late game. All of it, all of it is just great. 
I, I don't I don't see anything wrong with it other than Krabos. You're you're basically trading up tra trapping gains for worship gains. It is worse than Hammer Hammer. I would argue that it's worse than Hammer Hammer. Because you use a lot more production items than you do use for soul items. I think that I think this still I still think this is deserving of S tier. I personally think this is still S tier. This is an insane bubble, and it's it's the exact same as Hammer Hammer. It's an auto equipped. It's literally it's literally an auto equipped. This is like the this is like the 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 trifecta of the three bubbles that you always run. And the fact that this will help you with your with your with your blue salt lock. Okay, no. So it makes it better? Yeah. What do you say about auto equipped? Yeah, you 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 basically instantly equipped it. Auto equip. Cool whip. What's wrong? What's wrong? What what what, what, what the T's at? What do you mean? Cool whip. Auto equip. Auto equipped. Yeah, ED. Equipped. A equipped. Equip equipped. Equipped. That's what I'm saying. It's auto equipped. What's wrong? What's wrong with it? What what what's the problem? Equipped. Bro, shut shut up. <laughs> shut up, chat. Almost S, it falls off late game. Hard disagree. Hard disagree that Call Me Pope falls off end game. If anything, it just gets even more disgusting. Second best bubble on everyone but Squires, which need a slot for Call Me Bob. Exactly. It's even better late game. Yeah, it's insane late game. Still goes insane. So we're we're gonna we're gonna put this at the old S tier. The old, the old S tier. We're gonna S tier, stop milk and video length. Kin, this is my stream. I'll do whatever I goddamn please. If I want to sit here for five minutes and not say anything, by God, I'm going to fucking do it. And are you going to tell me otherwise? I don't think so. Last time I checked, is this a Kindig stream? Nah, it ain't. Nah, it fucking ain't. All right, anyways. Gee, some stop G's on Hinge, dude. Yeah, it's all going to my head, chat. It's all going to my head. The Kindig stream sounds... You know what? You're not wrong. The Kindig stream does sound like a podcast. That would actually be a pretty good podcast name. I'm not going to lie. So the next one we have is... The Beautiful, Beautiful Gospel Leader. Which gives you a percent max charge per 10 worship levels. So the more worship levels you have, the higher the scales. I mean, wheel spin stand silence, dude. Don't start, Squid. I think this starts off kind of weak. But then it becomes super, super disgustingly strong late game. Like, insanely strong late game. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, but it, it's, it is Mesquite Snows. We do need to remember, it is Mesquite Snows. It's got a bad cost. I would say... Top of the pack A tier. Top of the pack A tier. I, I would say Gospel Leader is. It is hard to prior, though. I honestly, that's... Pickle does a good point. You don't really prioritize this. It is not linear. You don't usually prioritize this until you're in later game anyways. And, and for the most part, is people don't aren't going to get big level skulls for the worship charge to be getting super, super big. You still don't prio it? It's level 181? Bro, that is still pretty good. The only argument, I would still say this stays in A tier. I would still say this stays in A tier because this, this, this affects charge siphon so strong. Cost, and it's not linear. I see nothing worth higher here here is it just a quality of life bubble though not really not really quality of life uh actually you know what it kind of is 
Actually, that's a good point. It is kind of just a quality of life bubble. You know what? Yeah, I would, I would, I would put it, I would put it a high B. It, it's a high B. It's a quality of life. You could daily siphon easily without, without, without popping this off. I, I yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'd give it, I'd give it a low B or C. No, I'd give this a higher B. Does it get boosted by the second bubble? It does. It does get boosted by the second bubble. I would say, personally, it goes above Maddie Statford. Disagree there. So you're saying, so you're saying, red salts and thirty percent total damage percent. It's going to be more worth it than Gospel Leader. Yes. 100%. Okay. All right. Okay. Fine. You know what? You guys changed my mind. I'll put this below Maddie Statford. It's still a good bubble, but it doesn't really scale really hard till late game because you need an insane amount of worship levels. Just because it's, it's a super nice quality of life, but it will end up require you to be later in the game in order to start scaling it really hard. So, for that reason, I can put it in B tier. I'm okay with that. It's not a, it's, it's not a priority, but it's, it's not a bad bubble. Yeah, in before max charge affects damage in the future updates, then this becomes... If, it, if, it affect, if max charge affects World 6 and gives you more damage, it's going to be S tier easily. Easily, 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 easily. Next one, chat, we have Eos. A linear bubble known as Smart Boy Talent that will give you talent points specifically for the mage. And it costs sippy straws. Arguably, this is one of the best talent points that you can get in the game because it's for mages. It's for mages. And mages are also incredibly, incredibly talent-hungry. They also require some of the most funding in the game. You can't get anywhere near maxing out even just a damage page. Yes. Yes. F tier, in my opinion. Okay, dude. We're getting so many points. Now you almost don't need to switch builds. Yeah, but that's with smart boy talent. You need you need to level up these bubbles if you're planning on getting full full pages, and you gotta you gotta realize the most important page of all, page four. I think eh, yeah, it is linear. I think I think you. I think if you're actually planning on pushing, with ES, and with Bubo, you a hundred percent need this. Just because mages are some of the most talent hungry, needing to be high funded characters. So this is, I would say, out of all the talent point ones, this is the only one that's actually going to hit S tier. It does only affect one character, but man, this one chef's kiss. This one makes things possible. This makes the dream work. Yes, bubble two does affect it, so it's a times two. So I think right here, so far, bottom of the list S tier. It's a great bubble. It's a fantastic bubble. Even though it costs sippy straws, still solid. Bubble 2 doesn't affect it? What are you talking about? Bubble 2 affects all the talent point ones. Charge rate and alchemy bonus, I have two times, and when I up smart boy, I only get plus one, not plus two. Bubble two affects it. Yeah, bubble two affects it, dude. Yeah, bu 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 bubble two affects it. You're probably... Th well, then my game is broken. Yes, yes it is. 
Because it's probably not... See, the thing is, Arika, is it's probably not perfectly at two times. So it, it actually might be a little bit lower. It might have just... It might have just scaled up to two times, but it's not actually two times. Don't both multipliers affect it? We'll find out. We shall find out. I mean, whenever I use it, I get two times. Bubble too big of a deal? Absolutely. 100%. Next one we have, chat, is Purple Bargain. The material cost of all purple bubbles are reduced by percentage. This is kind of the same as every other bargain tag. It really, really is. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's not even that good of a bubble. It's a bad cost. It starts off okay at the start, but scales really far down really quickly. And it's not even, it, to be fair, it's not even decent early game. It's not good early. Because in early game, you don't get a lot of green souls. This is like, you, you can't even use this early game. This is literally a middle game. But by the time you get to middle game, you're not even going to use it anyways. So I, I would say for that reason, C tier. Not a priority. Not a priority. Save your green souls, chat. Level up something else. I put it above AFK Town 1, though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay. Because at least, at least the AFK Town actually affects you early game. The time you can actually use it, you're begging for it to stop upgrading. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now we have a huge one. We have Nickel of Wisdom. It gives you cash for monsters for every 250 wisdom. This is the best one out of all of them. Because your Bubo is your money farmer. So he has a ton of wisdom. This is what scales your money percent very, very hard. It does cost alien logs, so it is a little bit expensive. But it is the best of the best. And wizards are also one of the characters get the most main stat in the game. What are we thinking? It is still logs, so it's an easier resource to get. See early S late game, so S for sure, easiest S ever. Far easier to get alien locks compared to Skullfish and Purple Screws. Absolutely. Stamp give Wiz the, mo the most also. Yeah, high A. I want to say A, but everyone's saying S. I want to say top of the A. I want to say top of the pack A. It is a World 4 bubble, but you're not going to really be able to abuse this until later game anyways. I would say top of the pack A tier. It's almost S, but it's not. Top of the pack A tier seems like a very fair spot. By the time you focus this, the cost is negligible. Yeah. Think of the God Shard coins. Yeah, exactly. Nickel Wisdom single handedly boosted my stamp six tit knock no. Okay, okay, kickstand. So I'd say A to mid A. What makes it not? What makes it not S tier is how late you get it. And the fact that it's alien locks. It's huge, but it's not fungi pocketeer. Like, you, I could see you prioritizing other stuff than just Nickel of Wisdom. Right? I don't think it necessarily deserves S-tier spot, but it deserves top of the S-tier. How late you get it? Are we, aren't we only farming money late game? Exactly. Exactly, that's the problem. Yeah, the scaling isn't amazing. Exactly. I didn't see a difference between 10 Dementia coins and 11, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. Is it doubled? It is doubled. It's a late game, buddies. Lo alien locks are dirt cheap. Yeah, but it's a World 4 bubble. You're not going to be leveling this until partway through World 5. Right? This is, this is a bubble that will become prioritized later on in the game, but not that early enough to make it S tier. It's A tier though. It's top of the pack A tier. I would I would I would put it almost in the middle between A and S. It's like it's like literally edging S tier. 
It's edging S tier, but it's not quite there. So top of the pack A tier, I'll give that no problem. Next one we have chat is uh Severa Purple. Now Severa Purple gives a multiplier higher bonus than display for the first, third, fifth, thirteenth, and fifteenth. And first, so what what are the what are all of them again, chat? Can we get a can we get a list of what they upgrade? All our bad bubbles. It depends on what it multiplies. It all depends on what it multiplies. I think since it, I mean, it's easy S tier since it multiplies wisdom, buffing the number one S tier bubble. Okay, well then we need to then we need to find out which one this multiplies here. Focus shop is new, but okay. So, severe purple multiplies stable genius, which is total wisdom. Hocus shop is which is chopping efficiency percent. Nude bubble, which is XP. Gospel leader, which is worship charge, and purple bargain, which is a discount on bubbles. So, I mean, let's be honest, the only two important things that comes from it is Hocus Choppus and Stable Genius. Those are the two ones that are very important, but also at the same time, St Stable Genius, fantastic bubble. It's already up there. You can see an S tier, not to mention Hocus Choppus, which is arguably the one of the strongest wisdom efficiencies for chopping. And it does cause Void Ore, though. But Void Ore isn't super hard to obtain. And the scaling isn't terrible. It's currently at 271. It gives me 2.26 times. So it's it's a little bit expensive, but it's not that bad. I would say easily S tier. Now the question is... The question is... Is it above talent points? I don't think it's better than talent points. I don't think it's better than talent points. I think I think that's a perfect spot for it. Because you're only using it for stable genius and hocus choppus. Perfect where it is. Perfect. All right, moving on. The next one we have chat is tree sleeper. Now, Tree Sleeper gives us chopping AFK gains, but it also costs purple souls. It's purple souls, chat. It's purple souls. I don't know, man. I think it's almost B. It's one of the, it's it's super super expensive. Purple Souls aren't used for much, are they? They're used for quite a bit of things. Yeah, it's good thing Severe Buff Gospel, then. Yeah, Severe Buff Gospel, bro. Yeah, thank God for that. Name three things of Purple Souls. Files. Um, there's a stamp. And this bubble. And prayer. Yeah, that's another one. Who is realistically getting purple souls at this time when they unlock bubbles? I sure and didn't. This is exactly what I'm thinking. This is exactly what I'm thinking. Who actually has the souls when they unlock this? This is... Okay, we need to make this clear. When it comes to chopping, this is how I got 1.2 billion copper... Uh, oak log print. 
But at the same time, is, is squishy souls are super expensive. And Clash of Clans is really actually a pretty hard map to, to clear. I would say it's really, really strong. It doesn't deserve to be in C tier, but it does deserve to be at the top of B tier. It would it would be it would be close to S tier if it didn't cost purple souls. But I would say top of B. I would definitely for sure say top of B tier. I think I think I think we can all agree on that one. I feel like that's fair. All right. Next one we have is ba -ba -da -da -ba. what's 90% of the bubble? 10.8% is what I currently have on that bubble. We have Hyper Swift, which gives you a percent basic attack speed. This also helps boost AFK gains. What do we think about this one? I don't think this is that good. I really don't think it's that good. This is definitely not something you're hard prioritizing. And chat, you got to remember. Manta rays. Manta rays are not easy. Honestly, I think C tier. I think it's C tier. Attack speed is maining. Manta rays of cheap AF. Attack speed requires you. Okay. Okay. So to, to the guy in chat named Purifier that thinks manta rays are cheap as fuck. Actually, what are you talking about? When the, when the point that you actually unlock Hyper Swift, what, what are you actually talking about? Who here thinks manta rays are easy? Re real talk. Sequel to Bloaches. Me. Me. I do. Don't have them yet. So that, so that just proves my point. That you guys are not thinking in a 99% mentality. You guys are thinking in your account mentality, which is the wrong way to think about this. The wrong way to think about this. These are not easy. These are not easy at all. You guys are, you guys are using a 10% mindset. Manta rays are the same tier as jellyfish, and you get those easily. What? Wait, manta rays are the same tier as jellyfish? Are you... Are you fucking mental? Okay, tell you what. Go get the same exact print of manta rays and jellyfish, and tell me that they're the exact same. Third tier in the respect... Yeah, but it... Bro! That's like saying co oak logs are the same as goddamn maple logs. It's just a different tier in the respective worlds. Like, what the fuck kind of, what kind of, kind of, dis what kind of discussion is that? That doesn't make any sense. Four hundred twenty k jellyfish to forty five k mantas. Manta print is only one hundred sixty four when jellyfish is one point one mil. So fuck manta. Exactly. Manta, the, mantas are not easy, okay? Anybody that says mantas is easy or, or cracked out of your mind. You're spending mantas for something that isn't really that good. So I would say for that reason, attack speed isn't that great because attack speed also has a cap. You also got to remember that attack speed does cap. Out of these tier lists, uh, uh, brain cells are dwindling, but it's okay. Cap at? Does attack speed cap at 10 active? It caps at 10 active. They're high on co compromise? No. I would say, I would say top and back C tier. It's not something you're going to prioritize. You're going to prioritize Manta Rays for other things. 
And besides, we all know, in the end, fishing sucks. Fishing sucks. Next one. Chat. We have a multiplier bubble. Known as Mage is Best. This multiplies every small passive bubble other than bubble one. Do we even need to have a conversation here? You know it, I know it, we all know it. This is easy S tier. It literally buffs absolutely everything. It, bu it boosts everything by a multiplier, except for big bubbles and the first bubble. Not even a question. Top of the pack. It's top S. Just like all the other ones. Multipliers are best. Easily. Easily bis. That one isn't hard. Oh, also it costs green mushroom spores, which is fairly cheap. All right. Next one we're going to go on here, chat, is Evolved Matrix, which is a big bubble, so it has to be equipped. It gives you percent lab XP. And it's scaling his dog. I'm a little bit biased on this bubble. I'm a little biased on this bubble. I've never once equipped it, ever. Never, ever equipped it. And it takes cube logs. Without Sheepy, yeah, without Sheepy, this one does not exist. And it's additive bonus, by the way. It's an additive bonus. So you see how it says 46%? This is 0.46%, by the way. I don't think it's F. I don't think it's F, because it does help with the pushing. But I would say low C tier. It's just, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's not that, it's just not that great. It's amazing for me. I got dude. It helps me catch up a lag lab XP. We're not basing the tier list off companions. We've been over this. No sheepy. No dude. No sheepy. No dude. This is useless. Yeah. No sheep. No dude. This is useless. What? Who doesn't have to do at this point? Talion, come on, dude. Come on, Talion. Why not? They're part of the game. Okay, so l let's just let's just go ahead and, you know, totally throw everything out of the water that I'm here to help the 99% of players and then just be like, oh, hey, by the way, uh, this is a pay-to-win alchemy tier list, so if you don't have Dude or Sheepy, you're kind of fucked. So, th so if you don't have these bubbles, this tier list is completely irrelevant to you. Yeah, let's do that, chat. Good idea. That's real smart. If you don't have do your characters in lab for the rest of the game anyway, it's true. No, you just take them into consideration? No, I'm not taking any of that into consideration whatsoever. No companions are getting put into consideration with this whatso fucking ever. Absolutely not. I would say bottom, bottom of the line, C tier, it's never going to be a priority. Maybe once in a blue moon, maybe once in a blue moon, you will equip this if you're just trying to get a little bit more lab XP, but other than that, you're not using this. Other than that, not, not even close to using this. Risking this becoming obsolete if pets become more accessible, but probably good call for now. Bro, you could argue that this tier list will become obsolete when World 6 comes out. But realistically, yeah, who's leveling this up anyways? Losing no bubble left behind progress on this is garbage. What is the new atom buff from Snail from update? 
it's uh it's sodium and it increases it makes it so if you if you reset your snail it only goes back to like level 5 or level 10 or level 15 depending on where you're at It's so hard. Like, I understand how you have to do it like that because of your audience, but at the same time, feels so weird to ignore part of the game. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? I'm gonna make this very, very fucking easy and clear. If this is for the 99% of player base, not the 10%, not the 1%, not the people just starting, but the core 99% audience that play Eidolon, how many of them actually have sheepy or dute a pinchy amount of them a pinchy amount most people do that doesn't matter though there's tons of free to play players this is tons of free to play players so and also why would i confuse the shit okay for instance once well, you're a free to play player okay once well, you're a free to play player and your luck is so bad that you don't end up with Sheepy, and don't end up with Doot, and then you go off this tier list of what to level things, so then the whole time you're leveling them for Sheepy and Doot. Majority of players don't watch Twitch. Good thing this is going to be on YouTube, bud. Once, yeah, but, but we also smile, we also... I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> We also agreed, Smile, that this is we're not we're not foreseeing what's gonna happen in the future. We're we're foreseeing what's here and now of how this affects. Just like preparing for it, no? I don't I don't I don't think because here's the thing, okay? Here's the problem. Because if we go off a of sheepy, then every big bubble is S tier. Because every bubble is equipped regardless, so you want to make sure to level that up. So, lab would technically be like A tier. Because it's just free lab XP. XP is XP, chat. We could make that argument. You know? No, because you won't always have sheepy. Bingo. So, instead of, instead of making catering either do you have sheepy or you don't have sheepy, rather just take sheepy and doot out of the equation. Yeah, Bite and Not Chew would still be F tier. That is true. That is true. But wait, you still might want to level it because if you have Sheepy, you get that extra percentage. I'm, think I'm thinking bottom of the pack C tier is fine. Bottom of the pack of the C tier is totally okay. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's not something you're going to prioritize. By the, time, by the time you get to this point anyways, you're going to forget this bubble ever existed in the first place. Gee, when, when you would ever equip this bubble, be realistic, assuming that you're equipping this bubble since it's additive, how much faster you think you would hit 75 blab with it, and after that, no bubble left behind, how much games are realistically losing? Yeah, but the thing is, Purifier, the thing is, is I've been playing since the beginning of World 4. Okay? So, so my opinion on this bubble will be slightly different to other people's opinion because I hit lab 75 way before everybody else. Let's not consider no bubble left behind. No, we're considering no bubble left behind because no bubble left behind isn't a pay to win mechanic and everybody can get it relatively easily. But I would still say that it's not a priority. But here's the question that we need to make here, okay? Here's the, here's the real question that is the ultimate decider whether it's bottom of the C tier or F tier, okay? It is additive. It is additive. But at the same time, do you want your no bubble left behind procs using on Matrix Evolved? No. I would block my noble if it hits this um, always, unlike the resources one, give 300% cap, one just becomes 100% obsolete past 75. No, it's worth it. Lab 75 is really important. Yeah, but lab 75 doesn't take it that long to get. It really, it really doesn't. 
Will lithium prox hit bubbles under five? No. No. It will it will not hit level one bubbles. Because it negates all no bubble left behind. It's less time your players are stuck doing effectively nothing. Not F tier because Maestro XP bonus. Maestro would help the remaining characters. The only time I can think of being worth is without companions. If it was multiplicative, it would be a different story. I think if it was multiplicative, it would be way bigger of a story. Okay. I'm happy with that. It's not a priority. For most people, this is F tier. But if you honestly want to get some extra lab XP, just to make it a little bit pinchy bit faster, it's not bad. But you're never, you're never going to use this bubble realistically. You will never realistically use this bubble because you'll use things like Hammer Hammer, Call Me Pope, Big P, whatever the sorts. So in, in, in niche scenarios, in very, very niche scenarios, you will use this. But in other scenarios, you will not use it whatsoever. So it's, it's, it's teetering between C tier and F tier, but we'll just keep it at C tier. Big P, that's way past lab. Yeah, but but realistically, you're you're gonna be way past lab before you heat, reach round arena two hundred, anyways. All right. You know what? I take back what I said. This thing's fucking F tier. I screw you, chat. It's F tier. It's a dog shit bubble. It's a dog shit bubble. You're never gonna- you're gonna leave it at level one. You don't- don't level this shit. It's an additive. It's- it's bullshit. It's terrible. Don't- don't even- you know, it, We need- we need to have at least one F tier bubble for every tier list. This needs to be F tier. It needs a rework. It needs to be a multiplicative bonus, not a- not an additive bonus. Leave it at weapon- leave it at- leave it at level one. Oh yeah, arena 100, bubble slot not 200, yeah, fair. Even still, dog shit. Next one, chat, we have is Wand Power. This gives you 27% more weapon power from your weapons, but only if it's wands or fisticuffs. This is higher than the rest of them. It does cost bits, so it's unadmirable. But it does help V-Man. V-Man has a lot of problems building high damage. This helps with high damage. Out of all the powers, it's the best of the best. It's okay for Bubo. It's pretty good for V-Man. And it's insane for ES. Kind of. Because it's weapon power. But I would say, I would say this, this, because V-Man has such low, since V-Man has such low power of trying to build up damage, so far it stays at bottom A. It's not better than money. Ubo Punchy Aura? Yeah, but but Bubo, but you're but you're running stingers. Stingers give you like what eleven weapon power. So so what fifty four percent of that is like what another extra six weapon power. Damage to V man. Yeah. So it, it, this is this is totally this is totally ignoring Bubo whatsoever, because Bubo doesn't use staff. So I would yeah I would say because it doesn't add him. Doesn't it helps with fisticuffs and wands, so it works for V-Man as well. So it's a doubler. It's the best of all the powers for bit gain. Bottom of the pack eight here. Yes, it does help with power overwhelming as well. Okay, next one we have is Slave Log Soul. 
That gives you chopping and worship power per 100 items found and shown in the slab. And it requires scarabs, which is a world 5 catching. I think this is low B. I think it's low B, high C. But I still think... Eh, is it really a priority, though? You know how hard it is to catch scarabs? Scarabs are nasty. It's worse than everything else in B. Too costly for what it provides is you have to it. want it because chopping is insanely good and so is worship. Yeah. I see, high C. This is like 500 giving 2.7 weapon power. Yeah, the, by the way, that yeah, that's a good point. This is like giving 2.75 weapon power at 500 and you need an insane amount of slab to actually make this scale really well. So, sorry, I meant chopping worship power. So, considering most people haven't done their slab farm, and considering this becomes a priority later game. Like, you have to be pretty later game in order for this to have a priority, I would say. I'm at slab 900. What would you say people's the average slab amount? Like, 500. 500, I would say, is the solid average slab amount. And we know we can't... We It is that low. Easily that low. Most people aren't even out of World 4 chat. Most people haven't even reached World 5. We need to think of the average player base. I just got to World 5, 600. Yeah, so 5 to 600 would be average. 5 to 600 would be average. Once you get this bubble, you have a lot more slabs, so my slab is above average? Probably. Most likely, yeah. I mean, I feel like most people in this stream right now have a above average slab. Seven eight hundred realistically for world five entry. One K slab and one forty bubble, you get twenty power. That's the same as cold and catching tool. No one can afford scarabs will have less than one K. It's super this is super expensive, chat. Scarabs are disgusting. I'm at six hundred. It's not about the size of your slab, but how you use it. Keep in mind, chat, it does get doubled. Yes, it does get doubled. 686 slab mid world five i would say i would say this is where i would put a chat i would put right above gospel leader at b tier it's still something that you're going to eventually prioritize but it won't happen till later game very very way later game So this is for people to, for just in World 5? Useless. Well, in World 5, yeah, it's useless. I'd go low B because of how much you want extra chopping and worship as possible. This is also base power compared to scale power. Exactly. So I think, I think right above Gospel Leader, since Gospel Leader is just more of a quality of life thing. It's an alright boost. It's not an insane boost. But I would say that's a fair spot. Middle of the pack, it's alright. And we gotta remember... This is for chopping and worship, okay? This is chopping and worship. The more, the merrier. The more efficiency you have, the more it affects the biggest print in the game. All right, next one, Jet. We have Pious at Heart. And I believe, if I'm understanding correctly, this is a linear bubble. And it does, it, but you got to remember that it does cost late game sailing.
This is late game sailing. So you will not be obtaining this when you're doing your divinity farm. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this is... This is bubble number 23, by the way, chat. So this is the second to last bubble that you're going to be getting. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be really really good if you're trying to push to divinity like 120. If you're trying to get to like divinity 120 to 130, it's super super good. But I mean, are you gonna be using this right away? Probably not. Third to last is bubble 23. Oh yeah, so it'd be third to last. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it's bubble 23. I think A or B. We have 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you thinking B, chat? I mean, it's definitely not Matrix Evolved. Is it additive? It is additive. But there's very, there's actually very small things that you can do to obtain extra Divinity XP. To be fair. And it is, it is pretty free to level. Yeah, it's good for the 80 plus Divinity push for skill mastery. I mean, if you unlock it, you're going to probably use it if you're locked in Divinity. You use it right away whenever you're worshipping, even after the goat, you get on lab, both of any lab, you'll be equipping this bubble over lab for obvious reasons. Yeah, this is definitely better than the lab. Okay, Matrix Evolved bubble, 100%. So I would say this bubble it's a properly place it costs a reasonable quickly where you get it. Yeah, I would say for that reason, I would put it I'd put it in B tier. B tier at least. Don't think it's linear? Are you sure? Here, let's check. Let's make sure. Check the spreadsheet. Yeah, I'm checking the spreadsheet right now. Just checked. It's not a linear bubble. It's not. Oh, it's not a linear bubble. Okay, sorry. My mistake. It is not a linear bubble chat. It does scale decently, though. It does have a decent scale. I would say it's a good bubble for that reason. Since it's not linear, it's still top of C, then. Top of C. It's, it's something that you're not necessarily going to prioritize, but it's something that you are going to want to have later in the game. Yeah, it, it's pretty close to linear, but it's not. Top of the pack C tier. This is this is a late game bubble you're not going to really prioritize. And pretty much, the thing is too, is by the time you actually prioritize this bubble, you're going to be pretty close to level 80 divinity anyways. Right? Because if, it, if the majority of players are just rushing through world 5, you know, they, they, they only have like, what, bubble number 19, 18 unlocked? So I mean, by the time you do your divinity grind, and by the time you unlock this bubble at, at, at 23... Okay, you're going to be pretty close to already being done Divinity anyways. So the only reason that you're really going to level this up is if you're trying to push high level 80 plus Divinity. Sailing material requires is also mid-tier island, so it ain't that easy too. Exactly. 19 bubbles to get in World 5, dude. When do you think people unlock World 5 bubbles? Bro, most people, I'm going to be honest with you, most people don't unlock World 5 bubbles until they're like finished World 5. Okay, and even then they're still unlocking bubbles. I see, I see, I see people with, that have been at like freaking minor moles, dude. And they're, and they're only at, they like just started their first World 4 bubble. When the world rushes World 5 and they don't have good alchemy, 90% of the player base. 90% of the player base is just like, what's alchemy? Is it alchemy? I don't care about alchemy. It's a World 2 thing. Who cares? It's a World 2 thing. I'm at lamps. I'm only halfway through World Four. The RNG is just so dumb. Yeah, all technology. Yeah, exactly. So I think I think this is a fair spot. It's not a priority, but when you get it, it's good. It's it's okay. All right. Next one we have chat is slave wisdom. 
which gives you base wisdom per 100 items found shown on the slab, and it costs crawlers base materials. It's a pretty insane bubble. It's a pretty insane bubble. This is base wisdom, Jet. But it does cost crawler materials. Does cost crawlers. Late as for the 99% B tier. This is, this is, you gotta remember, Jet, this is Osho bubble number 24. This is bubble number 24, so this is one of the last bubbles that you'll ever get. And crawler materials, I don't know about you, but most people actually have a hard time farming crawler materials, even with Elemental Sorcerer. And, I mean, you are farming crawlers specifically for some items, but this is, this is definitely something that... It's a super, super strong bubble. It's an insanely strong bubble. But because of the cost and where you're actually going to be when you actually unlock it, I would say bottom of the pack A tier. Bottom of the pack A tier. I would say this, this is a fair spot. It's a good bubble. If you can do it, if you can do it, 100% do it. But the cost screws you over in the long run. Wait, you think top minimum? You think top A minimum? You think you guys you guys are thinking it's top A? Kabir, it's a 99% of the player base, not just us. It's the final bubble, it's S. Fine with bottom A for average player. That's an average player, right? Yeah, it's only top A for the 1%. No way it's B plus for the 99%. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like having five sets of void tools. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is horribly expensive. Yeah, th th this is low A tier. Yeah, 100%. No, 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 I'm not changing it. No, no, no. Because, because it's also, you need way more slab as well. This isn't, yeah, this is not realistic for most players. So th this this is low A is perfect. Low A is 100% a good place to have it. Getting levels is the hard part. Yep, exactly. So, low A. Yep, I'm okay with that. Now, chat. The power of Tri-3, which gives us total damage percent per 250 whiz. And also, beginners get luck. But the cost is musical notes this is one of the biggest damage spikes that you'll ever get okay this is a disgusting damage spike especially because mages get so much wisdom stat has to be s question is where bottom of s but barely no nah, dude i this this is this is where i put it this is where I put it. 100%. Exactly my thoughts. Is this better than stable? I don't think it's necessarily better than stable, because stable's easy. If, 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 it, if it, the material cost is brutal, but you want to prioritize this no matter what. You want to take sailing, and there's two things in sailing that you want to make sure you prioritize. Musical Notes, and Eldritch Fury. Or just even Normal Fury. But on top of that, the next big damage boost next to Power of Tri-3 is also Crystal Stake. Okay? The cost is brutal. We can all agree the cost is brutal, okay? But once you hit that island, the pop-off is through the goddamn roof. Okay, even regardless of the cost, if the cost was cheaper, this would be top of the pack. Okay, this is something that you want to prioritize pretty much over anything else. You want to get here as soon as possible. Average player eyes, you don't want to get this bubble. If the cost was cheaper, it wouldn't even be a close comparison. Exactly. 
Biggest damage spike is luster weapons. Yeah, okay, dude. Yeah, alright. It's not like other shit costs, though. You're talking like a month of not having this atomable. Yeah, exactly. This will get Adam super pretty early as well. Notice second to last island, so it's endgame sailing when you could realistically hard farm. Well, I mean, realistically, at the same time, you won't be at notes until you unlock this bubble because it is the last bubble in the game. Stack main stat, they stack weapon power. Yeah, because they're too busy living in world one. This is, this is by far better than the other pow power of one, power of two. And also, chat, even you gotta realize the cost as well. It is also, it's two stats. It's two stats. Okay, that's the thing we gotta remember. It's luck and wisdom. It's not just one. And it, scale, and it scales very, very quickly. And also, you have enough cost reduction, you can upgrade this like two or three times without even needing notes. You can get this to le level 10 just with bargain tags without using any notes. So this is, this is easy, easy damage spike, all right? You know it, I know it, we all know it. It is costly, though, so good luck. But I mean, it is the last bubble, so it is to be expected. But it's a super, super good bubble. All right. Next one we have is Hocus Choppus. Which gives us shopping efficiency per power 10 of max MP. But it also costs nails. Middle B? You're high. You're so high if you think this is middle B. Sounds good, bro. This is definitely S tier. No question in my mind this is S tier. This is why people get crazy prints. It's literally, literally mandatory for prints. There's a reason why people hard focus, hardy digging, and hocus choppus, okay? There's like not even not even a question why they hard focus it. Because it's that good. It's insane. It's just so hard to level. It is only the second material for production. So it's not that bad. It's costly as fuck. The scaling is garbage. You can't S tier this. A hundred percent I can S tier this. I will, I will be, I'll be, I'll die on this hill. I will die on this hill and end stream before I put this any lower than S tier. There is no way that you're telling me any other reasons why. End stream, but it is S tier. Pickle agrees, can't be right. S for sure. That's 100%. This literally makes the top two bubbles better. Does the 99% focus smithing, though? Yeah, actually. Actually, a lot of them do. Yeah, a lot of them do, actually. Yeah, 100%. It's low S because jungle logs are easier and scales worse. This is 99%, though. After 100 levels, you don't see much gains, but the scaling is crazy. And you get it super, super early. If we, if we want to talk about the 99%, though, you're scaling this relatively really well not to mention it will get hit by no bubble left behind a lot average player base doesn't care about scaling they want to kill stuff purple bubbles are okay so we can't base this about people being idiots okay we have to base this off of what are they doing you can't decide be like oh they're not doing scaling they're doing combat now that doesn't make sense so here's here's here here's the thing okay if it didn't cost nails, it would be right here. Okay? If it didn't cost nails, it'd be right here. But says it costs nails, it's right there. It's still a hard, hard prioritize. You want to prioritize this as much as possible. But bottom of the yes, it's more than a fair spot. More than a fair spot.
okay, I'll take it, but it's still not fine. That's fine. I mean, you, you can, you can have, you know, your own tier list of how you feel about it. That's totally okay. A hundred percent. Hundred, hundred percent okay with that. But this, yeah, this, this is, this is definitely something you want. It's already five powers of ten, and it's multiplied two, and yeah, it's big and juice, big juice, big, big, big juice. All right, next one, Jet. Imagine if you really want to push this bubble, it'd be piss cheap to Adam. Yeah, it is piss cheap to Adam. Realistically, though, most people aren't going to make nails instead of thread. Yeah, until they find out that Hocus Chopus is actually good, and then they'll be leveling that shit up like mad. It's too good to put it any lower than S tier. It's way too good. Because if, if yeah, it's it's too nasty, man. It's too nasty. It, it would be, it would arguably be higher than Hardy Diggy, but Hardy Diggy only does jungle logs, which is arguably way easier to do. Besides, trusty nails aren't that hard to farm. Okay. Everybody, everybody's saying trusty nails are so hard, but it's right after thread. Wonder what G's prints are without this bubble unlocked? I'd probably lose probably quite a bit. You can make thread vial up to 13. Nails is actually easy. Most people aren't doing that. Yeah, so that's actually a really good point, tabletop. Because here's the thing. Depending on how the player base is, if you're farming XP, if you're only a daily logging in person, you're gonna farm trusty nails, okay? If you're if you're a multiple log in time a day type of person, you're gonna do thread. So when it comes to the argument of most people is printing thread, that's actually wrong because most people are actually gonna probably be printing trusty nails because they're gonna get more XP per hour because they're not gonna cap. Just think about what you actually get from this bubble. It's single handedly responsible for half your atoms. So all the shit you get from atoms is dependent on this. Absolutely. I log in too much. Yeah, ninety-nine percent doesn't log in a lot, right? They're not. They're not. They're not running. They're not running this twenty-four-seven. Okay, like us. All right. Ninety-nine percenters don't even have atoms. Yeah, but we can. We can take atoms into consideration. Nobody's getting atoms when they unlock this bubble. Yeah, but they're still gonna be leveling it up with nails. I cap easily on leather hides overnight. It upsets me. A lot of people always forget you can double down on a single anvil production. They have nails going also. Exactly. I log in every four hours. All right. I, I, I'm going to die on that hill. You guys can't change my mind on that. I'm sorry. You're not changing my mind. And also, chat, there's, that's a really good point that Phipps said. You also got to realize Severa Purple and Mage's Best multiplies this bubble. Two multipliers. Gotta remember that. Two multipliers on Hocus Chopus. Alright, so. I'm gonna die on that hill. It's the hill I'll die on for the rest of my life. Next one we have is Multi-Logo. Multi-Logo increases your Multi-Log Chop Chance. And it can increase the cap up to 300% instead of the measly 100%. Yeah, but it's copper bar. It's, it's, it's... <sighs> yeah, but it's iron, chat. It's iron. It's, a, it's an S-tier bubble for sure, but with the cost. The cost is bad. The only, uh, if, if it wasn't, if it wasn't iron bars, easy, easy, easy S tier. But, you're, you're, uh, yeah, are yeah. The cost is dog. The cost is dog. So cheap to max, bro, bro, no, man, you don't understand. Besides, most people don't even get four void coins anytime soon. But bro, you don't understand the actual farm that it takes to actually farm out enough enough uh, iron bars for this, I think everybody I think I think everybody's sleeping on the fact that it's iron bars. Iron bars literally blows anything else out of the water. It makes production it literally literally makes production items feel quick. Okay. 
And chat, you gotta remember. People don't have brimstone sluts. Okay? Let's, let's keep this in the reminder here. Not everybody has brimstone slots. The siege breaker time candy that? How many people know about the siege breaker with the time candy that Bro, there's like literally nobody that knows that stuff. They are useless. I have four slots and they are useless. Brimstone slots are useless? Are you high? I guess I'm in the 10%. I barely got to green stack. It's so. Problem is, I'm capped by Forge. So. I would easily say this is an S tier bubble up to, I believe, level 140 is when you, and then you can get it other from star signs and stuff. But because, because it's iron bars, which is arguably very, very hard, top the pack A tier. This is still a bubble you want to prioritize, but you're going to want to bargain tag it as much as you can. And it really, realistically, it's one of the hardest bubbles to level, even though it's basically times three. I want, I want to so bad put it in S tier. But I just, I, I can't bring myself to do it just for the sole fact that it is just iron bars. It's still times three the amount of logs you get. But yeah, it's just, it's just too much, man. It's just too, too much. Same logage should put Hocus Chopping in A. No, nails are 10 times easier than Hocus Chopping. Are you, dude, nails aren't that hard. Compared to iron bars, are you fucking high? Are you using brimstone iron bars over void bars where grind cheese or? Can we all three run, running smelting for killing, dude? Directly at the camera, I feel like you're trying to put a part of your talking into the YouTube vid. That's 100% what I'm doing, smiling. Shouldn't you know that? It's, it's, called, it's called YouTube etiquette. Thanks, my team. <laughs> Stare. Stare, chat. We're almost done. We're almost out of here, chat. Next one is bubble number five. Nude bubble. It gives you shopping and alchemy XP, but it costs... <sighs> chains. It costs chains, chat. This is like... C tier. This is, this is, this is C tier. This is easily say this is easily C tier. Because not to mention you get so much XP from shaman. So this basically is negligible. It is an additive and shopping is one of the easiest skillings to level up in the game. Easiest XP, not even a question. Yes, sure, it does get multiplied by severe purple and does get multiplied by mage's best, but it's still... Bro, the, the scaling between nails and to chains, oh god, it's horrible. Do you go back? Would you leave it at one? No, I wouldn't. I actually wouldn't leave it at one. I would not leave it at one. I would, I would, uh... But, like, you can use, like, two time candies once you get later into the game, and you can level up, like, 40 times without even trying. How can we level better for brew speed? Cranium cooking makes that irrelevant. Pretty much. So, here's where I put it, Chet. Middle of the pack, C tier. Middle of the pack, C tier. It's XP. It's skill XP, but it's not great skill XP. Because literally, chopping is the easiest one to level in the game. Good. Thought you would put high it. No, no, dude. I, I, I don't give skill XP that much love. Because it's additive. I mean... MM doesn't mind, and that's about it. I mean, I, yeah, other than that, I mean, it's not a priority. I'd rather see people farm other stuff. 
Construction skill XP, though, that's different. Call Me Bob is completely different. That's a linear bubble that is so juiced. You, bro, it's crazy. It's a crazy, man. All right. Next one, chat. We have... Is the legendary. Almost arguably the best base damage bubble of the game. Name, I guess. Name, I guess. Gives you base damage. This bonus increases based on how much max HP you have above 150, and it costs golden ore. Ma oh, sorry, max MP. Sorry, sorry. Gives you more base damage, uh, higher than... Sorry, sorry, let me, let me redo that. Name, I guess, increases base damage by a amount that's a linear. And this bonus increases based on how much max MP you have above 150. Cost scale so hard early game. S or high A, top S. You get so much MP with wisdom buff. I think it's S. I think it's S. This is this is a this is a huge scaling bubble, arguably one of the best scaling bubbles in the game. This is the this is the only bubble that you can also hourly click, by the way. Out of out of out of all the base damage bubbles. Easy S. Very easy to level scales high and cheap S tier. I, I think we can all agree this, but where? I personally would say right here. I would say literally right above Call Me Pope. Fourth of the pack. Now you could argue, because I've done this before, I had... Big Meaty Claws and Quick Slap above Power of Try 1 and Try 2. But man, the fact that you get so much wisdom specifically from mages, and it's absolutely insane, I, I still think that Name I Guess is just slightly under Power of Try 3. Slightly under. It's close, though. I, I, would, almost, I would almost argue that Power and Try 3 and Name I Guess are in the same spot. Arguably. Next one we have, chat, is... We're almost done here. We're almost done here. My health is higher than MP on most characters. Yeah, but you can also get this much higher than you can on Big Meaty Claws, because Big Meaty Claws also costs Sandcastle materials. Power gives V-Man scaling, that is why it's higher. Yeah. Okay, next one, chat. We have the Brain Tools. The Brain Tools gives the following tools percent more skilling power than normal. Hatchets and Worship Skulls. And it takes Cereal Flies. What are we thinking? Can we be honest with you? Zero flies aren't used for, like, practically anything. There's a very small, minute amount of things that serial flies are actually used for. Big deal with people at the bottom. It's pretty good. S mid about I don't know. There's no way this is higher than Hocus Choppus. You're high out of your goddamn mind if you think this is higher. You do, you do print the refinery, you are right. This is... This is Chat, this is personally where I would place it. Personally, where I would place it, because it is good for hatchets and worship, because worship, uh, getting high worship is kind of difficult. It's kind of the same regards as trapping. Getting high trapping makes it a little bit difficult. So, because it costs cereal flies, so it's not super expensive, I would put it right here. I would put it right behind Multilogo. Still a good bubble. Still something you want to good for? You want to go with? 
but it's uh it's not quite s tier but it does scale higher the more the higher the tool you have it's an okay place i'll take it it doesn't we don't have to all be agreeable but we all have to have a accepting understanding of what it could possibly be next one chat arguably now this one is going to be interesting cooking roadkill cranium cooking which is the shaman talent that lasts a percent longer gives a percent more progress per kill and has a percentage lower cooldown it also gives alchemy xp and it costs toilet logs boys my dudes it's s tier but where that's the question arguably not even a question top the s here's why here's why without this skipping years of alchemy progress literal years chat of alchemy progress is obtained with this bubble it is that massive without this bubble there's tons of bubbles would take literally forever literally forever And it's super, super, super strong, even in the mid to early game. And once you get to end game, holy sweet Jesus. Once you get to end game, you are literally going through years of progress per day. Okay? This makes alchemy manageable. This makes alchemy actually possible. This helps you push to get all your bubbles. Because we all know trying to get a new bubble at 0.5% is really hard. But with the Cranium Cooking Bubble, you can do like 3,000 attempts at 0.5, which makes it a little bit easier. You, yeah, you, I, I do hourly click it, but that's besides the point. Yeah, without this bubble, I would have a girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, bother with alchemy until you have cooking roadkill level 500, dude. Bro, even if you have cooking roadkill at like 100, this is ideal. I, I even say this as well. You want to make sure that you get this to like 140. I say this in most of my IE reviews. Like, I will say prioritize cranium cooking. I always say prioritize this in like every IE review. Yo, I should get it. I should get it. I should get Griffey merch that says. Keep calm and cranium cook, dude. Bubble increase my internet speed. Dial up to DSL, dude. Alchemy XP equals more speed to cauldrons. Equals upgrade them faster. Equals leave characters on sigils. Yeah, it's not hard that print. This is this is easy S tier. Uh, and and toilet paper toilet paper logs aren't even that hard to get. This is it's cran no cranium cooking does not count for sigils, but it also it counts for water and it counts for colored uh, colored uh, cauldrons. It's not like you're trying to keep calm and stay high, dude. Does the progress multiply by multi-kill? No. This bubble's raised my internet bill by $37. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat, this bubble single-handedly is the reason why we play so actively. Okay? Easy. Easy top of the pack S tier. This, the, you literally never take this off your shaman. Ever. You never take this off your shaman. But I, if, if you guys, if you guys want to, you know, if, I, I, I hope, I hope I have YouTube comments telling me Griffey you're wrong about cranium cooking so I could tell them to lick a fat one because you know what? They wrong. They wrong. The fact that it generates water in such a massive late game, it means you can bio alchemy shops daily and then build grind time. Yes, this is literally the single-handedly most important thing to build XP percent. This is how you see people with 70 times XP. Always overlook this since it's just three minutes twice a day even with this. 
If you have she beat it, no, your equips do not double. Nah, you're wrong, dude. Imagine getting 5,000 without CC, dude. Yeah, that'd be almost, that'd be almost impossible. Oh, so toilet logs are way easier than my logs? I think we can all agree. Cranium, cooking roadkill. Literally, if anything, I would want to put an extra tier list and put this at cranium cooking tier. Okay, because it is that good. Anybody that is sleeping on this bubble, stop. And level it up. Hit the milestone of at least 140. 110%. I don't think anyone's in disagreements of this. C for Cranium. So I simply have a lot of free XP on all my characters. W. One a huge reason. This allows bargain tag farming to be a thing so you can level bubbles faster. Exactly. Yeah, without this, this, will, this literally allows you. And also, chat, let's not, let's not forget, it's more alchemy XP. But that, but we don't even care about that. That's just, that's just more, it's just, you know, that's just more, you know, a little, little bit, a little bit on the, a little bit on the cake, you know what I'm saying? More gems. Yeah, true. More gems, more talent points. Uh, also, another big one, ovals. Ovals. It's specifically the mining ovals and the chopping ovals. Okay? And also, dense water. Because you, dense water does not drop in anywhere in the game other than buying it out of the alchemy shop and a couple of quests. And more balloons. Everything about it is just good, man. Everything is about it is just good. It's just so good. It's just, it's cranium cooking. Cooking roadkill is the most insane bubble. It actually, without cooking roadkill, your cranium cooking is actually dog water. Had a drop in world three. That's distilled water. That's not dense water. It's, yeah, it literally has no downsides. It's just beautiful. I will die on this hill, top of the pack. All right. And the last one, chat. The last, but certainly not least, Brustachio. Brustachio increases your brew speed by percentage. This is a multiplicative bonus. It also gets doubled, but it also costs Tyson stakes. Eh. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you, chat. For the longest time. I don't even know it existed. It doesn't it didn't really exist that much for me. Does a brew effects waters? No, actually, chat. By the way, by brew speed, this is only for colored cauldrons. By the way, thought I'd probably make that apparent. This is not for distilled water. This is not for any of the other waters. This is specifically only for colored cauldrons. And I mean, let's be honest. How much are you really, really going to farm Tyson steaks? How are you going to farm out Tyson steaks? How are you going to else you going to unlock the world five bubbles? Easy. Cranium cooking. Next. So this is useless for mo some of us now. I mean, for the most people, it's going to be useless. I personally would say, here's what I put it, Jet. This is where I put it. Rustachio is just below XP. C2. Just below Nude Bubble. I think we're all fine with that. I think we all come to understanding that's a fair place to put it. It's not too crazy, but it's definitely not something you're going to prioritize. If anything, realistically, you're just going to forget about it. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's a forgetful thing. Now, before we wrap this up, chat... Is there anything that you might want to argue that should be different? Or is this an acceptable tier list? Hocus should be A. 
No, that's the one thing that you can't change. I need this on YouTube for recap later. I'd like to argue that fishing should be different and less crap. True. Major problem should be bottom of the sea. Hard disagree. Roadkill should be F tier. All right. I like that. Let's put it in F tier. Can you hide my messages from YouTube? No. That I just remove F tier on that list. All for the kill. And C is too low, in my opinion. All for the kill gets screwed over by kill cap quite easily. Still S. No. No. I still think name, I guess, is strong. Way too strong. Is the distribution assess? I think that's just alchemy in a nutshell. It's too good. Nickel should be higher. No, I think nickel's in a fine spot. Put lab XP above divinity XP? You're fucking high if you think you're going to prioritize lab over divinity, dude. Because here's the thing. Divinity will always scale and give you big, massive bonuses. Lab XP, once you hit 75, you can hit every place with like a 6 or 7 man comp. You want me to swap wand power and slab wisdom? Mm, I disagree. Pickle Yamash have more power? True. Is Nickel a multiplicative? Uh, it just gives you an extra percent per 250 whiz. There's a kill count cap. I haven't heard of that till today. Yeah, there's a kill cap. So without multi-kill, you have a thing called a kill cap, which is the max amount of kills you can, you can actually theoretically get. And in, or, in order to increase kill cap, you need, need multi-kill or mob respawn or AFK gains in order to increase that amount. But, with, but you will end up hitting that point of multi-kill. Purple bubbles are cracked. Would be interesting to have all the bubbles on a single chart. Only two changes would be LeBrain tools and all for the kill. Okay. Taskboard World Forest says light up more features. I have all the gems. No, you, can't, you can't finish them off, Beaver. You might be adding more. Honestly, I think Bruce should be higher. What, Brustachio? I don't think so. It's only, color, only colored cauldrons. Hey, you guys remember bubble names? The only ones I remember are Larry, Cranium, Cooking, Grind Time, Big P, because I live, eat, and breathe, and sleep this game. So, I mean, I, I know most of these without even trying. I changed number two and three in S tier. Two and three? Really? No. Multiplier's too strong. Okay, from what I've been hearing, though, chat, it means you guys are mostly agreeable. There's only, like, maybe one to two bubbles that you would change around. So I would say, you know what? I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this tier list. So, I mean, if you guys want to... I mean, this, this just means that you guys would just need to make a YouTube comment and tell me how you uh, make it feel. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, chat. This is the, I thought this was going to be the most controversial one out of all of them, but this was the most civil tier list that we've had up to date. This is literally super, super civil. I'm kind of blown away how civil chat was being today. But we all know, we all 100% know that yellow is going to be a fucking nightmare. Yellow, people are going to have, bro, the fucking Kazam cauldron, dude. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm going to be 100% honest. 100% honest, dude. Pickle didn't argue enough? I feel like Pickle and I agreed a lot on this tier list, actually. Sam called when? Sample size, grind time, they're all shitty. F tier cauldron, dude. Just don't be wrong and everything will be good. Okay, well, that's based. But yeah, we're done, chat. We'll be able to make that into a YouTubers. The old tubers, my dudes. Good job, chat. Thanks for being civil. I appreciate it. Is that tomorrow? No, that'll be next week. There's no moon outside tonight. That's why. Yeah, you're probably right. As long as we agree Larry's the best bubble in the game, we're good. I actually disagree. I don't think Larry is the best bubble in the game. Arguably, in the Yellow Cauldron, S tier is easily going to be grind time. Easily going to be grind time. Without even a fucking question. Grind time's easily one of the best bubbles in the game.
Oh, for sure, dude. Speaking of cranium cooking. Yellow is going to be a shit show, that's for sure. Oh, 100%. Grind has to be lower than CC, but we're not basing it off of other, other bubbles, right? Like, I know we did, I, I know we did a few times, but we're trying to stay away from it. But Larry is easy S tier. 100%. It's what makes upgrading bubbles actually possible. CC makes grind time. Yeah, it's basically like grind time's the kid and cranium cooking is the father. They really can't make any logical arm argument against Larry being the best in the game. Yeah, you can. Dementia ore. And you need it at 1100. 500 for it to be potent enough to guarantee times two. So just for the fact that it needs like a minimum of level 500 bubbles, pretty, pretty disgusting. It's pretty gross, man. It's, it's pretty, pretty gross. Larry's only worse to CC, in my opinion. Larry is a very, like, late, let's not beat around the bush. Larry is a very, very, very strong class. I mean, a very strong, strong bubble. But it's not, it's not best of the best. It's almost believable, dude. But I'm, I gotta say, ever since I've been hourly clicking, dude, my bubbles have been going frickin' birded. Larry gives plus three. You're right, it does. But it also requires a ton of love. Also gives a ton, mecha ton of love in order to make that good. It's like he actually thinks Larry isn't the best. It's not the best. It's literally not the best bubble in the game. I could live without grind time or Larry, to be honest. I can't say the same for CC. Yeah, honestly, you could 100% live without Larry. Good one. That just goes to show you that Pickle is literally going to mark down on his calendar when the when the yellow bubble comes up, comes around. He is he's he's coming for blood, Shet. He's coming for blood. All right. Upgrade at wild depending on resources I have. Hey man, that's the big brain strat, dude. You're so fucking done. Hey, uh, so chat, can you guys go online and check when the next Hearthstone, uh, big big Hearthstone tournament is? Uh, and we'll do the yellow and we'll do the yellow bubble tier list when that happens. Uh, so every everything everything will work just great. They had one of the songs they usually play during stream. I instantly thought about G stream, dude. That just goes to know that I'm I'm further monitor content than they are. I I would I would assume that we'd see next Cauldron World Six. August one is the new expansion. All right, so August first. Wait, no, we can't. No, we're doing it next week. We need- I need to get all of them done. But we're almost done the first two videos. Uh, for- for, uh, for the- for the first tier list. And I mean, to be fair, chat, like, realistically, when it comes to the tier list, obviously there's gonna be people that don't agree with the situation, alright? They don't agree necessarily with the tier list and all that shit, and that's okay. That's a hundred percent okay. This was mostly based on what I think as good bubbles and giving chat a chance to tell me that I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Lack of character related skills. You're probably right that World 6 when we get Water 4. Yeah. Big game hunter, best bubble in the game. Anything else is wrong. That's only if you have Sheepy. Basically G farming interactions per usual. Bro, I mean realistically, dude. Streaming is farming Twitch chat interaction, bro. Just got here. Yo, what's up? What's up, Sausage? What's up, man? We just finished off making a tier list. I mean, I mean, realistically, if we if we really want to farm it out, I'll just be like, hey, chat, let's farm some Twitch interaction. Put a one and two or chat and just keep on putting it down. And then just watch the chat go burr. Just that, just that easy, dude. Curious where Diamond Chef Easy S number two, dude. Don't type anything. Got him three, dude. Marbles is Twitch interaction farm. It actually is. Actually 100% is. And, be and besides, chat, don't you want to help your homie out and farm out chat interaction? Don't you want to help the IBA become bigger and better and stronger than it ever was before? 
I made two thumbnails, G, for you to pick from? Hell yeah, dude. What do we get in return? Good ass fucking content. Good content that you can come back to day in and day out and YouTube channels so you guys could consume content on your favorite game. I feel like that's a perfectly good trade, don't you think so? Can't even take you out for coffee, dude. Ass fucking content, dude. Ass content? Why are you still here? It's guessing for VIP earlier was a great chat farm. Oh yeah, for sure. It's so good. How's it going, G? Finally home from work and ready to get some Eidolon games? Yo, hell yeah, Brilo. Thomas typed that, dude. My bad. <laughs> good ass content? No, no, no. Not that type of content. It's keeping us busy so we don't ask important questions like how our taxes are used <laughs> hiding aliens. Yeah, Drew. Is, that tr uh, uh, is it true that the skill points from levels cap at level 200? No. No, who told you that? No, who told you that skill points cap at level 200? Marmies make good chat, chat interaction. True. Pictic stowaway stream. When? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Hold, hold Wait, hold up. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Who told you that? Okay, I read somewhere. I can't remember where. Did you, did you look at the date? Because that... I think it means the talents you get from skilling. It might be from skilling. Why is everyone at Moles, Griffey? I'm farming Death Note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't cap. Tap 4 gets 2 instead of 3 talent points at 200. Yeah, th yeah, th that sounds more right, Rafa. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, once you hit a cap, you get less talent points as you level up. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, class level 200. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't cap, you just get less. Diminishing returns, if you will. But I mean, realistically, that doesn't matter because you can just level up your talent point bubbles. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a soft cap. Soft cap before it, before it issues the diminishing returns. Alright, uh, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, I was, I was checking this. Oh, I think we're actually done our death note as well now. I think, I think we're all done. But chat, like, give me, give me a rating out of 1 out of 10. How do you think that, how, how, how much you agree with that tier list that we just made? I would say, I would, I would give it like an 8. I would say I'm happy about it. Like a nine. The mission returns only matter star points while doing rift. Ninety five percent. You'd say ninety five percent accurate. Four point seven out of five. Like nine. Who's deleting comments, bro? Three. Bait. It's not a bait. Nine point six nine out of ten. Seven point five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 No interaction. Ninety seven percent agree. Okay. Nine. One. I mean, I'll take it. Oh, ten. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that, dude. Yeah, we're finished at big old moles, we're chat. And I like, I like how, okay, so, I like how chat's just not gonna, I like how chat's just not gonna give any sort of chat interaction now, because chat's just like, we should give Griffey no chat interaction. No, he's not allowed any. It's like, bro, what the, what the fuck's the point of being a streamer then? If I can't farm chat for interactions, what do you mean? Stop calling me out. a whole lot better than my list would be. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm done typing. Only listening, dude. He's farming again, chat. Don't say anything. Stop treating us like chat, dude. <laughs> chat interaction. 98, 2734. Stu raffles all day. 220 aura natty book. Let's go. I can get 8 aura. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get it. Alright, well, that's good stuff, man. It's good stuff. How's our, how's our null assaults? I started doing null assaults again. We started to I decided to start farming out more Null Assaults, and so far, we have gone up, what is it, 6,000 so far? Yeah, about 6,000 Nullos so far, not bad. We're almost at 100k Nullos. I don't know what to say sometimes. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Oh, by chat, if you guys have not seen the new Sodium upgrade, this is what it does. So when you fail a snail upgrade, it levels get reset to the nearest 5, up to level 15, since I have it at level 3, instead of back to 0. Like, failing at level 7 will reset it to 20. So basically, how it works is, uh, you're basically gonna, uh, what, at least what I'm going to do, at least personally, what I'm going to do, is I am going to get it up to level 15, and then if I manage to get it up to level 20, then I'll pay for atoms. Failing at 7's reset to 20? Hacks, dude? No, that's not how it works. 
This got added today, Kabir. Soon level 100 update? That's what I'm thinking, dude. I think it's just gonna get to a point where bits are gonna get so out of control. There was an update? Yeah. Here, let's, uh, it, it, it was, it, I wouldn't even consider an update. I would consider, like, a minor update. So basically what happened is there's three new languages. So now there's Korean, uh, Japanese, and simplified Chinese. And, uh, you know, 1,500 different new characters. And then they added a new Adam. So next, next week, what we should be seeing, chat, is we are going to be seeing Island Expeditions, or Island Expeditions, and we should be expecting a summer event. So that means we might be able to finally get our event cards all done. What's happening in general? Oh my god, dude. L look what this fucking guy said. Larry number one, Griffy Bit Dungeon God, count your days. Larry, more like Mary. Get a chat? Because it's fucking mid. Wait, is that is that Pickle, by the way? I don't want PvP, dude. Time to rotate laundry, get packed for my trip this morning? Hell yeah, dude, good luck. Wait, what? What are these, dude? Wait, chat. Chat. Chat, wait, wait, wait. These are actually kind of funny. All right, chat, check this out. So we, so we have, we have picture number one here. Picture number one. And then we have picture number two. Which one? I, I kind of like number one. I like two. I think, I think, I think the laptop's too low. I, I, I think, I think that, I think it was just too low down. But this one, if, if so to make, do you know what, you know I'd suggest for this one? I would put chat. Just put chat and lettering at top. Just put chat on there. At, at, the, at the top right there. Two should use the meme. Get a load of this guy. He stinks. Yep, that's me. Do it. One or two. Sure, farmer chat. I'll see you through, dude. I think two is better, but you have to make the laptop size, dude. And the, yeah, I mean, if you're going to do this one, this has to be way bigger. This screen has to be so much bigger. But I mean, I, I, and also this one, you gotta be careful. You gotta be, you gotta be careful of this one because, uh, because this one is, uh, can be, can be, can be copyrighted. Th this one could have a copyright problem just because it's his face. Uh, this one, this one, not so copyrighted. I got a license. Oh, you, oh, wait, you have motion array? No, I got through Adobe. Oh, shit, so, oh, you, so you own the rights to use this. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, then, I mean. Okay, so, actually, here's what I would do. Here's what I would do instead, okay? Get rid of my avatar. Okay, get rid of my avatar, manipulate the face a little bit so he looks way sadder than he actually does, and make this part bigger. Make this part bigger and you're gonna have to cut around the hand a little bit. And then, and then that, that will be, that will be fire, dude. That will be absolute fire. Yeah, Pickle, take notes. Pickle, Pickle, Pickle doesn't do this shit anymore. It sounds way past what I know, but we'll see. I mean, do what you can, right? 
Do what you can. You might have to create another layer in order for it to work properly. Now we know why. Yeah, I mean, Hadix is on fire. I mean, he's... Bro, Hadix has actually gone up and beyond on all these thumbnails, dude. He's actually been going crazy. I still think my favorite one that he's done is the, uh, is the logging one. The, the log print one. I think that one's fucking hilarious. Literally just one tree and everything around it's just completely decimated. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful. Griffy, give me a tier list with yellow bubbles, please, so I can make my own tier list and give it to the IBA Discord. I actually, FIP, I haven't made it yet. I made every other tier list except for the yellow one. I see that. And with good reason. Thumbnail tier list after alchemy, dude. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But yeah, so just just to so just to put it um just to put it in perspective, basically, um I mean the I he ain't even brightness contrast on the background. I'm gonna let you finish, but actually he did. Actually he does. He does put brightness and contrast on every single background he does. I taught him that already. Yo, Tally Gaga coming in with the two months, bro. Yo, thank you, dude. Yo, thank you, thank you. He even does, he even does the sharpen as well. He even, he even sharpens shit. Yo, thank you, Telly. Thank you, thank you. So, to, so with all these tier lists, chat, to put in perspective, each tier list has taken me over two hours to create because I have to, I have to hand make all the assets. So since I have to hand make all the assets, they take a long time to make. Um, so I will be working on the yellow cauldron. That's why we're not doing the yellow cauldron tomorrow. That's why we're doing it next week. Because making them is actual fucking hell. Because you, it's not as simple as you're just going to the wiki and just taking it. No, no, it doesn't, it, they don't have an asset pack for bubbles. There, there is no asset pack for bubbles. There's, there's an asset pack for everything else except for bubbles. It's fucking terrible. It's so bad. So I had to do it all manually. So it takes me it takes me approximately two hours to make each tier list. So just let me cook over the weekend and we'll make it. Yo. Yo, thank you, dude. Yo, first gift is up. Yo, thank you so much, dude. I guess no, that no, we've just reached a goal of 747. So basically put it in perspective. Here's how I have to do it. I have to make it super small, and then I have to take a screenshot of each bubble, and then I have to cut out each bubble of each one. And then, and then I have to add it into a separate thing, and then I have to scale it up. And not to mention, I have to, and then, and then all that stuff, dude. It's, it's a lot of work. And then I have to make separate screenshots of all of this shit. Separate screenshots of each one of this. Didn't miss the stream? Let's go, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Is this Yoshi's Island? I think so. Uh, did you see this, this, see what I sent you, all the text boxes? What if I sent you all the text boxes? Uh, no, it's all good, Kabir. No, it's good. I, I could take care of it. Appreciate it, though. Because there's a very specific way I do it. And before they make a bubble asset pack after G finishes all his tier list, I mean, at least I have it. So, so, okay, so, let, here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you wh what the problem is with the Eidolon wiki, okay? Also, fellow VIP, gotta represent. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, I don't mind. I kind of feel like finish, feel bad for finishing. No, no, dude, dude, if you, if you feel bad that you didn't, that, uh, that you didn't finish a short today, just make sure that the next one that you put out, if you want to make it up to me, if you feel that bad about it, just make sure that your next short is fucking fire. Easy peasy. Totally fine. Just make sure that you got the, the next one fire. That's it. That's all, that's all I'm okay with, dude. If you really feel that bad. So if we go into, if we go into alchemy here, chat. So here's the problem that we have, okay, with, with making these tier lists. Or tell them you can't handle it and quit three separate times. Fuck six, Pickle. So... When you look at these specific cauldrons, okay? I still got the Google Drive save from Lava Post. Yeah, me too. So you see, you see, you see how small these are? 
But at the same time, they're, they're super, super hard to scale up. Like, crazily hard to scale up. And, then, and, and once, you, once you actually put them into a, a GIMP program or something like that, and you, try, and you try to increase the size, it causes insane blur. Like, like insane, insane blur. Just use binoculars? Yeah, it's still not worth it, though. They are 36 pixels. Yeah, but they're, but they're, but when you when but when you increase the size, they lose all of their uh, all of their quality instead of just doing the bubbles from others. It is obvious why there are this bad, dude. Exactly. Draw your own. A base. I mean, we have a, we have a nice easy way of doing it, but yeah, it's it's just time consuming. Own wiki page for the image? No, they don't. I already checked. They don't have it. So we'll just we'll get it done. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get it done, chat. Don't worry about it. It'll be all good. It'll take me a few hours, but we'll have it and ready to go. And then, chat, after that tier list, we have another tier list to do. We have, we have the vile tier list to take care of. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to make a vile tier list. Or should I? Chat, let's have a, let's have a quick poll here. Vile tier list. Yes, no. What are vials? Alchemy tab. Why did I even make a poll? Why did, I already knew what was going to happen. Why did I even bother making this poll, dude? Porgy doesn't understand we want many tier lists as possible. Would be great content. Voted maybe. Because you, you, va you value our opinions. Is that the reason? Chaff what they want. Sigil's tier list while you're at it. Nah, fuck Sigil tier list, dude. Vile tier list better than Alchemy Bubble tier list because you can't separate it. Stamp tier list. Oh, bro, a stamp tier list? What, am I just... What, instead of making Eidolon guides, I'm just going to make tier lists for the rest of my life now? Hey, I mean, it's easy content, to be fair. To be fair, it's easier content. Idol on tier list god. No, only alchemy and gem shop. Idol on tier list. Yes, card tier list. I'm not gonna make. I'm. I'm not gonna make a card tier list. Isn't a tier list a guide? Yeah, it's pretty much a guide. Farm it while it's hot and before someone else. I think the only other one that we should make a tier list for, chat. The only other one that we should make a tier list for is a class tier list. Okay. That's the only thing that I'd argue that I would rather, rather make, is a class tier list. I think a class tier list would be fire. And we all know Hunter is S tier. Alright? Card tier list is 15 usable cards and 130 useless ones. Cla class tier list would infuriate people. BM S tier. Imagine if you had manually trap everything 24-7. Wait until Beastmaster becomes good and do a class tier. Rip bonus tier list. Hunter at Snellby's, dude. We might do a vile. Okay, well, I mean, considering this poll, I might do it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, Jed. We'll see. Ram Hunter, dude. True. Ram Hunter. Statue tier list? Nah, man. We don't need to make a statue tier list. And besides, we already know what the best, best, uh, best uh, vial in the game is. All right? You know it, I know it, we all know it. The best one in the game, Skinny Okel. Skinny Okel, best vial in the game. Easily. Easily. Times two statues. Times two statues. Not even competition. I only get 60% with lab, it's zero cal, dude. Griffy, today is a beautiful day. Yo, what's up, Sunshine? Do a v Griffy viewer tier list? No, I don't know about that. Or you're, no, I'm not trolling, dude. I'm being dead ass. What's the second base vial? Second best vial uh, would be probably slow energy drink. Because it's multi-kill. And it's base multi-kill per multi-kill tier, by the way. This is multi-kill per tier, by the way. Just thought, just thought I'd make that parent. This is not base multi-kill, this is multi-kill per tier. 
if if per if Perlers doesn't if Perlers didn't cost so much and it's basically impossible level thirteen, it'd be pretty good. Vile, yeah, Vials and Cauldrons do have max level, yes. Slow is super experienced. Would Snowballs or Hawkers be stronger given how much easier they're... What, what's Snowball? No, no one gives a shit. No one, no one gives a shit about printer sample size. Now, see, chat, you're wondering how do I get 120% on... Um, on Snake Vial? The reason being... Okay, here, here's the reason. Is... If we go, if we go to Rift... There is a Rift bonus that gives you a thing called Vile Mastery, okay? Now what Vile Mastery does is every time that you have a level 13 Vial, which is the final upgrade, it will, it will give you a 1.02 times boost for all Vile bonuses. So as it sits right now, I have 42 out of 59 level 13 Vials, so I get a 1.84 times boost. So all my vials are almost double. Double as strong as what they originally were at level 13. It is actually disgustingly strong. Too bad it doesn't multiply on itself. Yeah, it's not like Super Chow, so it doesn't multiply on itself. It's a, if it multiplied on yourself, it would, it would just be broken. Royal Sampler is impossible to get rid of without Snowy Flurry, though. Dude, it's so late game before you can actually think about getting rid of Snowy Flurry. Or get, get rid of, uh, get rid of uh, Royal Sampler. You're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be running snowy uh, snowy vial forever. It is if it's multiplied. No, like multiplied by itself, like super chows. So like, you know, it it would give you like six times what it you know what it was originally was. That's almost cheating. After all bubbles, should I put everyone in sigils or some in liquids? Uh, it depends on what you're doing. What I usually like to do is if I'm farming actively and I'm gonna be at my computer, I will put everyone on liquids or the first two liquids for pumping out uh, like cranium cooking and shit like that. And if I am not going to be at my computer to maintain my cranium procs, I will put them on sigils. I mean, it would make it as stupid as Dew Valley. Yeah, true. So th this is this is this is just really strong. Oh, so so is this, by the way. This, this, once you start getting now, the real question here, chat, is. Wait, do I have? Wait, oh my god, I finally did it, chat. Look at it, bro. Look at this shit. All of my stamps are officially at Platinum Star rating. I have officially full Plat Star rating, dude. Juiced. Beautiful, beautiful juice. Speaking of sigils, has your sigil prog? Oh, it's slow. Slow as usual. You know what Lava should do? Here would be a nice... 10k stamps, all Plat. Yeah, yeah. You know what would be a really good thing for Lava to do? Okay. Lava should make it so Expeditions have a chance of getting a something that gives you a boost that gives you one fifth of your one fifth of your cranium cooking goes towards sigil progress. What does stamp mastery do? So depending on your so depending on your level of stamp, so your total level of stamps, it will give you a chance of giving you a gilded stamp, which is a ninety five percent reduction in the stamp upgrade costs. So not only can you use the 90% that you get from the Atom Collider, you can also use the 95% on top of that. So technically, with those two combined, you can get a grand total of a hundred and what is it, 185 percent stamp reduction. CC to be even more broken to progress your sigils. Yeah, basically. I think I think that'd be cool. Once if you guild a stamp four times, you can, it only consumes one. It only consumes one. So you can't consume like six in one go. And if you, if you have 10,000, if you have 10,000 stamp level, you're guaranteed one gilded stamp per day. So that means I get one upgrade at 95% each day. Oh, this is to, this is, so the four stars are to let you know the potency that you have on each one of your stamps. So right now I have like, kind of like, quote-unquote, top-tier potency on each stamp. 20k stamp level 2 guild. I don't know if you... I don't know if it stacks above 100%. I, I have not gotten a point. Stamps... Stamps... Stamps have a soft cap. So stamps... St you can only level stamps as high as your carry capacity. Add more recipes in the merit shop? Who knows? What do you reckon is the best place to get wormhole kills for ES? Um... 
Worm Hill kills. If you want me to be completely honest, green mushrooms. Green mushrooms are probably the best place to get uh, portal kills. Printer proc at the top of the hour, or is it different per hour? It's the, it, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's the top of the hour. I'm, I mean, yeah, I, well, it's different. It's, yeah, I think it's the top of the hour. I want to say it's the top of the hour. Is it, is it different? It might be different per account. Yeah, it might be per account. So I have a 50% chance to get a uh, guild stamp. No, yeah, no, you have a, you have a chance. Yeah, you have a 50% chance per day to get a stamp that gives you 95% reduction. I was doing them at oranges. Yeah, but the problem with oranges is their health scales super fast, right? So if you do, if you do elemental, so the thing is, is if you do, if you go here, right? Best place for plunderous? Uh, OJ Bay. OJ Bay is by far the best place for plunderous mobs. So if we, if we go here and we, uh, and we pop our portal here. It, it, so the thing with the portal is it scales every health level, right? But the, but the thing is, is, since since uh, they have the lowest mob count in the game, or lowest mob health in the game, you can get this to unrealistic standpoints. I do have the HP prayer on, so it won't be as high. Oh no, I don't have the HP prayer on, which I don't know why I don't. Oh right, because I'm because I'm running multi kill, not not drop rate right now. OJ Bay is best for siege breaker and DK farm for their achievements. Yeah, I can agree to that. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, for the achievements, yeah, for sure. But the best place to farm DK is, like, board beans. What level is your new atom? It's level 3. Level 3, and it costs me already 1 million atoms. So, so I can... Basically, I can get to, uh, snail 15 and be safe. But if I lose, I will fail safe to level 10. So that means I'm actually... I, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Now I'm super glad I took the slow and steady route. Because now that Sodium came out, I've, I haven't reset Snail once. So since I haven't reset Snail once, I am fucking golden. I am... I am... I, I saved everything. So I am super happy about that. I wish I waited. Board Beans for DK is something else outside achievement though. It is... Yeah, it's for, meant for golden foods. So, so as you can see here, the reason, the reason why uh, Green Mushrooms is so good is because look at the duration that I have left on my portal. Okay? But look, I'm still, I'm still being able to kill green mushrooms. So, there we go. It reset. I wait literally two and a half seconds. Now we're back to portal killing again. This is why, specifically, green mushrooms is the best for portal farming. On the topic of yellow bubbles, would 70 by 70 be okay for you? I tried two times scaling, it looked okay if you want to make No, it's all good, Onion. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, it's all good. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty anal about it when it, when it comes to, uh, uh, when it, when it, when it comes to making the tier list. So just, I, I got it. I appreciate the help, but let me take care of it. Easy short farm. Yeah, here we go. So, <clears throat> you ready, Kabir? E easy short farm. So if you're looking for the best place here, 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 let's let's change it up. Here, let's change it up here. I'll make it make it super easy for you. Okay, Are you ready? 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 <clears throat> if you're looking for the nice, easiest, and best way to farm portal kills to get your extra damage percent, head on over to Green Mushrooms. And that way, you can keep on killing the Green Mushrooms because they have the smallest HP in the game. And by the time your portal runs out. You'll be able to just keep on going and making nice, easy, smooth gains. Is that better? Is that good? How was that? And then here, now, now, now I'll give you. And then, and then here, here we go. Here's some. Uh, here's here, here, here's some uh, nice little, nice little uh, content of me farming that shit out, dude. See that? Boom. There it is. Okay. Now, you, now you even got the footage for it. And then you want to make sure you want to get the rotation, so it's easy cooldown. Keep on relapsing. There you go, dude. There you go. Easy short. Already done for you. Is that talent max? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's one off. So I get 105 second lifespan. Wait, why are portal kills good? Like on Gmush? Why is that good? Oh, it's because of to, to farm out for Wormhole Emptor. 
Because if, if you want to farm out Wormhole Emperor, which is a multiplicative. So if you guys don't know, Wormhole Emperor is the uh, is basically the exact same as um, Eclipse Skulls. It's a, it's a multiplicative bonus. So it gives you 7% or at this point, 6.8% multiplicative damage. So this was, so when we ES released, this was really, yeah, Eclipse Skulls give way more. But I mean, this is just extra damage. You know, more damage is more damage. But it's a true multiplicative. So there, there, there you go. There you go, Kabir. Easy, 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 easy peasy, dude. First day was so cool to see max damage increase. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, the first day of ES release was actually, like, just pure and utter dopamine. Because, because it, you're, you're literally sitting there with your portal kills, watching your DPS raise every single time. How come your clatters, clatters off? It will, it will, it will consume after one bill anyway, so, I mean, it, it can be on and off, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so now that we're actually done with this area, so let's go ahead and move over to the next area. Uh, I think we're gonna fight Sugmas next, chat. So we have Fire Spirits, Lampars, and Sugmas. Okay, let's take a look, let's see where we get the most kills. Didn't realize it affected all characters? It sure does. It's the same as, like, DK technically affects all characters, and so does Siegebreaker affects all characters. So, Kabir, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what we need to do, bud. Maybe, maybe that's what we need to try for, like, one stream. We figure out a thing that'll be cool for, like, a, uh... For a YouTube short, I'll quickly pop over to uh, this scene. I'll do a quick recording of it, and then we'll swap back over to, and then we'll get you, we'll get you a couple of your, of your, of your things there. Damn, you're almost done all clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to make that make life so much. Yeah, we'll try. Make, I'll try to make your life a little bit easier. Okay, so what are we what are we getting here on our beautiful so six point seven working on what short to be on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's part of the battle. So we got six point seven million here. What do we get here? Five point nine seven two million. Okay, so we're and then Lampars is something like f fucking what, like four mil? Five point actually that's actually is a lot better than I thought it'd be. Holy shit, we got five point five mil? It's 10 times my kills at Elementals than I do at GMush, dude. Feels bad. Feels bad, my dude. Don't worry, you'll get there one of these days. Alright, we're on Fire Spirits. Tomorrow and Monday shorts ideas ready? Perfect, bro. That's good, man. That's great. And, I mean, realistically, if you do, if you do have an idea, pop for, for a script, dude. Just, just send me some stuff that you want me to see. Or want me to say, and I can I can go ahead and say them for you. You know, let's get let's get this let's get this short farm let's get the shorts farming, bro. Your account's so juiced, it's crazy. Thanks, man. Been playing for a few years, and not to mention I've had literally what is it like since I started this game? I've literally had people backseat me since the very start. So I mean, if I I I would I would be doing the people a disservice if I didn't have a juiced account. Do a short farming, talk about the interaction farming. What of chat farming, bro? So if you guys want to know how to easily interact chat farming, all you have to do is say, chat, put a one or two in chat if so-and-so this, and watch the chat interaction go burr. Also, another good way to do it is if... <laughs> Here's another great one, chat. You guys ready? Who wants VIP? I'm thinking of a number between one and 100. Whoever gets the number gets VIP. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Go ahead.
It's just that easy, chat. See that? It's just that easy. <laughs> That's actually so funny, dude. You know, you know who got VIP? Literally the first person. Alright. You guys can stop now, it's already gotten. <sighs> Lily Vanji got VIP because they said the number one. Because chat, we are number one. How do you get so many different materials while killing mobs? What do you mean? Probably, I, I have a fairly good drop rate. But see, chat, it's just that easy. Look at that. Farm and chat like it's nothing. No way didn't you do sex number or hitchhiker guide? Nah, dude. That was too easy. That was too easy. See, the thing is, is I used reverse psychology on you guys. I said one before him, what the fuck? No, you didn't. I'm looking at Twitch chat right now. And it said Lily with two, Marcelo with two, Rupert with three, Lily with one, and then Teleon, 32, and then you said one way down the list. All right? All right? You can't, you, can't, you can't scam with me, bro. I said one just before all that. Scammed again. Scammed again. Source, I made it up. Trust me, bro. I said one halfway through. <laughs> See, the thought process I had behind that chat was it would be- Griffey would be too obvious if he said number one was the number. That's why I picked it specifically. I found the face thing on Photoshop. Oh my god, I made a monster. Hell yeah. I said 30, 33, which is so many ones. You're right, Marcelio. Make a short about, <laughs> about it, please. Uh... How to how to easily get how to easily get farming chat, bro? Imagine, imagine. I mean, you were killing mobs, so you got few logs and ores. Oh, probably crystal farming. Yeah, I was, I was killing crystals. That's probably what happened. Uh, I was also if if they were magically in my inventory, it was probably because I was doing uh recording yesterday. So since I was doing recording yesterday, that's probably why. It's just that simple. It's just that easy. But chat, honestly, honestly, real talk, chat. I am very proud of you today. I am very, very, I'm a very proud of you today. You guys were very, very civil. For, for the tier list. Gee, let's make a date. You think two numbers between 1 and 10k, and if you guess one, two guesses, I get VIP. Think of two numbers between 1 and 10k? Fine, brother. Fine, sure, why not? One-time deal. I'm thinking of two numbers between 1 and 10k. You have to... You have to get one of them in two guesses. Go for it. Wait. Before you say it, before you say it, Got it. What are the numbers? Elite gamer, dude. <laughs> you have to gather, just kill crystal mobs? No, 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 it's a little bit different. Write on a piece of paper? I don't need to. I don't need to write it on a piece of paper. I already got it. He didn't think I was going to, he didn't think I was going to agree to it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. 69? Incorrect. You still have one more guess. Sixty-nine and one. Out of one out of ten K. The first one was four twenty. The second one was seven seven seven. Bro, learn me better. Learn me better. Use code Griffey for a hundred for for seven 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 free draws, baby. Bonus, bonus, bonus. All right. Bad thunderstorm going on here. Yeah, sounds good, dude. 
Well, well, that 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 sucked. Well, he failed. Incorrect. Got seven 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 for nothing. No, Griffey, it's gotta be something like two and nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. I'll make a deal. One to a hundred thousand. Okay, I'll do one more. Okay, Spesh. Two chances, one in a hundred thousand. Okay, you ready? I got it. Go ahead. You got two shots. See what you got, Spesh. Sixty-nine, four twenty, forty-two, oh six, nine. Nah, nah, even close. It was still four twenty and seven, seven, seven. Man, idiot. <laughs> I didn't even fucking change my answer. <laughs> yeah, oh, night confirmed. You played yourself. You swapped on me, but not on me, dude. Got it again, bro. It's I said one to a hundred thousand, yeah. And that's that's still that's still the same answer, still. Oh, not four twenty seven seven. No, it's four twenty and seven seven seven. Bro. <laughs> I just didn't change my answer, dude. <laughs> because yeah, because I, I played the Jedi mind tricks, dude. You think that I was gonna change my number, but you gotta realize I'm too lazy to think of a number between one and a hundred thousand, okay? Like, come on, let's be fucking real here. The only time I don't got time to be lazy is when I'm playing out alone. And making videos. Other than that, I'm lazy as shit. But chat, as nuts as that fun is, with that being said, that is the end of stream. I gotta get out of here. I gotta finish off these recordings so you guys actually have some content for the weekend. Because, uh, let's be honest, it's been like two weeks since I've outputted a video. But the, coming up, chat, we're gonna have like, like four tier lists coming out. And it's all gonna be edited. And it's, you're gonna love it. You know, you, you may watch the VOD, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's cool, or that was here. But watching the full recap is it's gonna be monofico. Absolutely beautiful. So, S tier videos, absolutely. I am, I'm actually very proud of these new videos because I think they are very, very well edited. Plus, bang and short tomorrow, absolutely. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for all the follows today. I'll be seeing you guys again. Hopefully, either this week or next week, we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new patch with Island Expeditions and maybe a summer event. So we just got to stay tuned in there. We'll be back at a 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow for some good Eidolon action. And maybe, potentially, it's been a while, but we will maybe do... Either an IE review, maybe a couple IE reviews chat. We got some we gotta catch up on, maybe some second channel content, maybe some, you know, party dungeon carries. Who knows? Let's just wait and see. But I think maybe something along those lines could happen. Unless we get an update and then everything comes to a halt because updates always come first. Thank you for all of the beautiful subscriptions. Thank you guys for the biddies. Thank you for the resubs and the primers. You guys keep the dream reality. And honestly, just thank you so much. You guys keep this a dream. You guys keep this this non-job a, a full-time thing so thank you guys so much if you guys have not done so uh first of all check your primers if you guys want to give me a good old primer to your favorite you could do it once a month to your favorite twitch streamer by the way oh so second of all if you have not go ahead and sub to the first channel and the second channel uh we just hit thirteen thousand subs on the main channel so thank you so much chat thank you for all your support and patronage i appreciate it not to mention we also have the second channel for all the good vods and some ie reviews so you never miss a second and also if you're looking for some good idle tips or some fun or just a community to chat with make sure to take a look at the old discordio there we have hit over four thousand members on discord and today by far one of the biggest discords we've ever had so thank you so much for that let's keep it going let's keep the iba strong and chat we're gonna get emotes soon i'm gonna buckle down once i get these videos done i'm gonna get those 10 emotes done and we're gonna have some brand new emotes for chat so with that being said i've been your guild master for today my name is Griffy Bit, proud owner and leader of this beautiful, dedicated, hardcore, civil, tearless making, itty bitty army. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you guys stay safe, bless all the RNG upon you, happy grinding, and peace out. And I chat, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye, chat. See you later. See you later. Have, have fun. There's nothing else to see here. Go watch another Eidolon streamer. If there is one. Okay, see you later. Okay, I own this category. Okay, I just wanted to say that. Okay, bye, chat. See you later. Bye!